Eight minutes past the hour. Welcome into another edition of the Rick and Bubba Show. The Good Time Gang selling in with intern Alapuka here today. He was named yesterday our brand new intern from the University of Alabama. Uh, and so he is settling in for his second day of internship here on the Rick and Bubba Show. As you call 866 we be big be gentle. It's, like I said, his second day. Alapuka, his name. All right, so we're rolling on, man. we got a lot to talk about. Your uh, calls, as I just mentioned, he'll be answering the phones, plus a ton of other stuff we'll also be talking about this time tomorrow, Lord willing, where we'll be. And so you just never, never know. And someone i got to tell Greg about that, that knows he's a, a, around, he understands what he could do, and they're on alert. Over to my left, it's Greg Burgess, and to my right, it is Michael Helms. What's up, guys? How are you? What's up? Well, you know, you've been known to uh, take your shirt off and walk through a, a shot on TV. Every Sometimes a lot of the local news, uh, the Golf Channel covers this uh, event live. It's the Champions Tour as it rolls through uh, the wonderful city of Hoover, Alabama, uh, here in the Birmingham market. Uh, and they, it's a major uh, event on the Champions Tour. And um, uh, so you'll have all kinds of TV coverage out there. A lot of it just local because the local – uh, market gets gets behind it, uh, and so you'll see stand-up shots where you'll see a camera on a tripod and a reporter standing in front of it with oh, a yeah. microphone. A and anytime we see that, we have to walk behind that reporter shirtless uh, yeah. and just act like it's a normal day. Looking, uh, and they wanted me to let you know we're we're looking for Greg. We know he can take his shirt off and walk oh, through the man. shot. So uh, you know, we'll look over our left and right shoulder just to make sure they he's not me. <laughs> he's not roaming around. Because we'll challenge you in a second. I may uh, just show up shirtless and be that way the whole time. Yeah. I actually um, sent this out. And and you talking about funny. I got back. I went back and started looking at it. I don't know if y'all ever do this because I'm never really on it enough to really just focus on it. But look at some of your past posts uh, from years ago and just what was going on in our life. Uh, we um, I, I sent out actually... Um, a uh, a shot of of you walking behind the uh, the reporter That's shirtless been a while, hasn't it? shirtless yeah uh, and it is it was about four or five it, years it, ago. it is absolutely precious they didn't oh yeah that. It, it was yeah, uh, it was quite flies. it was quite uh, some time ago but um, anyway that will happen tomorrow we'll be live on location uh, and so you definitely want to roll tape because you just never know uh, you have no idea we have tons of celebrities we tried to. Uh, schedule everything as far as when people will be coming through, uh, what time, and, and that can uh, be all thrown off just when one person is late, uh, and then it, the whole schedule's thrown out. So we think we have an idea, but we're not really yeah, sure. Hard. You just have to watch out for it and just be Can't prepared be for anything. Uh, at rickandbubba.com, uh, the the top three finalists in Fix Mama's Mouth has hit the contest uh, of rickandbubba.com. If you'll go there, click on Contest, you have about a week or so to vote for the top three, and then the winner will be announced when Dr. Dudney is with us on Tuesday. That's the Tuesday after Mother's Day uh, this coming weekend, uh, by the way. Uh, with uh, He'll be with us in studio on the 16th, and we'll announce the winner. But you can vote on the top three. They're there now at rickandbubba.com. Just click on Contest, and it's your voice. Uh, I mean, we get it down to three, but then it's up to you. So uh, you have that chance to vote. Well, how's everybody doing? Everybody fired up? Ready yeah, to go? Boy, we're ready yeah, to pretty good. Ready to go? Pretty, pretty fired up, too. Yeah. Can't wait for the day just to unfold. Yeah. How about y'all? Uh, well, good. I know good. Greg's excited. Yeah. 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 I, I'm, I, <laughs> you can kind of give me some direction, um, but, you know, when I'm with Trent Dilfer, head coach at UAB yeah. football, uh, when I'm with him tomorrow, uh, am I safe to bring you up? I mean, yeah, he doesn't know me, but yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, y'all can do whatever. I'm actually going to try to introduce myself and just say, Hey, I've, I've not been able to do this. Mm -hmm. And obviously you don't, wouldn't know why I wouldn't mm -hmm. do this, but, um, yeah, because look, our offices are a hundred feet away from each other. Mm -hmm. I've passed him I'm several a claim, times. I'm a claim he's trying to avoid you. I'm gonna say, you know, Coach Helms says you're trying to avoid him. <laughs> yeah, right. you, you might know him as so Coach. That would be funny. You might yeah. know him as Coach Bullethead. You might hear that down the hall. Hey, Bullethead. That's that's. You can tell we had our we had our banquet in his building. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to we'll have to examine that. Anytime I've seen can, him in Bartow several times. Uh, I, I just, was about to say a bar. I did too. Yeah. No. <laughs> Happy hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Clean them out of our. Yeah. Coach Dilfer, if um, you're hearing this, sorry. Well, I was wanting to make the connection, not really for the UAB thing, but for for just having him on the show. And so we're going to take care of that tomorrow, mm-hmm. obviously. And uh, I think everything will go well with y'all on the golf course. And mm-hmm. um, then then that relationship is built so for the show. Speed. So yeah. yeah, okay. Uh, you got um, right. If well, Bubba doesn't screw it up, yeah. oh, you'll be wow. good. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I'm kidding, Bubba. I was um, kind of. I was talking to Taylor uh, Taylor Bond, and she is kind of. Uh, and, it was, and has other help, but she is the the go to when it comes to the region's tradition on all the celebrities. And and I have fun with her. I'm like, if y'all can just get through the pro am, she said. If we can just get through the pro am, then it settles down to it's a PGA yeah. event, you yeah. know. Uh, but boy, a lot a lot of moving parts and a lot of passes, a lot of credentials, yeah, a lot of guests, a lot of celebrities. Lot of happy. Oh my goodness! And so all of that is happening, and we were going over the schedule tomorrow. And we'll either have him by himself or we'll have him with the group, depending on when everybody gets there, of Charles Barkley, Dell Murphy, and then Trent. Okay. And, uh, That's and, a great group, too. Yeah, yeah. And it really so it, well, they'll either all be sitting down with headsets on at the same time, hacking on each yeah. other, ready to go out, or uh, they'll – We'll be able to kind of get them in and piece them together. Now, what you're going to find out, and I know this just from from what little I've been around him, he'll fire you up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to give you some kind of speech. He's going sure. to give you some rah rah. It's going to be right. good. It's right. Gonna fire you. It's going to fire Part you up. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like so. him because he's ball with a go too. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of look. Y'all look similar for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so that's tomorrow, and and there's a lot of anticipation for it because it's just the this this event that that we go to, and for those of you that have been watching and listening for a long time, you just know it's organized chaos, and that's what a lot of you like about the show. Uh, and I, I've got to tell you, especially the second half of the show, when it's just you guys and Rick back at at, at the main tent, uh, hey, you never know. Yeah. So I'm I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to it. So that starts. Speedy tomorrow. was cutting a video for Tyler this morning because he's meeting us here, and he to show him kind of where to park and everything yeah. here. <laughs> and of course, I gave him a little little line at the end of it that you'll love. Remind me to tell you, Greg. And Speedy wasn't expecting it. He expects this stuff from you. He right. doesn't expect this stuff mean? from me. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> caught him off guard with right. it. Right. Yeah. I can't wait till he sees it later. Yeah. Oh, I know. Right now, all Greg can think about is his uh, silly uh, puppies. Sure. Uh, the, uh, the, I'm done with the grade eight. But he is put out. He's about done. And I got to tell you, buddy, I'm sorry. You're only about two and a half weeks in. Yeah, I know. I know. You got about eight <laughs> total. I don't, even, I, don't even, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. So you, are you saying Mama Millie, she's not doing her job right now? She's kind of backing off, and it's a little early for that. Oh, no. So oh, you have no. to kind of force her, and she – yeah, I don't even want to talk about it. Oh, no. Let me give you a <laughs> – I got to find some pen, too, because we're – anyway. Yeah. Well, Greg, we had, we tried – I saw Speedy have this handle for you yesterday. No, I'm going to talk mm-hmm. through that. No, well, I texted T- him two by two. Me, No, but. no, I missed it. I don't know how. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> you really uh, are. Of, of responding. I, and I don't know you how. Maybe ignored I mean, you. Because, I mean, I was, was going to yeah. – I mean, yeah. I went back now and I looked at it, and, and you sure did, buddy. You yeah, sent me a text. Okay. I think you were uh, just caught off guard that you actually got a text from him yeah, after yeah. hours. Well, I'm never looking for anything from yeah. him at 310 p.m. Are you <laughs> kidding me? No. Huh? That's a good point. I could just pull a Greg. Oh man, I ain't looking at my No, phone I yet. get it. I mean, yeah. I don't expect you to be staring yeah, at it. But I got you. I man, I got that wall. It was, up. It, was a, it was a shot in the dark. Well, I, I don't I really didn't defend me at all. Yeah, well, two by two rescue, who was last month's beneficiary yes. for the charity charge, reached out yesterday and they and they said this is what we do. Uh we we screen folks yeah. that want to adopt uh pets. Yeah. Uh and and we can come alongside Greg and really make sure that that everything is done right and uh, and can help as much or as little as he needs. Yeah, well, that'd be and great. Uh, and so they they've offered their assistance and uh, and that's what Greg was reaching out for. So uh, yeah, I, I say use them as much as you would like sure. because this is what they do. Uh, just to give you peace of it's mind, like I'm and Lisa. Handful. You know, when you do adopt the, the little puppies, that that you know they're going to a good place. Yeah, and uh, you just got to get there, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I got to get there. Got to get there. I'd like to see the mama cooperate a little better. Right. She was doing really good, but I guess she's done. Maybe they'll have some advice for you. No. Yeah. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
Folks, our longtime friends at Alabama Mountain Lakes Tourist Association have an amazing new podcast called Unexpected Adventures in North Alabama. There's so much to do in that area, and on the Unexpected Adventures in North Alabama podcast, you hear conversations with a lot of interesting people about all kinds of cool things to do and see in North Alabama. So just go to northalabama.org slash podcast to listen and find out how you can subscribe. You can also listen on Apple or Spotify. Again, that's northalabama.org slash podcast today. You brought out your new shades, you got your new sandals, so why are you eating the same old thing over and over again? Break out of your recipe rut with HelloFresh with 40 weekly recipe options and over 100 snacks, sides, desserts, and more. There's always something new to try and love. Join America's number one meal kit today and get 16 free meals plus free shipping with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. That's the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. Or find the link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors button. Helix Sleep does it again with an innovative kids mattress made to flip. Why? Well, the firmer side is great for younger kids when they need more spinal support to aid proper development of their growing bodies. You simply flip it over when they're a little older, around 8 to 12 years old, when they want the softer side for sleep. Handcrafted and assembled right here in the USA, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders, including the kids mattress. Go to helixsleep.com slash bubba. helixsleep.com slash bubba. Got you a free silver bar well, okay, we, we've asked our friends at Lear Capital to do something special for our listeners. Look, highly respected financial analysts predict gold prices could soar as much as four grand an ounce. Now, there's no magic eight ball that guarantees that's going to happen, but gold has outperformed the S&P 500 for the past 20 years. Right now, new Lear customers receive a free one-ounce silver bar with every ounce of gold you purchase. Free silver bar offer expires soon, so hurry. Visit LearBubba.com. That's LearBubba.com. In this economy, we're officially entering a dupe session where we're looking for products that do the same thing at a better price. Our favorite dupe, Raycon wireless earbuds. With Raycon, you don't have to pay an arm and a leg for quality sound and essential smart tech listening features. Raycon also offers buy now, pay later options and an easy and free return guarantee. Right now, get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash bubba. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash bubba. Once again, buyraycon.com slash bubba. Our friends at TheraBreath have some good news if you have bad breath. Try TheraBreath Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. TheraBreath is dentist formulated by Dr. Katz himself. TheraBreath doesn't mask bad breath like those burning alcohol mouthwashes that can actually irritate sensitive mouths. It's alcohol-free and free of gluten with no added dyes or colors. Find TheraBreath in all your favorite retail and drug stores. Look for the bright orange cap or online at TheraBreath.com. You can find a direct link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors. TheraBreath, confidence in every capful. All right, folks, you've heard us talking about what Relief Factor can do for your pain for several years now. If you struggle with occasional aches and pains due to aging, exercise, everyday living, consider this relief factor is 100% drug free. It's made up of ingredients that simply help your own body deal with its natural inflammatory response. And we kid you not, relief factor is for real. And the majority of people who order the three week quick start for just $19.95 go on to order more. Try it at relieffactor.com or rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Looking for peace of mind when it comes to your car's performance? Look no further than our friends at CarShield. With plans for every budget, CarShield offers protection plans that cover more parts than ever before. Whether your car has 5,000 miles or 150,000 miles, plus they offer plans that come with roadside assistance 24-7, courtesy towing and rental car options. Call CarShield today at 800-465-6550 to save 20% on your plan. 800 465 Six five six five five zero, or go to carshield.com slash bubba. Before you pack your bags for vacation season, be sure to secure your home with Simply Safe Home Security. With Simply Safe, enjoy greater peace of mind knowing your home is monitored around the clock by trained agents. Customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes at simplysafebubba.com. Go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off your order with interactive monitoring. That's simplysafebubba.com or or visit rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. There's no safe like Simply Safe. You brought out your new shades, you got your new sandals, so why are you eating the same old thing over and over again? Break out of your recipe rut with HelloFresh with 40 weekly recipe options and over 100 snacks, sides, desserts, and more. There's always something new to try and love. Join America's number one meal kit today and get 16 free meals plus free shipping with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. That's the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. Or Find a link at rickandbubba.com under the Sponsors button. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass 
the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, there 23 is. minutes past the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Rick and Bubba Show, the number 866-WE-BE-BIG. Don't forget at uh, rickandbubba.com, click on Contest. And the top three finalists in this year's Fix Mama's Mouth contest, a $17,000 dental makeover with Dr. Dudley and his staff. The winner will be announced a week from today on May 16th, but you vote all this week. Uh, and so it's up to you now, the audience. It, you know, Even if you don't uh, know one of the contestants or whatever, just as a listener and viewer of the show, join in and uh, let your voice be heard. It's really cool. Each um, each, uh, each mama has a little story right up on, on her and, and, and a picture of her. Uh, and so good luck to the top three and congratulations on making it this far. Uh, and then now it's up to the Rick and Bubba audience. Uh, and, and there you go. Yeah. Uh, Alapuka is here. He's our new intern. There he is. Yeah. It, he it's, is. it's sounding good. I'm always interested to, um, to talk to our new interns after they've been named and been given a nickname. How, how, how was it? You, you yeah. went back, talked to your buddies. You went back, talked to your family. And he says, so far, everybody's good with it. You know, because we've had some interns. We had one that cried over there. Over there oh, now. mad about it. You remember it. her? Yeah, I do. Yeah, she was yeah. T- She was really upset about it. That was like when I first started working. Yeah. There. I remember yeah. that. Because, I mean, it's, it's with and you. And it wasn't that bad. No. I mean, but most most are okay with it. But as you, as we've talked about, especially that one summer some that just come through here it's a, it's all about timing and you'll you'll get a nickname <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it's with you forever look it could have been suckler 4000 it could have yeah. it could have i know worse. that's what you were really hoping for <laughs> i mean where is that by the i way? took it it's home um, i thought i was gonna need it okay good are you serious good yeah. for you well good deal yeah but i don't even know if it works no it works. No, i'm talking about the dogs hey look at me it no hey, no no i'm hey, saying i don't know me, if they works. i don't know if they'll well, um, give it anything. Yeah. Now that apparently I'm the Suckler Four Thousand go to, um, I'm being sent on social media links to uh, to to like kittens or puppies using it mm-hmm. uh, and how to do it, and you ought to see it. It's pretty funny. If well, you, you you got them all four around there just to go into town, well, like I say, I don't know. They of course they're a little older. They didn't respond well to the bottle feeding. So. Uh-huh. Listen, I think I think what happened last week, and it it was great for the show, mm-hmm. and it, and a tad bit embarrassing for you, but I want to tell you where I think where I think <laughs> where I think it's huge for a resume builder for you. Are you looking at talking to me? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So at some point, resume building. At some point, and we hope that is a long time from now. Mm-hmm. We're all gonna have to go do something else or retire. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. Okay, talk a lot I'm kind of working that plan. Y'all kind of got ideas and things going on, but I'm gonna tell you, you can be a product tester. Mm. And if, because here's why, if you will, if you will do that, you'll do anything really. And so Mm. when you, when you go to look at, Hey, I I test products, I test all these products. we got a bunch of engineers and inventors out there Mm. that are throwing stuff together and I test them for them and Mm. there's nothing I won't test. And if you don't believe me, here's a video (laughs) where I tested the suckler 4,000. I mean, seriously. Oh, is that the name of it, sir? People, no, no, that's just something. something that's the name that we with. gave with, and I don't know how we got. No, 4, I think 000. that's actually the name of it. Is it? Yes, I thought so. Oh, I think that's I what no Suckler Four Thousand. Yeah, I that's what. Oh, okay, I, I could. I thought Bubba just named it. Now Bubba. Bubba may have just made that up, but I, <laughs> I don't swore. I don't one. know if he made it up. Yeah, yeah it is. I don't know how they got four thousand, but. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe he did just make it up. <laughs> what I don't is it know. Seemed like it'd be Suckler Four because there's not four thousand teats. I don't know, but I'm just saying. I think you got a great future in product testing. Well, there you you go. got product developers. You got product testers. Yeah, there you go. There's your little and in, hey, internet hey, a lot of money involved with that. Little internet channel. You yeah. Can do it on. Oh man. What if that's the thing? What if you created? Uh, you just keep your Instagram <laughs> uh, name. And all it is is you testing crazy products. And it was always hey, pet product. And I'm gonna tell you something. That would I'm t- look. We got people that have a million followers. Not the guy that we had last week, but there there's a student at, at UAB, and he's got over like seven eight hundred thousand followers, and all he does is throw things off buildings, yeah. like playstations and TVs and yeah, stuff like that. The it's guy ridiculous. smashing yeah. stuff. Remember the guy I was telling you about that has a yeah. press and he just crushes stuff. Yeah, 
You would do that. You would be awesome at product yeah. testing. You're at it again. I'm just thinking. I think hey, I, I'm just saying you're at it again. Look, I'm worried about your future. You, he has great ideas for other people and then steps back. Well, I know what yeah. I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to I'm help just saying, you. But this is how we got to the my, my lips on the sucker yeah. four thousand. It was because yeah. of you. <laughs> well, you weren't here. That's what I, I did. I, I know. It's just uh, like, well, hearing, it, yeah. hearing it. the way you said that. Right. Um, but hearing it just I, had a whole new. I, I just, I just want you to know, I'm on to you. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. And you own to that little plastic. Tea. Yeah. When I, <laughs> Can when, I tell you the when first? I'm out at Regions Tradition tomorrow, and you go, I tell you what, Speedy ought to run over that. I'm gonna go. I'm on to you, buddy. You go do it. <laughs> yeah. How about when I Google Suckler Four Thousand? <laughs> Obviously, the Rick and Bubba show comes up, but like Does the, it really? yeah, but like the fourth thing down <laughs> is um, suckler cow efficiency. Okay, and see you you help the farming industry mm-hmm. with what you did. It's fine, buddy. I'm just uh, saying I'm not I'm not a kid. I'm 54. I know what you're doing. And then maximizing suckler cow profitability. Hmm. Okay. This is big. This is a big issue in the farming <laughs> world. Okay, mm. buddy. Take a sip. I will. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. All right. There's actually other things that we can cover. I know um, those of you that followed that, uh, it was quite uh, quite the week, and we're glad to have Greg back, even though he's put out with the puppies. Yeah. I, I, can, I, can, I mean, I could see that. Could you imagine, Greg, you're a breeder and this is all you do? No. Is it, uh, well, now, they are set up. Better. They are. They, they are. invest in equipment right. to do it right. That, that's got a lot to do yeah, with Yeah, yeah. But it's just another dog having puppies over and over again. Yeah, I know. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Oh, look, honey, the ants are back. Wow. We leave one itsy-bitsy speck of food out, and they appear out of nowhere. Yeah, it's pretty hard to believe we used to try to get rid of these guys. Now they're just part of the family. To be honest, I liked our family the way it was before they came. I guess it's time to call Cooks. You don't have to live with pests. Get proven protection from Cooks Pest Control. Call or go online for a free quote. Cooks Pest Control. Our friends at TheraBreath have some good news if you have bad breath. Try TheraBreath Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. TheraBreath is dentist formulated by Dr. Katz himself. TheraBreath doesn't mask bad breath like those burning alcohol mouthwashes that can actually irritate sensitive mouths. It's alcohol-free and free of gluten with no added dyes or colors. Find TheraBreath in all your favorite retail and drug stores. Look for the bright orange cap or online at TheraBreath.com. You can find a direct link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors. TheraBreath confidence in every capful. Have you tried the Innovatives Helix Sleep Mattress yet? Well, nothing beats a great night's sleep, the kind you get with Helix. So, we love them and Helix has over 12,000 five-star reviews with customized mattresses that fit your sleep needs because they know everyone is unique. They even have big and tall mattresses and mattresses for the kids. But how do you know which mattress is right for you? Well, Helix has you covered. Just take the Helix Sleep Quiz and find the perfect mattress in under two minutes. Place your order and your mattress will be delivered right to the door free of charge. And the best part, Helix knows there's no better way to try a mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night trial for you and a 10- to 15-year warranty. Right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders at helixsleep.com slash bubba. Best offer yet, by the way, and it won't last long. So if you've been waiting to try a Helix mattress, here it is. Now's the time. Head to helixsleep.com slash Bubba for 20% off your mattress order. Are you looking for peace of mind when it comes to your car's performance? Well, then look no further than our friends at CarShield. We know that auto repairs can be a headache, especially when they come out of nowhere. That's why we have CarShield. You don't have to worry about the rising cost of car repairs. Plus, you can lock in your price and it will never go up. Even if your car is over three years old, it's still prone to expensive costs with plans for every budget, CarShield offers protection plans that cover more parts than ever before. Whether your car has 5,000 miles or 150,000 miles, plus they offer plans that come with roadside assistance 24-7, courtesy towing, and rental car options to get you back on the road quickly. CarShield is dedicated to protecting what you drive because it's just a matter of time before you're going to need repairs, so don't wait till it's too late. Call CarShield today at 1-800-465-6550 to save 20% on your plan. 
Lock in your price and it will never go up. Call 800-465-6550 or carshield.com slash Bubba to save 20%. The folks at MyPillow have launched MyPillow 2.0. Now, this innovative MyPillow has brand new temperature regulating technology to keep you comfortable throughout the night. Core body temperature plays a big role in how you sleep, and this new fabric technology helps regulate your body temp by creating a lower surface temperature for a more restful sleep. The MyPillow 2.0 is available in four loft levels with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. And of course, it's made right here in the USA. And folks, MyPillow.com slash Bubba has all kinds of other special radio deals for you and use our special code Bubba. Their Giza Dream bed sheets are also buy one, get one free. And there's great deals on my slippers, my coffee, clothes, and their six-piece towel set is just only $49.99. Take a look at the brand new MyPillow 2.0 and head to MyPillow.com slash Bubba. Use the code Bubba to get in on this buy one, get one free MyPillow 2.0 deal. Spring is in bloom, and you know what comes next, vacation season. But before you pack your bags, be sure to secure your home with Simply Safe Home Security. With Simply Safe, enjoy greater peace of mind knowing your home is monitored around the clock by trained agents ready to act to defend against break ins, fires, and other threats. With the top rated Simply Safe app, stay connected from anywhere, anytime. Arm or disarm your system remotely. Check your cameras to make sure everything is okay. Simply Safe ships to your door and is easy to set up yourself in about 30 minutes, or you can have Simply Safe certified technicians install it for you. With financing through a firm, secure your home today and pay over time in installments that fit your budget. Customize the perfect system in just a few minutes at simplysafebubba.com. Go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off with interactive monitoring. That's simplysafebubba.com or visit rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick to my knees All right, we're back 25 minutes until top of the hour. It is the kickoff hour. Rick Bubba Adler join us uh, here at top of the hour for the main show. Have an update for you uh, on a news story that a lot of you have probably for, forgotten about, and then <clears throat> it'll tie into a current show that is available to be streamed, and, and we'll pull all that together. But um, disgraced punter Matt Ariza uh, was not uh, present at the alleged gang rape that they said he was a part of. I don't know if you remember uh, this, that led him to be cut by the Buffalo Bills and he had left the party, they say, an hour before the incident occurred. Uh, unsealed documents are now telling us uh, the Bu- Buffalo Bills former punter, uh, Matt, was apparently not present during the alleged incident in 2021 um, that was uh, unfortunately an incident that had to do with a minor. At the time, she was 17. Uh, and this saw him getting cut by the NFL and his life destroyed. Now these unsealed documents are saying that he left the party an hour before the incident and was never even there. If that's if it's that first of all, this happened when he was in college, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. You know, and then he was on the Buffalo Bills, made the team, mm-hmm. and then yeah. these allegations come out from what to say twenty one. Yeah, and uh, like I say, back when he was in college. And they immediately cut him, right? Yeah. I mean, and instead and this of is giving coming from due the process, I mean, I get it. And if, and if he's guilty, he needs to be locked up. Mm-hmm. But the point is, if it's true that he, he wasn't even there, right? it's kind of a knee jerk by the bills. I mean, at least let due process work out before you cut the guy loose. I mean, right. I guess you, you go, well, we don't want the bad publicity. I understand that to a point, but mm-hmm. it's just kind of scary. Yeah, the DA's office um, has now concluded that he left the party in San Diego at 12.30 a.m. on the night of October 15th, 2021, around an hour before the uh, alleged incident happened, uh, and so therefore was not there uh, and I'd did not participate in I wasn't there. Yeah. Uh, and, um, and so now 
the DA's office uh, with timestamps and witnesses uh, are now uh, concluding that he was not so even he's there. Cleared. So he's cleared, but his life's been destroyed. So I go back to Buffalo. I go. Yeah, um, and this goes going, back to. Can I try out again? It goes. This goes back to depending on, <clears throat> and it's unfortunate the timing of everything. Um, of of what the what what the new cycle is. Is it a slow news cycle? Is it is it? There's a lot going on. Who it is? It, a lot of our things are determined depending on who you are. On if you're going to be considered guilty before innocent. Yeah. And and in America, you're innocent before guilty. Uh, but it, in some cases, it doesn't seem to be that way because social media and and the media in general push a certain narrative and. It's like your life's destroyed oh, yeah. before you can even prove yourself innocent. You don't even have to make up anything really horrible yeah. and still get people canceled. You can and just come up and say, he's, I heard him say a slur. Because every right. day, we ever, there's a new article every day of a coach or a commentator who's either fired <clears> or suspended <throat> or apologizing for some slur. A lot of them, it was an act, they accidentally said it. They got the words mm-hmm. just chewed up. Right. There, there was one lately that happened on that. The guy, I mean, he did say the word, but he didn't mean to. He was right. just... You know, yeah. So every day, so you could just accuse someone of I heard him say this. Slur. Yeah, or you know, oh hey, I was at the I was at the party. Uh, now I've been accused of something. I I left early. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have been at the party to begin with. But he was at a party and then left. He wasn't even there. He wasn't even there. Uh, but the narrative was quickly. No, you were there. You were guilty. You you participated in it. And he was like, "No, I didn't." Well, you cut your life ruined. You've lost your job, and now it comes out the DA. Says, well, yeah, you weren't there. Yeah, after all that. Right. So couldn't y'all let that out a little quicker? Yeah. Which maybe, now maybe before they cut me. pulls in a show uh, that Kiefer Sutherland is on called Rabbit Hole, uh, and it's on Amazon Prime now. And Helmsy, I, I've watched two episodes, and you can see how something like this would happen. Well, and, and as, far I, as, as far as a narrative being pushed. I'm not a conspiracy guy by any means, okay? But I will say this, and, and it's been proven, we have the technology, the capability of making things look as they don't actually appear. Yeah. We have that capability. Oh, yeah. We've seen it. We've seen it in this deep fake stuff. And mm-hmm. when you talk about data mining and espionage and all these different things that people with a lot of money and access to this technology can make these things happen. They'll make you over, and we see it. We've saw it with Social Dilemma on Netflix. And mm-hmm. the, if the, if somebody wants to, they can target you, and they can target your mind to to start believing in something that you truly don't believe in by ba- just by showing you what they want to show you every day. Mm. It trains your mind. So this stuff is going on, and that's the, and it doesn't help when things like Rabbit Hole, uh, the show Speedy's talking about on Amazon Prime with Keeper Southern. By the way, I'm so glad he's back in doing something, yeah. and it's so good. If you like 24, you'll love this kind of thing. But it does when we hear these stories like this. It doesn't matter if he was at the party or not. They can make it look like he was at the party. Mm-hmm. This kicker, they could do that, and and so it, it is scary on that front. Uh, if That's they true. target you and they want they want to do away with you or ruin your life, they can do it. Yeah. If they've right. got the money and they, the resources are there, it can happen. And I don't want to sound like a conspiracist, but that's real. That's mm-hmm. real talk, and it happens, uh, unfortunately, yeah. in this world. And it happens with elections, and uh, and that's and that's part of it too. Is and you know it, you almost want to just throw your hands up and go. It doesn't really matter what I do or what I who I vote for or whatever. They're going to take all this information. And they're going to do it themselves, and we don't really have a say so in it. Yeah, and to that sounds good to have a free country and yeah. the, the ability to vote, and and that right's awesome. Uh, but at the end of the day, they'll do what they want to, and they're and I know when I say that, it sounds like, gosh, Helms, you're really going down a rabbit hole. No pun intended. But mm-hmm. I do. I am starting to believe these things are going on. Yeah, it, but back to that show, you you can push in a, nar- a narrative or something that you need to push. And the, and they show you how to do it. Yeah. And then there's stuff like this where, well, it, it's just said, and so social media picks it up, and the news picks it That's up, it. and they start pushing it. But now it's so far gone, you can't really defend yourself because I didn't do it. Well, you got all these accusations you did. So next thing you know, you you, you know you, the team you're with cut you, yeah. and you're like, I didn't even do that. I, I wasn't there. When they do 
prove that you you weren't involved, that's a small story. It's not the story that no. originally came out, and it's on the front of every paper. Or mm-hmm. well, because I doubt, yeah, you're right. But now, when they go, oh yeah, he wasn't even there, it'll show up, but it won't show up. It won't be talked about as much as the the no. accusation was. That's no. for sure. No, What's funny is, and and this is how things will play with your mind too. And y'all are gonna think this is ridiculous, but it, I'm just gonna throw myself under the here. A car pulled up at the. I was watching this show, and a car pulled up at the house the other day up atop. <laughs> and you and, okay? And, no, listen, That's listen. Good. This is how your mind will mess with you. <laughs> and so I'm in the middle. I'm like four fifth episode in. I'm so into it. I'm binge watching it. So I've been like two and a half hours on mm-hmm. this one show. And Boy. I'm. I mean, I, me and Kiefer are dialed in on trying to figure <laughs> out what's going on. Okay. <laughs> and Maddie walks in the room and she goes, "Hey, somebody's here, and they've been sitting up there at the top for like three or four minutes." Well, instead of me thinking first, <laughs> oh, it's just probably some Uber driver taking the people across the street uh, food, and they're they always people will park there and walk across. Mm-hmm. That's probably all it is. Mm-hmm. Instead of me doing that, I jump up, I walk to the window, I take my phone. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm doing this. <laughs> And taking a picture of the car, just right. in case I need documentation on what's about to go down. Right. And Look, I was I, thinking, what is enough. wrong with you, Helms? You're not Kiefer Sutherland. But the point is, in me sitting there for that, the, my mind started being trained to think like that. Yeah, but but you're That's right because I've even told my boys, look, if you're in a, a situation. You know, and you have the opportunity, you need to start recording the event because there can be tons of things alleged. But if you have a recording of it, there's your defense. And yeah. it look, uh, most of Americans, sadly, uh, and if you are, I'm not talking to you, they're not very grounded. They're not grounded at all. So they believe whatever the narrative, narrative is getting pushed and, and they get brainwashed into thinking it's real because. They're not really grounded on on right and wrong and and morals and and yeah. they just kind of go with the wind of the news yeah. of the day and for those they know they got you and so they push a certain story the way they want it and then before you know it uh, you're you're stuck but the story that started all this uh, is that um, disgraced punter Matt Ariza was I'm saying that right correct Allah okay was not present at the um, alleged event that took place in 2021 and and I'm I'm saying event um, allegation I, I uh, that had to do with a, a number of, of men and an underage uh, uh, lady at she was 17 at the time uh, and he was accused of being a part of that and now the DA's office say, is saying, he left an hour before the incident. wasn't even at the party when that happened. So he was guilty and has been proven innocent. Yes, it has. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. uh, but unfortunately, has lost his job and, and his ability. Yeah, he's no to longer do what punting in the NFL. <laughs> but sorry about hey, our bad. We didn't yeah. check that timeline when we accused you. You're right. I doubt the Buffalo Bills are going to give him his job back. That no. he had just won. Hmm. Oh, no. Wow. There it is. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come right back. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number, uh, 866-WE-BE-BIG. If you do want to call, we do have uh, Alapuka, our intern, uh, for a few days each week, and they can be screened. So if you ever want to join in on his days, then boom, you got somebody ready to take your call. Rick, Bubba, Adler, all join us right after top of the hour. Don't go anywhere. Don't forget, tomorrow, if you're listening live, we're live at Regions Tradition. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Today on Hey Culligan, Smart Home, Smarter Water Softener, here's Kevin. Hey Culligan, can a smart water softener lift those heavy salt bags for me? Kevin, it can. (laughs) Wait, it can? Yup, the smart high efficiency water softener from Culligan can alert your dealer when the salt needs to be replaced, and they'll do it for you, so your water stays soft and you stay away from lifting the bags. I I mean, I could lift them if I wanted. No judgment here, Kevin, we're happy to do it and we're already on the way. Let us help you out with a free in-home water test with the local Culligan water expert at Culligan.com. Upgrade to the performance you need on all Maytag major appliances during May is Maytag month, happening all month long. Maytag month is going on. 
boot barn honors a Western legacy built by those who persevere through resourceful determination. Ariad honors that same legacy by bringing innovative technology to classic pieces. Driven by a dedication to the craft, Ariad blends timeless Western artistry with advanced performance features for the modern cowboy and rodeo athlete. Out West, ingenuity is second to none. Ariad at Boot Barn. Wendy's $3 breakfast deal is a bacon or sausage egg croissant plus small seasoned potatoes for three bucks. It's the breakfast that don't miss. So if you did miss Wendy's breakfast, don't imagine fresh cracked eggs, sizzling sausage, crispy bacon, and block out those hot, buttery, flaky croissants. Croissants don't really make a sound, but if they did, for a breakfast that don't miss, Wendy's is that breakfast. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's $3 breakfast deal. Limited time only. Participate in U.S. Wendy's. Select a request $3 breakfast deal to obtain discount. Not valid for a la carte combo orders. <laughs> You'd never knowingly feed your pup mystery meat or spoiled grocery store food. So why are those some of the most common protein sources in kibble today? Yep, the dog food ingredient meat meal can be made of spoiled supermarket meat and packing plant scraps. I'm veterinarian Dr. Marty Goldstein. Your dog needs a biologically appropriate diet similar to what they would eat in the wild. That's why I developed Nature's Blend, a freeze-dried raw food made with premium cuts of meat, omega-3 rich seeds, and superfood veggies and fruit. Bailey is 12 years old. He has been on your food for nine bags now. Nature's Blend is pantry safe and has zero artificial preservatives, additives, filler, or meat meal. He's got more energy, able to run around and play when our grandson comes. For a limited time, save 54% off Nature's Blend and receive a free pack of premium dog treats. Go to drmartypets.com slash free treats or text free treats to 511-511. I can't thank you enough. He's 12 and I'm enjoying every day with him. Message and data rates may apply. You may receive up to one additional text. Text stop to opt out. Paid for by Dr. Marty's Pets. Folks, we got you a free silver bar. Well, technically, we asked the folks at Lear Capital to do something special for our listeners and they came through with a free silver bar. Look, highly respected financial analysts predict gold prices could soar as high as four grand an ounce. Four grand. Granted, no Magic 8 ball or anyone else can guarantee that, but if you bought gold today at Lear Capital's favorable prices, the cost of gold jumps anywhere near these predictions. That could be some life-changing profits. Listen, gold has outperformed the S&P 500 for the past 20 years, and gold is a brilliant strategy for protecting your savings and retirement with a risk-free purchase guarantee, 25 years of experience, and thousands of five-star reviews. Check out Lear Capital right now. New Lear customers receive a free one-ounce silver bar for every ounce of gold that you purchase. Your free silver bar offer expires soon, so you need to hurry. Go to learbubba.com. That's learbubba.com. Let's face it. Prices are up, our bank accounts are down. We're officially entering a dupe session. We know most products do the same thing, but are priced differently solely based on the brand name. So we're here to tell you about a duplicate, or dupe. You don't want to sleep on this one. Raycon Wireless Earbuds. Raycon's mission is to prove to you you don't have to pay an arm and a leg for quality sound. You also get essential smart tech listening features like noise isolation, water resistance, and three customizable sound profiles. In this economy, every purchase needs to be perfect. So Raycon offers buy now, pay later options and an easy and free return guarantee. And check out their website. They have over 50,000 five-star reviews. Plus, you can get a pair of Raycons and a spare and still pay less than you would with some of those other big-name tech brands out there. Right now, you can get an additional 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash bubba. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash bubba. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, there is no other. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. <laughs> Waking like on the That's blood. singing with one Greg Burgess. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got eight minutes until top of the hour, and... The folks with our national sales team has asked us at this time to just make sure if uh, if you are in the, the market of going, you know, I need to get the uh, the word out on what we do, what we specialize as a company, I want to advertise, uh, then uh, this show and another popular show they, they syndicate is a great 
uh, a great source for you to get that word out. Uh, we have loyal listeners and viewers. We're very blessed. It's called the Rick and Bubba Army, and they support uh, the advertisers of this show. And so if you're in the market for something like that, just go ahead and email us. It's Rick and Bubba, spell out and, Rick and Bubba at syndicatedsolutions.com. Or if you're one of those that would rather call, 203-431-0790. Drop a, a call or an email to them. Uh, and we have a lot of avenues for the show, not only not only the radio affiliates, uh, over 60 now, uh, but you got YouTube, Blaze TV, the TuneIn Digital Radio Channel, all the social media platforms, podcasts, and online showcasing opportunities at rickandbubba.com. So it's all there for you, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you and building a relationship and sharing your message with our audience, and if you're also one of those that's just like, you know, I just kind of just want to hit the local affiliate market that I'm listening to right now. I don't need a national plan. Well, then email us because we can get you in touch with our uh, our local sales teams from each affiliate. They do a great job, mm -hmm. and so that's a chance for you to get the word out too. I've got two stories, and I'm going to read you the headlines, and you guys tell me which one you want to talk about. All right. You good, you good with this? Good. Yeah, all right, here we go. Here, Y'all ready for the first one? Mm -hmm. Pest control worker caught urinating in <laughs> local family's living room. Okay, not in their yard, right. in their house. Right. That's, that's, the first, that's the first one. That's intriguing. Nashville hotel manager charged after allegi allegedly sucking on sleeping guest toes. <laughs> Imagine waking up. Which, which, which one of those you like? Ooh, let's see. The, 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 I want the first one. The exterminator. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a unique way to kill ants. I'll tell you yeah. that. I just want to know why we're – are we mad or are we – Yeah, that I, – yeah. Because, I, I just, mean, there's plenty you know, get, of trees probably outside or – Am uh, I one of these sickos who right. gets my jollies right. peeing in people's houses and, and not telling and, them? And then to your <laughs> point – Well, to your point, Greg, probably not the first time it's happened. No, right, you don't just right. all of a sudden one day go, I'm thinking I'm peeing on this couch. Right. Yeah, and why, yeah. So why? Yeah. Does he feel like he's an animal and he's marking his territory? <laughs> Well, here are the tenants uh, of uh, of the home talking about yeah, he does. <laughs> initially discovering uh, what had happened. Take a listen. Mm. My cat was sitting at the corner while he was urinating, and we're pretty sure that it splashed onto the cat. The main thing that upsets me is that he urinated on my daughter's toys. It's just, it's a little girl, you know, and she played with it in his pee for two days. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's so he get, didn't actually real. see it. No, no, he wait. just found First of all, he's worried on. that it splashed on his cat. Is that yeah. what he said? Or and his well, daughter's toy. I didn't misunderstand him. His voice makes it so much better, by I know the way. It. Yeah. Um, what, what did he so, say? Did he so say he's it? saying the cat was on the edge of the couch Watching. when he started peeing, and I guess it splattered on the cat, well, why too. why did he just now, if he knows all that, how come it took him that long if his daughter played in it? Well, I guess you go back and you look at the, uh, the, the footage, and you realize, wait a minute, something don't doesn't seem right here. He goes back and he looks at the footage, and a local pest control worker <laughs> Uh, is he a been, robot? He's been charged now. He's been charged. <laughs> yeah, he he's ought to be charged. charged. And he ought to say, here's, here's the price you had to pay. I get to whip your ass. It was Young's <laughs> Pest Control. Young's Pest Control. And a 67-year-old named Roger Young has been, um, he's been charged after allegedly admitting to the incident. He which said, police on. say we, we caught on the family's home surveillance okay. camera. I almost splashed on my but, cat. Okay, so but, that was just right, weird. So here's point. what I need I to hear. I got footage of it. I need to hear from the 67 year old. Oh, why? Really? Yeah, I'd like what, to know what why. is the why. Why did you make the decision? It, well, it's a new, to do term, this it's on a new couch. termite treatment. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cockroach had no chance. Yeah. Here's an clients. NBC affiliate. The Cambry County family uh, sent the video uh, to Six News when they discovered their interior mm. surveillance camera mm. captured the man in the act. We're about to show you the video, but we did blur out some of the offensive details. I bet. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Appreciate you. Inside their home. Brock. Brock. Jen and Sean. Police say the man <laughs> in the video is being charged with several crimes. <laughs> in the arrest affidavit, he is identified as Roger Young, the owner of Young's Pesticides. Owner. And the family tells me they couldn't believe what they saw in the video. Good gracious. Okay, there's the cat. The family says I, after entering the He's walking through. Roger Young chases one of the family's well, why is he's, cats into the kitchen. What the heck? coming back into the living room. There's a big the section on couch. It as, quote, terrorizing their cat. Yeah, he's he's like Young sets stepping in front, front of the cat. And instead... 
start spraying urine. Oh my gosh. In what in the world is happening Amazing. here? He set down the sprayer and, and he's just going to town really all over the couch. The video, but we're pretty sure what that it's what splashed he doing? onto the What in the world? They say Young also yeah, urinated on sure a child's toy box. The, the main thing that upsets me is that he... Okay, we heard that part. <laughs> all right, well, now we're seeing... It's like he's in a standoff with a cat. He's like stepping back and forth and the cat's jumping around and then he goes it through and he does, He has the little the little bottle they spray yeah. and then sets it down and turns and looked at, looks at the couch like, oh, how about that? There's, there's then, a place I'd like to urinate. Yeah. That's insane. What See, I need, to, I need to follow up that says he forgot where he was at for a minute. Right. He's getting older. He forgot where he was at. Well, if that's the case, that. he don't need to be in. Greg, now, we all know that. Okay? I had a roommate one time. I need they, to know they, why he's there's doing no this. There's no answer. This I had a roommate good to go, oh, I, yeah, I get it. No. I had a roommate one time that had had a little too much to drink, and I, 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 I called him at 2 a.m., yeah. you know, urinating the laundry mat. Well, that's and happens. I was like, well, that's different. The, hey, that's a basket, buddy. That's a basket. We had a guy and he didn't in college. Know. He know, didn't know. Open the refrigerator door and do it in there. Yeah, that, we yeah. all got those doors. He stumbled around like he might, and I'm not. I'm not saying he is, but just from the appearance, it looks like he's in the sauce, too. Does what, it? What, I mean, just the way he's stumbling well, around. Well, what he's about dancing with a cat. Either that or he's having yeah. an event. I don't know. Well, what, what about I'm when saying. you decide to watch the footage and you go, oh, my, and it's been a week yeah. later, and you're like, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, no wonder the couch was wet. Yeah. Good gracious. I knew my cat won't, won't go near it. Daughter's yeah. toys smelled funny. Right. That's terrible. It is horrible. So y'all don't want the Nashville hotel manager? No, that's no gross to me. All right. He's 52. The other one wasn't ever did. He, no, that one is. <laughs> he was arrested Friday. I've, I've heard it called a lot of things whenever, uh, what they say, offensive footage that yeah. they had to blur oh, out. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, this is awful. The guy's name is David. He's 52. He's the manager. He was arrested Friday after the guest. Do you think they weren't going to wake Pe- up? Peter awoke around 5 a.m. to find the manager. Well. I had it had his toe. Wow. Good night. What kind of reaction did he think he was People, you know, they, they have that fetish for Good toes. Gracious. Yeah, but what? I know, but you walking in somebody's room and grab a toe. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Good night. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Uh, we continue. Neil in Springville. Neil, go ahead. Morning, Phil. Hey. Hey, you know, they just introduced the pylon can this year, and I think that's a great idea. But, you know, one of the other things I think they should consider is maybe doing body cams on the rest because that might have prevented that call against Clay Matthews the, uh, the other day. Just it have a better sight, like out of bounds, line judges and things like that. I didn't see it. I heard the guys talking about it. From what I've gathered, uh, the Packers game was decided on a controversial call involving Clay Matthews, but I didn't see it. I'm not familiar with it. Y'all are. Well, it it was a great game. I saw part of the fourth quarter, and uh, the Vikings made this big comeback. And the the play they're talking about, uh, the Vikings actually threw a pick, but Clay Matthews got called for a late hit or personal foul. Roughing the passer. passer. Terrible call. If that's an illegal tackle, then I don't know how you tackle. That's the thing that's boggling. He, he went shoulder. I mean, you could tell he he. It looked like and look. You know, I'm a Vikings fan, but it, it looked like it was a bad call. It yeah, really that's the reason why I'm from you because it, it went for your team's favor. I think you hold a lot of credibility here. You think it was a bad call? It, from what I saw, it was highly questionable. The referee actually <laughs> explained why he said this. He, the referee, said that Clay Matthews lifted him up and basically shoved him in the ground, and this didn't happen. It didn't happen. Oh, really? Yeah. And so, I mean, uh, it uh, it yeah. was the it it changed the outcome of the game, guys. This is. And and I and don't you look care. at it. You don't I couldn't see what care he... less who's winning. Matter of fact, I, I was actually kind of wanting Carlson to eventually hit a field goal at some point. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, for three. But, that but that being said, that I was really confused as a football watcher of what is going on. Like, what is this? What this has turned into? Yeah, I think where you hit on Helms and Bubba, it sounds like you, Speedy, all of you talking about it is which some of us have begrudgingly 
and kicking and screaming have been drugged into the new rules of football. And then we go, okay, we're here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We understand the deal. And then you make a call that seems to not be what you told us we were going to do. Now we're now we're really mad. Well, you know, we, you, didn't, we didn't want this anyway, but now you got us ma- here. If you're going to get us here, call these right. Maybe we can find the play. Here it is right here. He goes. He doesn't go high. He doesn't go low. He goes to his middle, led with his shoulder, wrapped He's him up. He's letting the ball go. And – I don't know. The referee's explanation is he lifted up and drove him into the ground, and I just I don't see that. That do anybody he even lands to the side of him. Matthews is falling down. He breaks his own fall. The the momentum of him hitting him is going to take him off the ground a little bit. But I mean that's how you tackle him. But he does not, to y'all's point, take his knees and extend through using his leg strength and pick him up. And he looks like he's falling down and he's trying to keep himself from falling on his shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. I, I again, I, I just that, don't that, understand. That's, it. A, that's a penalty. You need to shut the game. down. That's a terrible yeah. call. I thought y'all were going to say that he threw the ball, no. then he hit him. He's he's letting it. He's no way he right sees the turn. ball's gone. Yeah, he's he thinks. Yeah, he's, I, I didn't really. You know, you're if you're a Vikings fan, you're you're like, what? Okay, we'll take. He'll it. take it. Yeah, but I mean, but it didn't work out. You know, the great uh, equalizer couldn't hit a field goal. So, <clears throat> well, you know what? <laughs> you talking you, about? You know, Cle- the Cleveland Brown coach. Okay, was wow. asked. The in, kickers overall you, this weekend yeah. had a terrible week. Guys missed 19 kicks in the NFL <laughs> on Sunday. That's yeah. 19. That's people that are paid to kick. Speedy, you have to understand, because I know you're trying to get the Browns to the playoffs. Uh-uh. I've never seen they got to win one of it. I've never seen them. a coach be asked so directly and so soon after a game, Oof. what's your plans to get a new kicker before Thursday? And he didn't and he didn't act overly offended. Yeah, it was. He was kind of like you know. Like, hey, hey, it's gonna be tough. But. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, too. That's a little, little soon. Well, to all the kickers that got cut, I think the, this is probably a good week. I'd keep your phone on charge. Yeah. yeah. No, so. you're you're right. There's yeah, gonna, gonna get some shape. calls. Some are going. Back. Some are going back into the league. I promise yeah. you. Yeah. And they were gonna try to get the one from uh, uh, from uh, the Vikings, but now that's fell through. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate it for Carlson. But. Oh sure. Well, he's a good kicker. I mean, they all have. They all have rough times. <laughs> Like, you just had to hit one. Uh, right. I, I'd like to see his little brother hit a few more, but <laughs> yeah, it, it's a. Uh, <laughs> it's a. Uh, I mean, no, they got a lot of foot. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, but, but in all fairness, it, it, isn't it a miracle that they get off the kicks? They do. I mean, the snap's got to be perfect. Okay. The hole, a lot to go wrong there. Well, you know, and you know what happens? You get into that mode. Well, you know what people start oh, saying? No. We, we pay you to do one thing. We just need one thing from you. <laughs> we'll be back. More Rick and Bubba next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It's a Rick and Bubba news. news update. It's a Rick and Bubba news. news update. All right, let me see if I have all this right as, uh, as a co-host of a show and a citizen of the United States of America. Uh, we have uh, another Supreme Court justice that we're trying to confirm. Uh, and, of course, his name is Brett Kavanaugh. Do I have that right? You're correct. Mm-hmm. All You're right, correct. so Democrats don't want him un- to be uh, uh, confirmed because they think that he he will join other conservatives on the bench and he will forever change society uh, and turn this into this horrible, horrible country. And so they want to stop this confirmation. Republicans, if they all stick together, have enough votes that it won't matter. Barely. Barely, but it's Barely. close. It's very close. Yeah. And right through all the – and y'all all read off the number of hours and interviews and all Thousands this, of thousands, hours, hundreds thousands of, of interviews, with, testimonies. With a few seconds on the clock, uh, suddenly Senator Feinstein shows up and says, I have been contacted by an accuser. It is six minutes past the hour. Hello and welcome to another hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. Thank you for being with us. This hour starts with the National Anthem.
Seven and a half minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. Thank you for being with us. From the no-name studio out on the bleeding edge of technology, we come to you from sweet home, Alabama, to the world. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy have given you a kickoff hour. Intern Alapuka here again today, banging out a degree in common sense from Rick and Bubba University. Common sense, now more than ever, a superpower. Eddie Van Adler settles in for the YouTube experience. We got that live for you and archived every day. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, no charge for that, uh, but uh, it gets you alerts every time something new is there, including the live show every day. And uh, we are trying to reach the goal of 100,000 subscribers because we want that silver button. Uh, and we're only a few thousand from getting there. So if you haven't subscribed uh, to the YouTube channel, let's do that. Here's a silver tongue one. The man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters, man of the year. The inventor of pizza in a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and the master of the king's English. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bill Bubba Bussy! Howdy, Bubba. How about it, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, and associates. Yeah. Bono and B.B. King before love came to town. <laughs> That's quite a combination. Uh, I did what I did before love came to town. Uh, so, Bubba, uh, are you ready to take on another adventure today, my friend? Rick, uh, we are here. We're saddled up. We're ready to go. Uh, there's a couple of stories today mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. uh, is absolutely mind-boggling to me. Uh, and I, 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 I don't even, I almost don't want to even tease these uh. because they're very bizarre. Have you heard about Charles Stanley's grandson? Are you going to bring this up? Don't do this to me. Up? You know, I've struggled <laughs> and struggled to try not to 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 you know to what? over overdo the Andy thing and kind of stay out all that. And now this you, is his grandson. Well, I don't know well, if it was Andy's son well, or not. I, well, uh, that's what I'm worried. I, maybe we'll, not. Who we'll knows? we'll dive into that. Very yeah. bizarre story. Charles right. Stanley, legendary yeah. you know, pastor and sure. preacher, teacher. Right. Uh, who passed away a couple of weeks ago, and apparently his grandson is auctioning his stuff off. Well, there it is. So you just um, went ahead and said it. So, uh, well, we'll look well, into I mean, that. Even more bizarre than that, possibly, is that do you know that your U.S. tax dollars here we go is about to start a new research project in China? You know what they're studying? Coronaviruses in bats. We're about to start that project again. Not true. With our money, not NIH, true. Not true. they're at it again. Okay. It was stopped by Trump three years ago. They're about to restart it this week. Y'all, the last time they did that, they gave us coronavirus. I know. I know. And they're going to do it again. Well. I mean, have we lost our gourd? I know. Well, the answer to that is yes, but <sighs> apparently so. We'll dig into that. I All did right. get caught up on Skinwalker Ranch last night. Okay. Too, so. All right. Yeah. You know, gosh, I, meant the, I thought that's tonight. Uh, oh, that's right. Tonight's the new episode. New, yeah. yeah, but I got um, caught it. But anyway. Um, Some good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I saw one of the old episodes over the weekend. Um, you, uh, I don't know what happened, uh, and I caught a little bit of the kickoff hour on the way in. Um, Greg, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, when, when you left this office yesterday, 
various versions of I'm done with this, and you left here clutching the Suckler 4000. Uh, I didn't use it, but I had it there in case I need it. Well, that's that's why we got it. Because yeah. the mom, is she's backing off a little quick. It ain't quite time to wean them. I saw him leaving. She can give it. me another week and a half maybe. Yeah. But it didn't – it didn't come to it, but but the sucker. I don't know if the the puppies will even pay it any attention. Speedy loved it. Yeah. Well, what I was but. wondering, you know, like Helmsy's wife, you know, worked for many years in lactation. Is Speedy now a person that comes to your house if your dog won't nurse? And he and Speedy's like a canine lactation nurse. That'd be great. yeah. I mean, he's giving a sample. That makes what the puppies that, that, don't act like that's outrageous based on what we just saw last week. Rick, don't you, act like that's unreasonable. You joke. I'm sure there are people who do oh, that, Bubba. I saw, and people are sending me multiple videos of this, and it's everywhere. You realize now we have LGBTQ items for dogs? A what? Rick. Mm, for dogs. What do you mean? I don't know how to break it to everybody. Dogs, they don't even, they don't know what you're talking about. Uh, they, no, uh, Rick, they, 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 you know. Yeah. I, yeah. I, they'll give you that look, but yeah. they really don't know. No, and... Uh, it, did, did somebody really think their dog says, "Oh, thank you for the rainbow bone"? That that was a game changer. <laughs> yeah, that was a game changer. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so I'm up with the call. <laughs> right. Down with the call. That was, I said, I, 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 look, look this day. this world. I don't even. I, it it's it's always been a little odd, but but we're taking the odd meter right oh, now, man. and I mean, <laughs> hey, we're redefining. It, it has wrapped around. The needle has wrapped around and come back the other side. Hey, anything goes. Uh, don't you think for a minute there won't soon be trans pets? I promise you. Oh that's yes, coming. I promise you that's Rick, coming. You can write Rick, that. Rick, the article I read about people who you can uh, write that down. Identify as handicapped and they want surgeries I, and stuff to make them. Have y'all heard this one? I mean, have y'all heard this one? And again, I didn't get it off some weird site. This was Fox News. No, and they're trying to get it. I guess declassified as a mental disorder, so people can actually have surgeries for this type of stuff. Do y'all hear what I'm they're, saying? They're, they're, the reason they won't do that because they say people are trying to do it themselves and mm -hmm. it's harmful. Did you, do you hear this? There's mm -hmm. people that identify as being handicapped. Now, not thankful they're not. So they won't, they'll, <laughs> not, they'll not, blind themselves? Yeah, not, thank, yeah. not thankful they don't have these challenges that so many people have. They want to have them, and they, so much so they'll cut their own limbs off or damage They identify themselves. as yeah. handicapped. And so they want to be able to get good, clean surgery so they can mutilate themselves and then have struggles. Mm-hmm. Greg, that's got to be Moonchild to a level. Oh, I it mean, is, and they mentioned it in the right. article. Yeah. You yeah. kind of wish they would just focus that into "I'm going to jump off a cliff somewhere." Well, <laughs> you know, you hate to say that. No, you well, hate to say that. Well, yeah. it's better for everybody, right? Yeah, you know, if you're at that point. Uh, so we'll come back. Eight six six. We be big is the number. A lot to unpack. Uh, you want to hear this coronavirus story? Yeah, sure, sure. I, I can't believe what I'm I'm reading here. I mean, I we thought, have to say that a lot here. I lately. thought when Greg left with the Suckler 4000 yesterday, that would be the biggest story today. But it's not. We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Jump. It's accusing Brett Kavanaugh of being inappropriate with her. I love the add-on over the weekend that the woman now says she thinks that it could have been possible that he could have killed her. Did you see that little throw in this yeah, weekend? Right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Wow. So, so anyway, um, now keep in mind, she, 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 she acted like in this scene it was just so desperate that he could have accidentally killed her. I noticed she was, she was saying in, right. in this whole situation. So anyway, there's even a he tried to kill me in there now, yeah. maybe not on purpose, <laughs> but inadvertently. But anyway, so, um, so this comes uh, to the forefront. And if and if anything did happen, it was back in uh, 1980. Uh, Rick, it was almost 40 years ago, right? And, and back in high school. So, and yeah. certainly, if anything bad, 30, 36 years to be exact, right? So, so then Kavanaugh says, I unequivocally and categorically, categorically, how that categorically? That's a tough word. Try it. Categorically. categorically, didn't happen. I this never happened, and I I could not deny it with any more, you know, um, energy. So so now we thought, well, this thing's about to die off. Even people on the left are saying this is ridiculous, this is embarrassing. And just about the time that you thought, well, it's over, now the accuser says that she's going to come forward and will testify under oath. Because at one time it was mystery woman. Now, now, now I'm coming forward and I'm being interviewed, 
And her and and I noticed in one of the interviews she claims that Kavanaugh and a friend of his at some party or whatever got her off in some room, shut the door, and tried to force himself on her and tried to cover her mouth where she wouldn't scream. And that the person who now was alleged to be in the room says, I don't recall anything like this happening, and I don't know what y'all are talking about. Now, of course, if you're against Kavanaugh, you say, well, yeah, that's one of his buddies. He's going to cover for him. But just so we can get everything on the table, yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. the person who she says was in the room as his lookout says he does not recall a situation like that ever happened. So Kavanaugh says it didn't happen. This woman says it did happen. And, and to what degree did it happen, no one knows. Uh, so now we're, we're in this situation with, with, with the vote coming up. Now the White House is standing with Kavanaugh and his denial. Uh, we don't know how to affect the votes. I saw Lindsey Graham, uh, uh, I guess, afraid that somebody's going to say that you know he's <laughs> he doesn't love women. He's saying that he wants to hear what she has to say. And certainly, you know, if if something like this happened, you know, if we could get to the truth, great. Then everybody can make their own decisions about if it happened at all. If it did happen, is it being exaggerated? What really was taking place? And then, you know, then everybody decides whether if something like this happened 36 years ago. First of all, you got to get to the point before we can do the 36. Because there's certain things it don't matter when it happened. If it's so horrible, it's, yeah, it certainly right. should be addressed. Right. But you know, there's not there there's there's teenage hijinks, and then there's dangerous attacks that could have killed me, and then there's stuff I guess somewhere in between. And no one no one really knows uh, that that's where we are. Well, no one should be treated that way ever if that is the case. If, if, if what she alleged, uh, yeah. But again, we we've had a lot of time pass by, and if this was such a serious offense, why has it not been brought up when he was confirmed to the appellate court? I mean, he he's had a long public career. Um, I, I don't know. I guess they just rubber stamp these guys till they get to the Supreme Court because none of them ever get booted off the you know the the judicial courts leading up to that i mean he's a member of the dc court now right yep. so uh but what is eerily strange about this if you remember uh clarence thomas's hearings mm-hmm. where he was accused of inappropriate inappropriate behavior at the ninth hour too by a registered democrat who also was a university professor teacher anita hill from oklahoma at the time, and this is Christine Ford, a California-based professor who is also a registered Democrat. Well, if you remember the thing that we, and certainly we wanted to be sensitive to what Anita Hill was was suggesting, the only problem is, and this does hurt, and I understand that sometimes people say, well, that's not fair, but every time Judge Clarence Thomas would be moved to a new place, she would join his staff and go with him. (laughs) And and, and you, you would think if this man is making my life miserable and I hate to be around him, the first time you could get out from under his uh, authority, you would. You wouldn't just keep moving with him every time he got a new judgeship, which they said that that hurt her credibility on that. That looks a little more political. And if you remember, and we were we were pretty young then, but I remember, and if you get a chance, go back and listen to it. Uh, Clarence Thomas, when he finally got his opportunity, oh, he, he boy, turned it on. He 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 really really delivered quite a powerful speech defending himself mm-hmm. and talking about. Now think about what was happening. How long ago that was. Yeah. And One minutes past the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show. Thanks for being with us. So uh, go to rickandbubba.com. Uh, now we have the three finalists in Fix Mama's Mouth. Uh, we got about a week for you to go and vote. So go there now and uh, go to the contest button, and you can vote uh, for which of the three uh, mommy finalists uh, should get the $17,000 dental makeover from Thomas Dudney. Uh, just go and vote. So let your voice be heard, and uh, we'll have um, we'll have a winner. And Dudney will come in here and announce that winner Tuesday of next week, one week from today. So look at all that at rickandbubba.com, and happy Mother's Day this week to all the mamas out there. Well, Bubba, you uh, you said something that uh, that I can't um, I can't fathom that yeah. we would, but we do all kinds of stupid things. It, it, am I still asleep or something? Yeah. Is this a bad dream? 
Well, there's. Um, I think the days of we don't do blank anymore because it went bad, <laughs> those days are over. We our, our new attitude is let's try it again. It won't happen again. Maybe we can do it different this time. Mm-hmm. So here we go. Uh, see if what you are All right, right out of the headlines here. here. Yeah, here Controversial research group linked to COVID lab leak is set to receive $2 million in U.S. taxpayer cash to study risky bat coronaviruses that could start the next pandemic. As the NIH restarts grant suspended three years ago by President Trump. The NIH, the National Institute of Health, has renewed a previously suspended grant to EcoHealth Alliance. The nonprofit is at the center of the lab leak theory after uh, sending funds um, uh, to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And I, I, that word's virology. Virology. Is that right, Adler? Virology. 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 We're going to call it virology. the WIV. Virology. That's it. I have to I have to warm up. Those mm-hmm. first two were stretching. That was me stretching. Virology. Mm-hmm. I, I, get, I, get, I get everything that's supposed to be in there. Yeah. And then I say, y'all want to try to put yourself together? Let's go. <laughs> Under terms of the grant, the organization will receive $2.3 million funded by U.S. taxpayers, evenly spaced out over the next four years to work on bat origin coronaviruses. Is that not what we just had? I tell you what we are, and it has a word bad in it, but I ain't going to say it. <laughs> but we're back crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, they, yeah, they yes have said that yes, they, will not, they will not subcontract the work to China to collect new virus samples from the wild or carry mm. out gain-of-function research. Mm. All right, Dan. Mm-hmm. But now we were told by Fauci they wasn't doing gain of function research last right. time because it yeah. didn't meet some criteria. How can you start something back up again? You said you weren't ever doing it. Right. <laughs> of course, probably because you're a lion a wank. You know, yeah. this is. Remember that one, Greg? Lion a wank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never knew what it meant, but I like it. Uh, you know what it was, Greg? I think it says you lie and you wink is what that came from. Uh, How you lie you and you lie wink at somebody. Wink. Yeah. I, yeah. I think that's what it came from. I'm telling myself. It's Greg Quick's all just to me. <laughs> <laughs> you a lying away. Right. So I don't know, Bubba. I, 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 I mean, you're saying U.S. dollars. You're saying like, like taxes. Yeah, we're giving yeah, them. Yeah, we're right. giving them a grant to do this. Yeah, but we we just said though that we Trump's administration said hey, that was a bobo no no and shut now, it down. Now, now that we know what we did, we're going to shut it down. So we're just going to start doing it again. Do we expect different results or? What is this all about? Because there's some sort of definition of insanity and all that stuff. Rick, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I, I'm trying to read this for some something that makes sense. Are you missing something? Is there something not uh, right about it? You know, it? somebody help me here. I mean, somebody help daddy. So, I, mean, I, I don't know. So, uh, but, you know, and I have noticed that, that there's, because I see little things, I guess because it was, wank. I guess because it was so effective on all the ground that all, all that multiple people were able to grab. Uh, as we have done throughout time, tyrannical governments mastered it. Now even tyrannical, you know, companies have mastered it too. Those that are, that kind of abuse the the wonderful free market is that we can get people to give us anything, and we can get people to give up their their liberty. We can give people to give up just about anything if we can scare them enough. And and then they they run to us and saying, "You can have anything you want. I just don't want to die or get sick or get hurt." Mm-hmm. Uh, or, and and everybody and then they go good. Now that we've we've terrified you, we can pretty much do with you whatever we want. Mm-hmm. Just I mean I I, I I don't even know what to say about that. Yeah, I guess what they'll do is they'll say. I well, mean, I thought we had a worldwide pandemic; a bunch of people died. Right. Well, I Did guess I not just see that. I guess what they'll do is they'll come back again and say, "Oh, well, we have to do this, or it's going to happen to you again." They'll they'll have to play the fear card, but in this case, it looks like they're playing the fear card the wrong way. Mm -hmm. It seems like people might be afraid enough to come in and say, we ain't doing that, but I don't know. What what do you do? Is that one of those things where you just don't have any control over what people do with your money? Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And it's so, all these it, layers and la- I mean, they throw and why around, are they, they say they're around, doing it? They throw around millions of dollars like we throw around fifty cents. Are they say oh, they're yeah. doing it to keep it from happening again? Oh or yeah, to learn to what stay, happened. You know, stay on top of it. Is this well, still, no, they're, they're is this saying, still staying with bat sandwich? I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, the the story we have is that they're saying they're doing it because this is what could start the next pandemic. Hmm. 
is is the so that's why they're studying the the right. risky bat coronaviruses that could start the next so, pandemic. So they're but, studying the risky coronaviruses in bats started the last pandemic. Yeah. Right. Them studying the pandemic, <laughs> the possibilities of a pandemic is what started it. Yeah, them mm-hmm. them 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 doing gain of function and playing with viruses is why we all got in a bind. Mm-hmm. I mean, can't we just can't we work on the common cold or something? I mean, can't we get back to that? How about I, allergies? Well, yeah, I just um I don't know about y'all, but anytime I've had something go south, you know, like like say I decided to try a new experiment in my garage. And 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 I blew the garage up. Right. And and I came out and my face has got soot all over yeah. it and I'm limping from the, you know, just the, the power of the explosion. And uh, I would say I would I would probably, you know, take my hand, run it through my hair and go, Whoo I ain't gonna do that again. <laughs> right. You know? Right? Yeah. yeah I, you would think. Yeah. So yeah, so the um, but it has we, but to do we with didn't the, do this before, right? That we denied that we were doing this before, but now we're doing again what we said we didn't do. I want to get that part right <laughs> in a roundabout way. But see, Fauci Fauci danced over all this little because Fauci. he he was playing the Fauci. word game with what gain of function is. Mm-hmm. You know, if you don't if you don't do it this far, or you know, or do it this fast, or do it this way, or have this result, it's not technically gain of function. Now, were we, were we growing these viruses and moving them ahead of the natural process of where they are in the wild? Yes. Mm-hmm. Was it in a lab that that had bad ratings for its safety a year or two before that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Did people around that lab and lab workers get sick back in 2019, fourth quarter, way before anybody else? Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, how stupid are we? Were terrifying videos released from inside there? People screaming and hollering, "Doom is coming!" <laughs> Bubba, they're quick. They're, <laughs> Bubba, they're quick to say that. Look, they're not going into the field and collecting new samples. They're only going to sample the back coronaviruses collected and are already in the lab. Yeah. How about go in that, there? That, that same lab that let it out last night. Yeah. yeah, go in there, kill everything you got, and burn that thing to the ground. Right. Good so, night. Bottom of the hour, 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. More of the Rick and Bubba Show coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Already saying we're on a bad path here. Mm -hmm. And, of course, he was correct. Well, it all started with Robert Bork, and you will hear people refer to being Borked. uh, And that was a term that happened when uh, when Robert Bork Mm -hmm. was – Booted off the the uh, confirmation thing. A lot of people thought he was probably one of the greatest legal minds of, of our time. But up to that point, the the nominees went in there that actually told you what they thought about stuff. And uh, boy, he was he was met with a roadblock because it was a Reagan appointee, and it also was a time they thought the court was going to move a little bit to the right. And uh, they just they just assassinated his character, and then after that, nobody would really talk about it. Everything anything. changed after yep. that. But just like a moment ago, when Bubba, a Viking fan, I wanted to hear his assessment of the Clay Matthews penalty hmm. because he he certainly benefited from it, and and it, so I think he has a little more credibility. So here's Bill Maher, who makes it clear he does not like Kavanaugh at all. He said, matter of fact, he says some things I can't say. He calls him some really bad names. He says, however. With that being said, uh, well, we can't play his audio. I can tell you, I know y'all showing the video, but we can't play his audio. Uh, uh, unless you just want to play the part where he says this. I think it'd be best not to play it. Yeah, Rick. Because, little... because he wants you to be very clear with some very crash language. What he thinks about Kavanaugh what, to start with. What he thinks yeah. about Brett Kavanaugh. But he says, with that being said, sexual assault in high school from an anonymous source makes us all look bad. That this is we can't this is we can't live in this world. So it, now she's going to come forward though. Yeah, but that was before she came. So now she's with that going on, she's going to come forward and tell her tale, and then I guess you know we're going to get into he said she said, and I guess everybody's got to decide whether they believe. I, I have noticed there's been a lot of women that have come forward that have worked with Judge Kavanaugh, and they're saying we can only speak to our time with him. But we see nothing in his character that would ever reflect. Like 65 of them. Yeah, so we don't know. We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
35 minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show. Thanks for being with us today. We are fired up and ready to go for another one, and we're looking forward to chatting with with you today. That number, 866-WE-BE-BIG-ALAPUCA. Rick and Bubba intern taking your phone calls today. Uh, he got his first name. That was fun yesterday, Bubba. You mentioned it. It's been a while since we named him. It was good. It was good to get to do that again. Don't forget also Rick and Bubba University, the podcast came out over the weekend, a brand new one, uh, Andrew Parker, um, influencer, social media influencer. Uh, we talked to him about that whole world. Uh, if you hadn't caught that, it's uh, wherever you get podcasts, there is a new one there. Uh, how about you talking about all the different ways and all the different ways we do things yesterday? Uh, yesterday it happened. Uh, it's time for my annual physical, so uh, at which really I'm a man, so what that means is it's time for my two-year physical because uh, <laughs> I don't usually make the annual. But but anyway, it's been a couple of years, and then you know, your doctor finally starts going, hey, we, we need the blood work. We need to oh, see yeah. where you are. And yeah. So I had to go give blood right after the show yesterday. And so um, – so and and I and I like this new format where you have all these locations now that basically say, look, we'll handle the blood testing part. So my doctor finally said, look, you're you're too hard a an airplane to land. Hmm. Can, can we just send you the blood work we want done? And one day when you feel like this is the day, could you just run less than a mile from your office and let them do the blood work and they just send it to us? Okay, will that work, Hoss? Yeah. Hmm. So we did that. But I, but I had an interesting conversation with with all the the way things are being done now with the way sh- the show is heard and and all this. So I'm coming out, very nice man outside, and he said, "Hey, uh, you're uh, you're you're from Rick and Bubba." And I said, "Yes, sir. Nice to see you." He said, "Man, just really enjoy the show." He was, he was very encouraging. But here's what got interesting: he he's not from where we were, which is where we live. He's not from here. He's here for business or something. Right. And he was he was from somewhere, and I can't remember now where where. He looked at me and he goes, um, "Yeah, I, I really enjoy the show." And I said, "Well, thank you." So I said, and he goes, "I don't really know how I get it." And he <laughs> and he just stops and he looks at me. I said, "What, what do you mean? Are you listening on the radio?" And he goes, "I, th- I think I am." And and I and I said, "Well, well, you, you know, was he in the hotel room? Well, well, no, he was talking about where he lives. Oh, and he was like, it just kind of comes on." And he goes, I Not think. Real sure. He said, I think I'm listening to podcast stuff. He goes, podcast. Y'all do? Are y'all on podcast? And I said, Do you mean the Daily Show? And he said, Yeah. He goes, I don't think I'm listening to y'all live. He goes, Y'all are y'all are on in the morning, aren't you? And I said, Yeah. And he goes, I hear your show every day, but I'm not sure how I get it. And he was our age, so I was kind of like, you know, and he was go, I just, I just have it. I just have. And it. I said, Well, good for you. you I'm, go. I'm, I'm glad you have it. And uh, but but that's that's kind of the world we live in, and and the whole thing about trying to get these buttons and subscribers and and streaming and this and not, and then like one guy and see Hamzy Hamzy see if I have this right because Bub and I you know we're having to learn this as old men okay when a guy when a guy gave me a hey I noticed you don't ever mention y'all are on Spotify mm-hmm. when I mention we have podcast archives that that includes Spotify correct do I have that right you do it just, there's just different platforms that give you our podcast so we upload it upload it to one place and it goes everywhere right yeah. and so spotify is one of so those. really what i should say then and don't forget about our podcast archives available wherever you get podcasts that's it mm-hmm. okay yeah because see he's thinking i'm leaving out ways because he's probably like all right he goes well i hear you on something called spotify yeah. well that's what i mean when <laughs> yeah. i say podcast archives right <laughs> correct that's what i mean when i say yeah. podcast archives yeah. okay look at you rick <sighs> Look at you. you hear that, Bubba? You good. You Spotify good just offers I may do a little AI today. <laughs> other things outside of the podcast. And so that's where it's probably confusing yeah. for him. And then and then and then yeah, because I asked him, I said, So are you are you listening on an app or if you're listening to the show live? He goes, I don't think I'm hearing it live. Yeah. And then he goes, Podcast. And it's like oh, he's like he knew to say that word, but he didn't yeah. know really what it meant. Yeah. And Bubba, uh, you have I think end- what he was telling me is I have a phone yeah. <laughs> and I and I somebody told me how to get y'all and yeah. when I get in the car it comes on my Bluetooth and I really right. don't know where it's coming from. Right, right. Yeah, it's gotta be it's gotta be gotten here. Mm-hmm. You're right. Mm-hmm. So I told him good. I'm yeah. glad you got it. Having your engineering background, Bubba, did you ever envision this much, you know, possibilities to, to watch oh or listen to the show or mm-hmm. that technology would go into this when Oh, I, I, I knew that it was possible that they would be things that we couldn't even imagine back when I was doing punch cards with COBOL. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it, it certainly has, has moved right. I mean, the, the technology has moved 
forward very quickly. Well, what's happened, Bubba, and you know this because you actually yep. t- you actually taught me this. When something new comes on the on, on onto the the scene, the the Bubbas of the world, uh, other people I know that are really at high tech, probably the Adlers of the world, they go and figure it out, and they like it, and they start working with it. And then there's the Ricks of the world. And that's who you got to wait on. <laughs> and and what happens is for these things to solidify, number one, they have to be dependable, right. meaning you can't have a signal problem right. or, or a quality problem. Right. And they have to there has to become an ease of operation. Right. And and these things have solidified now into ease of operation. I mean, well, to, the, to some degree. Yeah. Well, I'm talking. I'm talking. <laughs> I mean, as far as like how I you know listening to things, um, it's um, you know it, it it even I can do it. And, and, and once it gets to where it's that easy, I mean, my mom does it. She's 81. It's not hard. You just got to care about it. And I, there's things in my life where I don't care about yeah, it's them. it's not worth it. And then all of a sudden, I see how easy it is, and all of a sudden, it, 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 I care about it. Well, that's, like, that's the point. Yeah, well, like it's when easy it, to go, well, I'm not messing with that. It's hard. Yeah. But well, it's really not. Well, it's, it's just you don't care. The game changer for, for, like, my mom is when my mom realized for her to watch us on YouTube, which is what she does, in in her in her apartment is all she has to do is click on YouTube and then search for Rick and Bubba and then once she's subscribed it comes up and says hey here goes the show and she just clicks on it exactly you know so so that you know and, but it's she, but definitely her, better than it used yeah to her be. thing is she wouldn't want to watch it on her phone right. and I know that's been around quick she wants to see it on that TV right well now she can yeah and uh, and so with really <clears throat> not a lot of complication. Yeah, exactly, and that and that's when it really that's when yep. it really starts to yep. go when it's when it's it's viable and easy to access and dependable. It has to meet all those, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there's been a lot of things that came along that were cool, but I, they they were too complicated and they weren't reliable. Well, and and people don't like change, right. you know. We know oh, that. I don't. No, nobody in the no. room likes change. No. Nobody does. It no. takes time to to generate new habits and do it new ways. And, yeah. yeah, some um, say twenty one days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> twenty one days. That's the marker. <laughs> right. I, I think it takes like. For your listening and viewing habits, I think it takes longer than that. Yeah. Just to, for it to become second nature and you're comfortable with it. Um, you know, it's uh, it, it's really amazing. I mean, we, we're in our 30th year doing the show. We've talked about that yeah. a lot this year. Um, but considering that there was no internet when we started. Unbelievable. Yeah. None. Nada. Very few cell phones. Oh yeah, very few. Mm-hmm. Very yeah, few. that's why I asked uh, what I did on on the engineering side of things. Yeah, because this has got to be kind of cool. For because years but, but a big jump in, in thirty years, yeah. a big jump. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the curve is accelerating. Yeah, that's the thing. Because thirty uh, years is not a lot of time when no. you think about history. No, no, yeah. no. And, and really, look, my my parents are in their eighties. I went and got them uh, Friday to see Uncle, Uncle Duke over the weekend. And on the on the way back, my mom is getting notifications on her phone giving me breaking news. My mom yeah. in the back seat of the truck. Hey, well, look at here. Oh, well, yeah. I'm like, what What are you doing, Mom? Well, I just got a notification. Well, this just, is happening. Well, that's happening. Think about this: the 1900s, and it really, uh, you know, you can point to different things here and there. But mm-hmm. I mean, when the Wright brothers flew, oh. uh, it seems like from that point on, yeah. everything has just skyrocket right mm-hmm. i mean we we were when did they fly 19 10 12 mm-hmm. somewhere in there yeah um and less than 50 years later we put men on the moon right right I well mean, you it, what a what a huge jump that is and it, and it you know depending on how long you think that humans have inhabited this planet six thousand years or or 13 million or whatever the deal is uh the the last 100 years oh. has been oh. super, super fast in our ability to do things. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and just as these things go forward, you either adapt to them and do it as, as good as anybody's doing, or you, you, wherever, you, wherever you stay, you do what you're doing better than what's now right. available. Right. And just like this, I, I'll use TheraBreath as an example. I would much prefer, just me personally, to go – uh, a, about a mile and a half from my house, walk into a store, take my TheraBreath box off the shelf, and take it home while on my way home or something, okay? But when you go there and you don't see it and they don't keep it in stock and you can't find it, and then I pick up my phone and go click, 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 and two boxes come to my door in 48 hours? I know. Wait, you ain't going <laughs> to... You're not going to have me come in there looking on that shelf if, if it ain't going to be there. Mm-hmm. You know, it actually, it has that has to right. be better yep. 
than than the new experience. Right. Yeah. You know, and right. it, it has been a that, that's and what, what I think happens. I'm sorry. What I think happens is sometimes people bury their head in the sand. They try to guilt you to stay with them, yeah. as opposed to it's merited to stay with them. You you have to you, do a better job than the new thing or get in the new thing. Hmm. Speedy, you were talking about the way things and go. It, everything goes in a cycle, and even the way we act and react to things. Like, uh, you know, things used to be all done at the home. Doctors made house calls. Right. The people that sold ice, milk, chips, they all brought it to your house. Then we went away from that. Then we went to convenience stores because we didn't want to go in the big store because to get better. the little stuff, yeah. and it was quicker and cheaper. Yeah. And, and now you're seeing a move back to everything at home. Right. And I think we'll see doctors making house calls again. Oh, I think we, happening. like Rick said, he had to go to give blood. Uh, I think you'll be able to do all that at home. Right. I think you'll have a medical thing you feed it into, and it's mm-hmm. going to upload the data to somebody else. Well, I've already priced that. Uh, that is available. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I called, and at the time I thought, ooh, what, what they want every <laughs> month just for the service is still a little steep for me. Mm-hmm. Now, for the lab or home doctor? Anything. They, 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 you, you now have a doctor that is yours. Oh, yeah, I, I know and, that, yeah, and that what, service. And, what, and, whatever they, and they will come to your house, and they will. Uh, out, but, but now what they want. You know, it's right like, now for the for the retainer, yeah, it's mm-hmm. still a, a little a steeper than I want to go. Right, but 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 <laughs> but but I but I could be talked into it. Right, I think you the know. other thing you'll see, Speedy, and this is right out of sci-fi. I think you're going to see food synthesizers. Okay, I think you know how we three D print things now mm-hmm. at home. I think you're going to see the raw nutrients be put into a machine, and it, and it's going to make different type of food for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're right about that. Just like a drink machine does now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be back. Your phone calls are next. Uh, Alapuka taking them right now at 866-WE-BE-BIG. We'll talk to you when we come back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. We just uh, worked on the Kavanaugh update. And it can't be so. Key Republican senator in the in the vote is very. Assault accuser is now heard from, so her coming forward now. When you look into her current status, uh, she supported Bernie Sanders, uh, is a registered Democrat, uh, and of course, as y'all said, uh, is a California. Democrat, uh, so also signed a letter against the Trump border policy as well. So you you start thinking there could be an, an agenda there. It's certainly fair to say that, and uh, but now they're kind of getting what they wanted, and that is people calling for a delay on the Republican side, meaning you don't have enough votes, as you said, Bubba, to win this thing overwhelmingly. Meaning it doesn't matter, move ahead. If if it could get dicey because the margin is so close. If you don't have all the Republicans on the same page, and of course, rightfully so, these Republicans, as the Democrats knew, and, and which was you know brilliant strategy, they realize in today's environment they could be cast into the hashtag Me Too. Uh, you won't let this woman. You're not hearing her voice means you don't care, and not only do you not care about this, you don't care about women in general, and you don't care about how women are treated, and you know what? You're probably part of the problem. And that's exactly the lines that will be drawn. So a lot of the, these Republicans are saying, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Who? What's that term they use, misogynist? Misogynist. I, I thought that had to do with getting a rub down. I, I didn't did know. Too. I didn't know what that I did, meant. too. I, I didn't think know it is. By it. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know if it was a uh, Swiss misogynist yeah. or right. therapeutic. Deep, deep, deep tissue, tissue misogynist. misogynist. Uh, uh, but anyway. Uh, but but this, is an, this is an old play out of the playbook. We've seen it before. And like you say, Clarence Thomas pulled the ultimate uh, end around on them and came back and given a little of their own medicine. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it does hold everything up. And, and Greg pointed out, really, and I think bri- brilliantly, Greg, I, I can't say that, much, uh, it, it may not be as much about Kavanaugh, but to have a soundbite to run during midterm election campaigns. Yeah. And if they can get this, bu- uh, if they're doing the investigation, the vote will be pushed. Until after that. Correct. Right. Well, that's what, what they're supposed to vote Thursday. Mm-hmm. And here's the first chink in the armor. You got one yeah. saying, I think we should delay the confirmation until we hear from her. Hey, look, this, you got to be careful here because we've talked about if anything inappropriate happened, it shouldn't have. I mean, let's just put that over here. Well, sure. But this is the playbook. I mean, Schumer and others, hours after the, the, after his name was mentioned, they said they were they weren't voting for him. Hours after him. This well, is, yeah, this I, is, this is, this is all orchestrated. They knew about this since July. It came out the last the last night before 
everything was to take place, and and so we'll see how it plays out. But. Yeah, no one knows the truth, <laughs> and because people don't tell the truth anymore. I guess the only way we get to the truth now, we don't even know if we have it or not, is to say, all right, here's person A, and they're making an accusation against person B. And both of them say that she says, or person A says this happened, person B says no, it didn't. Person A says yes, it did. Person B with even more now, just now getting angry, you know, unequivocally says it didn't. So those of us that have to decide what the truth is, I, you have to. There's only one way you can really do it now, and that is, all right, let's go look at person A, let's look who they've been and who they are. Now let's go look at person B and see who they've been and who they are, and then try to decide which one you think is more credible. I don't yeah. know what else you're supposed to do when people there's don't no, tell the truth. Yeah, especially from thirty something years ago, it's going to be tough to. And, and it's problematic now because if somebody can hang something on you, even if you're cleared at some point. It's, it's, people will continue to act like that it actually happened. So everybody knows that, and we don't know what happened. I'll, I'll tell you what I think. It, I mean, and this, you know, that well, we don't know. That's the thing. None of us were there. So yeah, we don't know. It, it to me, yeah. to me, it's possible. Way. To me, it's possible. See, if it's just bad behavior, the only problem is, is somebody, any woman or any man, can say, "Well, when I was young, I was an idiot, and, and now I'm an adult, and I've had you know a lot of things change in my life, and I've lived my life as an adult above reproach." And I, I, like a lot of people, did stupid things when I was young and dumb. Did you do criminal things? No, I didn't. Did I do stupid things? Yes. Mm-hmm. Looking back, though, if, if we can if we can make it bad enough, it doesn't matter when it happened. Well, which like I would say, agree with if if, yeah. if that really happened. And and more and more is coming out about her. She's very outspoken against the current administration. Sure, She's a big Hillary supporter. Uh, and I, I don't know where the Bernie sent. The one I read was a Hillary supporter. I don't know about the Bernie part of it, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, that was in one of the stories that she had donated to uh, to Bernie as well. But I see here she was a vocal Hillary supporter. So and claimed she, the women's cover, march did cover, not go far enough. Right. So see those things. See so once you, again, you got a natural political enemy there. Well, again, if I so that that to me taints it a little bit too. Whether it's right, whether it's the thing to do or not, there's no other choice. So the only way I can discern anything in a story if two people are saying something happened and the other one says no it didn't i have to take these kinds of things into account to try to come up what i think might be the the correct narrative right mm-hmm. i mean now look would we all feel different if a person a woman who's a republican that wants to confirm a concern with all the uh, stories about AI and the uh, news of late. There's a story that's coming out of England that they are using uh, artificial intelligence, and, uh, not just for uh, red light cameras in England, but also to see into your vehicle to see what other crimes you might be committing. And it's doing it across six lanes of traffic. And if it happens there, they're looking at bringing it to the United States, brother. Well, I mean, we already have these little robots set up in little towns that'll send you a ticket. I mean, I mean, what, what kind of crimes can you commit while driving? Uh, speeding. Uh, well, they got that. I yeah, mean, uh, open container, holding your phone. Yeah, yeah. texting. Uh, texting. That's right. You can't uh, hold your phone now. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you know, I, I I don't know. There's 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 probably some uh, sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm gonna tell you all of you something. Serious business. Serious business. And I and I'm a big proponent of. You know, I don't need, you know, highly trained people that need to be busting up cartel, mm-hmm. you know, trying to see if I have my seatbelt on. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you something. Y'all got to get out of these phones. Mm. Yeah, the, it's ridiculous. The, the, y'all driving, staring at your phone. You, you got to stop doing that. I mean, if you ever, if you look around in traffic, you will be <laughs> terrified. Oh, yeah. You know, there was a time when you thought, oh, drunk driver. And now all of us know what? Texting. Looking at their phone, watching some video, and you're just like you, 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 you just. I understand if like your loved one says the ball game field has changed. Did did you get this information? Now meet me at field A, not field C. And you look and you're watching, you're paying attention. You go, got it. That's, but this thing of I, I, I'm all into my phone and I'm staring at it while I'm driving down the road is. I mean, come on. It's funny how all that has developed over the years, too. It's distracted driving, and it's been different things throughout the year. I mean, used to it used to be our kids in the cars without seatbelts. Let's not forget that. Oh, yeah. Where you had to tell little Johnny to sit down, Mm -hmm. you're distracting me. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Then it was people reading books and newspapers and putting on makeup, which that's still going on. Still going on. And and now it's phones. My my dad's arm was my seatbelt. Yes. 
Oh, I exactly. sit, as a kid, <laughs> I sit on the armrest. Oh, yeah. That's where yeah. Well, that's the best seat. Sister. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. If, if you'd have hit the brakes, yeah. I would have been a projectile yeah. onto a metal dash. Oh, yeah. I used to lay okay. Not one of them soft no. things we got now. I'll tell you, and that's not from a danger point of view, but just weird. I was... If you're standing in line, say, at the grocery store, turn around and look at everybody standing in line. I know. It's Every weird. single person is right. staring at their phone. Right. Right. I'd rather them do it there than in Yeah, the but, car. I mean, it's just weird. Yeah. It's like God it's forbid. God. What's addiction? You get your stupid yeah. nose out of that it's phone. It's 100% mm-hmm. addiction. And, and, it, and, and I'm it, serious. Something real important you're looking at. Yeah. And it, it, oh, well, yeah. Dry, well, what's Probably happened? Puppies. What's Probably happened? my puppy. <laughs> because, I, because I have struggled with it before, too, is if you don't have anything to do, yeah. And there's anything in life that says, which at time we would, you know, talk to each other, interact. But if anything pauses life for a minute, and says you must wait a few minutes. Everybody goes, well, I'm looking at my phone. Look at my phone. Look, yeah. I get it. I, if I mean, you're sitting it, in the waiting room at the doctor's. Right. Yeah. Ain't no like different that. reading a magazine. Yeah. I get that. But but, but it's just funny. It ain't hurting nobody. Right. I'm just saying it was hilarious. I got to looking around. I was like, oh, yeah. everybody. Well, I like that, Rick. They're, they're bored. Yeah. They're, they're bored, Rick. Well, you're right. Yeah. But the they're, one, the one that gets me though is when you're sitting there and the sun is setting on the beach, or you're up in the mountains. And you're sitting there in the chair yeah. when you're supposed to be just looking at this and relaxing, and you're staring at your phone, and, and in front of you the sun is setting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, at the beach, or I mean, you look at a family at a table. Adler just put a, a perfect, table at a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect yeah. example up yeah. on the screen where you have this opportunity to really sit back and enjoy this artist, and nobody's enjoying it. They're all capturing it on their phone. Yeah. I, I hate that too. I don't want you filming around me while I'm trying to watch a concert. Bubba, does this mean you can't use ham radio when you're driving? <laughs> uh, no, you can. Yeah, CQ. You just have to do it very carefully, like everything else. What if you're at an SEC championship game and you're trying to watch it? Two guys with you are staring at their phones. See, that that didn't happen. Hey, puppy vacation done. Just you can't uh, say anything anymore. Anything. It started out that we were doing pregame, which we were. Then it went to the first half. Now you got us doing it the whole game. You did. In a couple of years, we'll be snorting coke with a guy that was there. Yeah, we saw that. Yeah, that was the weirdest thing. He'll have us five years from now. He'll have us doing that. Looking back, you wish he was looking at his. I didn't know where they were. Then I looked over. Never, never seen anything like that in my life. I know. He yeah. was yeah. not trying to hide it. It's one thing to check your email. It's game. another to run a line on it. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Uh, Lexington, Kentucky. Sam. Sam, go like, ahead. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Uh, good morning, guys. I was born with a heart condition called aortic stenosis. I'm going to see my cardiologist next week for a checkup. I am currently wearing a halter monitor the size of one of those diabetic things on my chest instead of carrying around one of them old cell phone bags. I mean, you were talking about technology. Can you imagine, Bubba? I know you guys have had some heart issues and Bubba, your liver. But still, I'm wearing a little thing on my chest. Of course, I had to shave my chest the size of one of those diabetic monitors. And Bubba, seven threes. Y'all have a good day. Thank you, man. <laughs> There's a hand right there. There you go. Yeah, we had, we had a friend just had to put one of those on. Like, yeah. that, it's like a vest and everything for, for a heart situation. Yeah. Uh, Frank in South Alabama. Frank, go. Hey, we're, you know, in D.C., we're arguing about the uh, budget ceiling. You know, we're going to vote on, you know, raise the ceiling, that sort of thing. But I'm just going to form a small committee with uh, people with a superpower, you know, that have common sense. Uh, My committee is going to be Rick, Bubba, and and Greg. And, you know, we're going to look at the budget. We're going to eliminate things like, uh, you know, $5 million research why a rattlesnake bites you. Right. You know, yeah, and uh, those kind of three million dollars, three million dollars research why a largemouth bass hits a purple worm. You know, right. things like that. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, well, I think that's some it, of that. It, we it's important fine, stuff. It's fine to do research, but the taxpayers probably don't need to worry about why mm-hmm. a certain fish let would have. Let private people do that. Yeah, yeah, let the people who sell bait do that research yeah, right. because it's and good funded. for them. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's go to Lynn. Lynn, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead. Hi, good morning, everybody. Hey, Lady. Um, I was calling to see, I I saw the commercial a couple of days ago. It's a new Ford car, and it has hands-free driving. The commercial shows a deaf mom and her yeah, son. Yeah, I saw that. And she takes her hands off the wheel and starts sign, uh, doing sign language to it. Well, that's pretty. To that's, me, that's a little scary. Well, it's it's out there. I mean, that's pretty readily available. Now. I, no, I'm yeah. afraid. I, I don't yeah. know if I can do that. The Teslas yeah, have that. That, uh, uh, that option. A lot of vehicles have it now. Yeah, yeah, a lot of vehicles have it. And it's it's not perfect, but let's face it, a lot of the drivers out there are not perfect either. So no, I would I would be more comfortable with a lot of them letting a computer drive for them than them drive. Puppy update coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
All right, so uh, we've had a, a lot of response to this, and, and uh, you hear every day on the show everybody's talking about you know the government. We don't understand the illogical moves that they're making. And, and a lot of us right now, when we see these moves, I mean, we just had a caller talking about the debt ceiling. I mean, do, you, do they not understand? Have you ever walked in to try to get a loan? And you know one thing that they look for? How far in debt are you? Uh, and we think that we're just going to continue to get ourselves upside down in debt and the rest of the world is going to continue to do business with us. I mean, uh, it's sooner or later you get turned down because you're like, I'm sorry, y'all are upside <laughs> down. Uh, well, that's going to affect your retirement. And you're saying, Rick, how is that going to affect my retirement? Because we really don't control our retirement money. If you've got a 401k or an IRA, the government controls it. Uh, they decide how much you can borrow, when you must pay it back. Uh, they decide the taxes you're going to owe, the penalties you're going to be charged for taking money out too soon. And guess what else? They'll penalize you if you wait too long. Uh, you, you, you are doing it. I'll have another, sir. Uh, and that, that's your money. Uh, and with all this going on, are you destined to outlive your savings? Well, I don't have good news here on studies. Studies show the average person outlives their savings by almost a decade. 10 years without retirement income when you need it the most. And that's proof right there that the conventional retirement planning advice has failed most Americans. Rick, uh, appreciate you pointing that out and ruining my day, but uh, what, what can I do? Well, okay, here's what you can do. There's a better way to do it. Go to Bank on Yourself. Here, let me go ahead and give you the website, bankonyourself.com, and then slash RBS. That's Rick and Bubba Show, but just use those letters. <laughs> bankonyourself.com slash RBS. BS. Now, guaranteed predictable growth in retirement income. No luck, no skill, no guesswork. Your plan doesn't go backward. Uh, when the markets tumble, uh, both your principal and your growth are locked in. Uh, you get, you, you, let me tell you how many taxes you'll pay on it. None. Uh, you know your tax rate uh, will be, when you get ready to retire, it'll be zero under current tax law, which protects you from you know, the coming tax tsunami. You're in control, unlike the 401Ks and the IRAs. You get access to your money for any purpose at any time with no questions asked and no government penalties or restrictions on how much income you can take or when you can take it out. Uh, bank on yourself is the strategy that McDonald's used when nobody would give them a dime, uh, and almost anyone can do it. Uh, Built-in inflation protection, your money's guaranteed to grow by a larger dollar amount every single year, good times or bad. You get peace of mind because you know the guaranteed minimum value of your retirement savings on the day you plan to tap into them is there at every point along the way. Are you ready to find out more? There's a better way to do it. Get a free report with all the details at bankonyourself.com slash RBS. through a, a long history with Al Gore and, and climate change. And one of the, the Rick and Bubba life truths uh, that we've talked about, and, and you, it applies to so many things, if you want to know what someone really believes, just don't listen to what they say. Watch what they actually do. And what you actually do is what you really believe. And that's why Bubba and I have been trying to point out, sadly with very little success it, it appears, that even when they decided to have the global warming climate summit in Denmark, Copenhagen. You remember this? Copenhagen, Denmark. Do you remember they were going to Copenhagen and Bubba and I brought up the point, if man-made carbon emissions are, is really going to destroy the earth and kill us all where we stand at some point, shouldn't that have been a conference call? Because, you know, that technology is readily available and you, you give every country their own code and then it becomes this massive uh, conference call because then nobody should travel because let's minimize unneeded, unnecessary travel, and then let's just have a conference call and talk about the climate. Well, they didn't do that. Everybody traveled there on planes and drove big cars. And so we started kind of looking at that going, they must not really believe that. Why do you think that, Rick and Bubba? Because look what they're doing. Yeah. And so and remember when we went to Al Gore's house that time? Now, they said he did adjust. But when they first, well, after he was called, right. right. But when they first went to Al Gore's house, they noticed that he wasn't doing the things he told all the rest of us we should be doing. Yeah, it was a it was a guzzler, Rick. It was much using much more power and creating much more of a carbon footprint than George W. Bush's ranch. Right. Remember, it was actually sucking the life out of the state of Tennessee. <laughs> it was. <laughs> but now, now Ryan and, and Gordo, uh, by the way, speed trap. Uh, Ryan and Gordo watch it. Uh, watch, it. watch it on the way to Startville. But anyway, so um, Ryan, Ryan says you actually had to fly Al Gore on a corporate jet. Yeah, that's uh, that's right. It was uh, 
we were uh, headed up to Nashville, and we didn't normally know who we were flying until we got there. And uh, so we got there, and we realized that we were flying Al Gore, and we were going up to Teterboro, New Jersey, which is a hotbed for all corporate aviation. And uh, when we got there, we the line guys were out talking with us, and they asked us who we were flying, and we mentioned that we were flying Mr. Gore. And uh, they asked us. We were in a very small private jet, and they laughed, and they asked us why in the world we were in a in a small private jet because when Al Gore usually flew out of Nashville, uh, he would be on a Gulf Stream or some very large corporate jet. Now, uh, so we thought it was quite funny, and so we inquired further to determine where we were actually taking him, and we were actually taking him to a global climate summit in New York City. <laughs> And so it was quite convenient uh, that he take a small private jet just in case somebody might see him there. So what he did, he said, normally I'd be on the big boy, but what I want to do is I'm not going to avoid them all together, but I want to get out and say this one doesn't have near the carbon footprint of these others that Republicans fly. <laughs> right. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Uh, The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It is six minutes past the hour. You got the Rick and Bubba show. Hey, vote for Fix Mama's Mouth. Uh, your opportunity to do that now. The three finalists are there. Uh, well, you got a week uh, to get it done. Uh, Dudney will come in and announce the winner next Tuesday. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, and intern Alapuka all here. And welcome back, Bill Bubba Bussy. Rick, glad to be here, and thank all of you for being part of the Rick and Bubba experience. Greg, uh, I mean, did I see it correctly that uh, yesterday uh, I heard you? You didn't sound thrilled. I'll just say that. Uh, and I heard I heard a little bit of ranting, and then I heard, uh, "Where is the suckler four thousand? Yep, uh, that's it. And and I think that you left going home yesterday with the suckler. I mean, the, the Succular 4000 <laughs> in tow. Did I say it right? Succular? I, I took it. I'm very, I'm, I'm very afraid of that word. Succular 4000. Succular uh, 4000. It's a secular Is that the name succular. of it or did you name it, Bubba? That was a That's good what discussion. Bubba named it. I love it. How did it. you come up with 4000? I, I don't well, know, had, but I love it. Had, it. Four points it had it? four ports. Oh, yeah. Mm, I, how about, I fell in love with that. I mean, it's, the first time I heard it, I was like, I, I am all about this this name. So, uh, so well, there we go. I thought that I may have to have it because I got a report that the the mother dogs decided she's about done, right? And uh, she's not quite feeding them like she should, right? Well, she's done really great up to this point, right? Even after going through surgery and being gone for two days, came back and picked right up, right? Uh, so I thought I, but I didn't need it. We ended up we had to kind of coax her into it, but right, just a big pain in the butt. Yeah, Greg. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And 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 so you're saying there was some success with with her. She kind of got back to yeah. it by the time you got home. Well, it had to be forced. But, but what do you mean? Whoa, whoa. What do you mean by forced? Well, just kind of okay. We're gonna. Does drop, everybody want to drop that? you in here with them? Okay. And if you lay down, I'm gonna pet you so you don't jump up. Okay. But she wasn't gonna get in there on her own. And do mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So it. she'll well, let I you pet her now, huh? And when yeah. and when and when she got in there. She was okay, but but are you going to have to continue? I don't know. I had to see how the day goes. Well, the I, suckler is on standby. Of course, I don't even. The puppies probably aren't going to great, do that. Great. I tell you this: they don't like a bottle, <laughs> right? But a bottle doesn't have what the suckler four thousand. Maybe has. not. So that's the point. Is so that, did you try? It? No, I didn't. It, you we, get their it little get their little anymore. mouths on it on each one of Inter them. Inner defense: if eight of them. We try to sometimes separate them yeah, and you go four have, and four. You, you got to have two shifts, but it's hard right. to do now yeah. if if she's not. When you got her there, you better get them all. You may not get them again. Right. <laughs> but uh, eight of them's tough. That's a lot. How long do you give each puppy before you go, all right, that's it, somebody else's turn? They, I don't know. They Usually they'll stop on their own. Okay. Fall over, fall asleep. So <laughs> but we asked this yesterday, and you gave us an update. Uh, and, and the update was that that she – some of them have their eyes half open. Is yeah, that right? Yeah, those uh, ones got one eye open. One got yeah. You know, they're okay. not quite. Maybe today they are. I don't know. I'd like for you to try the Suckler Four Thousand just just for yeah, our own curious. research. Absolutely, and I just see, don't. hey, guys, it works. We want to know if it works or not because we don't know right now. And video it. Now we do know yeah, we yeah, we I do know that, that Speedy. <clears throat> It worked. Was, for was extremely successful. He with said it. it really worked. Well. I know that if you pull good enough on one, it, they all work. Yeah. So I if you could don't. get maybe the most aggressive puppy, 
and get it latched <laughs> on that the right. other ones just reap the benefit. Let's say you right. got a mixed meal yeah. cup, you got oh, yeah. a, you know. It's, well, Greg, what would you? I'm talking do? about. Then you, you try to get. They obviously would like it warm. Well, if they mess around, it's gonna cool off. Right. They can get on it. Right. <laughs> so you already got everything going wrong. Greg. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, from the jump. I know that's how you do it. That's, 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 that's that Eeyore. 48 hours straight of it. That's that Eeyore in him. I mean, about 48 hours straight of that, so right. I know how it is. But, Greg, when I when I heard <laughs> you. It's not speculation at all. <laughs> Greg, that's experience. Yes. <laughs> Greg, when I, when I heard this yesterday. And I need a pen. I got a kind of lead on one a few <laughs> minutes ago. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. I, I sent pen you a link to one a week ago. We got a company wanting to help you. Those are not. Greg, what's going to keep you from getting the same call you got yesterday again today? I don't know. Uh, Because let me tell you what I heard yesterday, and I'd like for you to expand on this, okay? I'd like for you to expand on this. And I've been there. You know, time was flying until this came (laughs) on. It's just just in down to granny gear. This is what we Well, weeks fly by. No, they don't. Not anymore. (laughs) (laughs) They don't fly by. I I was, you know. So you're saying in the valley it ain't flying? No. (laughs) Snail's pace. (laughs) I've never heard granny gear. Yeah. All right, now listen. That's what I needed. I heard this phrase yesterday, and I reported it to Bubba this morning so he can be prepared. I heard this phrase yesterday. I'm done with this. No. I'm, you I'm, said that. No, I know. Were you I just ill? That. Yes, you did. Well, yeah. I mean, I, at the moment, I'm done with her not participating. Right, right yeah. I, I kind of like to see her So what I heard yesterday more. was when you were little, that's when you threw something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> no, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise them. They gonna, they, I mean, they're cute little puppies. <laughs> Lisa's even got names for all of them. I, oh, when I get the official what? list, you're gonna laugh. You you do okay. know. Well, what? that's just you so do you'll know. know who is who. Yeah. You when do, we go to give can them you away. can you give us the names you got? You remember? well, one of them's Bob Seeger. <laughs> one of them's Tom Petty. Uh, I, I think like, I see a theme. Here. Yeah, they, it is. It's, yeah. A, it's a music theme. Uh, Daisy Jones. Oh yeah, Davy Jones. Daisy. Oh. That was mm-hmm. a, from a movie about a singer. But yeah, oh, okay. Uh, Greg, you, that's a bunch of man. Greg, you do know that that means that your wife. No, no, it's just to identify him. No, she, there's no, no, no. Believe me, right, believe me. Write down this. No, Everybody, write it down. No, I'm really. not. You will not keep all eight. You're going to end up with one. No, no doubt. Two, nope. three, maybe nope. two, maybe two. Nope. One, Greg, one yes. for all the grandkids. No. Greg, <laughs> you can say no at the wall if you want to, no. but but <laughs> but you're getting them. I'm telling you. Yeah. When and the grandkids, you want me to show which one you're getting? That black and white. Oh yeah, the one snuggled up. Yeah, I got, real I got three of them silver ones. Yeah, you're getting the silver one. Because uh, Bob Seger's got to have the silver bullet band. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I think one of them's even Mr. Lucky. Oh, yeah, how yeah. about that? Yeah. yeah that's that well. That, see, she's trying to send a signal with that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you gotta, that's the one that stays. You got to keep them for at least six weeks. We know that. <laughs> that's kind of the marker. How far along are are you now? It'll be about two. Hmm. This past Sunday was two weeks. Ooh. So you're not halfway there yet? Yeah. I'd just like to get them weaned, get her out of the picture. That'd be nice. So I could just feed them. How much, tear up that puppy chow. Yeah. How much did she weigh before she got pregnant? I'm not sure. Well, so how how big do you expect these puppies to get? Uh, I don't know who the I've dad never is. even seen the dad. Dad's just passing through. I think through. I did on a video, but we're not sure. <laughs> you think you did on a video? There was one dog what kind I could break. Well, no, I say video. The, the, right. the doorbell camera. Security camera. camera. Right. Yeah. right. Uh, yeah, but I don't he know. He came through in the night. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know. Greg, count down. To, when can the audience have their puppy? Uh, quick as we can. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know six what the weeks. F- is it six, eight? I don't know. Six weeks Adler from today. Eight. Six weeks eight. from today. Minimum eight. Six Greg. weeks from today, Greg. Greg you're how, in the clear. Greg, Let's how's say. time clicking by in Pleasant Valley? Oh, it's slow. <laughs> <laughs> Molasses. <laughs> Granny gear. Molasses. I, yeah, I do think it, it, it. it's no earlier than six, but six to eight. I'm saying if you if you got six more weeks in you, you're free and clear. For no, sure, I, I and everybody should be fine. I, but Alabuka, be, you want one? I will say this: when the nursing thing <laughs> uh-huh. is not, when they're weaned, it'll help. Because then I can just no, them won't. they're going to be running everywhere. Yeah. Oh, they're going to be loud and, and rowdy. <laughs> you but just I got can, a new I, issue. I'll just throw them some food in there. <laughs> yeah. Greg, well, well, I can ignore them. Bit, they're right? mobile Rick. at that point. You Rick. can't yeah. ignore them. They're going to have a pen, right? I just counted them. There's only five. They're going to be. They're going to be in the pen. You got to go find them. They'll be in the pen. I'll let them out, play with the grandkids, and I'll put them back in the pen. He thinks he can just throw some food in there. Yeah. That they won't bark all the time. Yeah, oh yeah.
Hey, Bubba, time's clicking on They'll leave a mess, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they will. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they they eight of them. Hey, hey, they clean up on eight. Hey, nice. Eight of them. <laughs> eight of them. So you got eight eight of that. Greg, yeah. Greg's a vehicle moves. It doesn't move in low one, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's about 20 poops a day you're going to clean up. Yeah, Greg, that's my next one. You know that's the next thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I What's know. the situation on that now? I don't want to be gross. Mama handles it if she'll get involved. Oh. No, if she'll get involved. Did you hear that? Yeah. You so don't, you don't ask, have the greatest mom, do you? On well, that, I mean, on she's done really good to this point. What you got to understand? Really good, she, Greg. She's not. She's probably about a year old. That's what I'm talking about. Really good. So, no, as up to this point, I, I think just a good. No, one. cleaned them <laughs> really up. Really good. Really good. <laughs> I, I'm surprising. Especially it, having it, eight to deal it, with. It didn't yeah. sound that way when the suckler four thousand was going to be yesterday. <laughs> no, no. But I'm set up to this point. Up to this point. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's almost like she said, "Well, I'm about ready to wean them, and I'm done with." You know, you're about a week and a half. It's one of them named Jason Crab yet. It was up. It was considered. Oh, okay. I would check and see. That, that's it. <laughs> well, Greg, it just sounds like life in the valley. Yeah, man. You know whatever. I just need. I got a. That's lead. the one that I, I got a couple leads eats, on. Right. Yeah, Jason. <laughs> that's him. I got a couple leads on some cages. I need to Do follow you? up today. Yeah, you need a cage, Greg. You know what? We're changing Pleasant Valley to Puppy Valley. Yeah, yeah. Greg. Thanks. Greg lives in Puppy Valley. Hey. Valley. Oh, boy. <laughs> Little pups. They are cute, though. They are really sure they are. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And Gosh, what a hypocrite. I mean, bottom, and you know what? I, I, mean, that, I don't fault Al Gore. If he wants to fly, uh, you know, that's perfectly fine. Just don't tell everybody yeah, else. Yeah, don't be should. telling us to park our SUV while he's flying a private jet. Or don't that's tell crazy. Other, don't tell other people not to fly on corporate jets or private jets when you're doing it. Well, Rick, they're wanting you to get rid of your SUVs. I mean, it's 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 hypocritical times one hundred. I Look, mean, it's I take a private plane every time I can. You know why? Because I actually want to get where I'm going on time. I mean, it's it's a bizarre concept. It's awful convenient. I would actually it's like, like a time machine. I'd like to take off when it says I'm taking off and land when it says I'm on land. Yeah. Other than paying almost as much money for an entire family to to go commercial and not get where we're going anywhere near when we're supposed to, it's just kind of an odd concept. Uh, and I certainly don't fault him for doing it. The only thing I fault is that he's doing it while saying he's, no one should do it. That's where we all got a problem. Um, Ryan, thanks. Thanks for that update firsthand. Appreciate it. Yep, you bet. Hey, was he a nice guy? Did he, Did you get along with him okay? Uh, I got along with him fine. Uh, he had quite a laundry list of things that were that had to be done for him. Uh, I laugh and tell everybody that I made Al Gore's oatmeal for him. Hey! Uh, he, he had uh, two <laughs> handlers with him, and he had a list, and there were – about 10 ingredients that went into his oatmeal uh, that was required to be made before he got to the airport. It had to be hot, uh, but we couldn't be late. And so there was a fine balance of, uh, as your, you know, your duties of a corporate pilot, there was a fine balance of, of, uh, <laughs> of getting the airplane ready and Al Gore's oatmeal. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ryan, good so night. good. You, good night. You, you, were, you were having to prepare his oatmeal? Yes, uh, a lot of times when you fly, folks, they're they're you know have a, a list of catering of things that they need, and so on this airplane, uh, we, you know we didn't have a flight attendant or anything, so uh, so they had a list, and one of his handlers had showed up to the airport early, <laughs> and they asked, uh, or I asked them rather, uh, do, is there anything special that we need to do? And they said yes, he'll need his oatmeal prepared for him and ready because he'll want that. As soon as he gets on the airplane. Well, I could and see I said, requesting well, he, a favorite food or something, and we usually don't send them a list, but a lot of the pilots we fly with know what we like, and they'll have us a pack of peanut M&Ms and a mellow yellow back no, there. Well, that's, well, here's what, and that's awesome. Here's you know? how, here's, but I don't ever say do that. No, here's and what it doesn't have to be a certain temperature. Yeah, you don't have no. to make the M&Ms. Well, yeah. what usually happens is I only answer questions the pilot asks me. Yeah. You know, hey, would y'all like uh, some, <laughs> some, some waters on the plane? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Hey, do y'all want some peanut butter crackers and some M and M's? That sounds good. I mean, we certainly don't demand it. You know what I mean? But and I'm not, and there. But the thing gets me is what you're talking about. He wants it to be hot, the perfect temperature. But he also wants to take off exactly when he wants to take off, and that's quite a little balancing act there. I mean, at what point do we yeah, have it ready indeed. to take off on time? But now it's not hot enough. Uh, you, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh, drama queen. All right, thank you. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate what you do. Yeah, you bet. And of all the choices, too, to eat oatmeal. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, it's better for the environment. <laughs> Somebody Google carbon footprint of oatmeal. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> see, see, I can What's I, that I, size the price of on it? See, I could never be in the position like Ryan, who's a professional, because I would have to say, now, what kind of carbon footprint's on an oatmeal? Oh, yeah, I mean, I'd have to yeah. do it. I wouldn't be able to keep myself from doing it. And that you doesn't, know, speak, I, that I doesn't think, speak good of me. See, I think this is a good idea. Why don't you let Ryan get the plane ready and Al Gore can get his own oatmeal? See, I think that's how it ought to work. Right. 
But now keep in mind, this is the party for the common man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the working class party. Yeah, I know. Remember yeah, that. Know. Getting their oatmeal. The, right, the so evil Republicans do not like blue collar people, only Democrats. All right. Uh, it says here um, carbon footprint of 240 grams of carbon dioxide per pound of food. Oats are a good deal for the planet as well because it doesn't weigh as much. So oatmeal is good <laughs> for the planet? Yeah. Because it doesn't yeah. weigh as much? Yeah. It just, that, that's. It's it's just that's that's the quickest Google I could find right. here. Give me some idea what biscuits and gravy do. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I bet that's well, a that's dandy. Be a oh tough. wow. I'm on <laughs> treehugger.com. That's oh, not good. Oh my gosh. Be careful on that one. <laughs> Don't go to related links. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, seven low cost, low emission foods. Would you rather be stuck on a plane with Al, with Al Gore? You don't, don't forget the thing against me about Al Gore. Not only is he kind of a little wacky in his belief system, he's boring. Yeah, you know, there's some people that have a wacky belief system, like Paul McCartney. But I'd have a blast with him probably. We'd probably have fun flying, talking about stuff, just as long as we didn't get into that. But, you know, there's some people that disagree. I think he'd be less fun than he used to be. Well, there's some people that disagree <laughs> with us, but at least you think you could right. spend a day with them have some fun. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But then there's people that disagree with you that you wouldn't want to be around if they agree with everything. Right. They just don't have a personality. Al Gore has a personality like a piece of wood. <laughs> Like the tree he's hugging. You know, it just. minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba show. Thanks for being with us today. So we'll get into some of these other stories today, and we'll get more of your phone calls. Alapuka, uh, did you pick your puppy out? Uh, it just all right. So uh, as uh, as we work our way back, um, Greg, people are waiting. Let us know when they're available, uh, and once yeah. Lisa picks out the one or two she wants, then let her let us know. I've had some people reach out, and I've got me a puppy file. <laughs> <I'm good>. Puppy <clears throat> file. Uh, so Bubba, I know that for some reason, almost like some of the things we talked about last hour. You continue to dabble with Skinwalker Ranch, uh, no matter what what happens. But mm-hmm. um, and and there is a clear obsession with Skinwalker Ranch that is gigantic. So History Channel has the new season going, and then you can go to some of the streaming services and watch the archives. I did some of that this last weekend. I'm not all the way caught up, but you got caught up last night with the new season. I did, and um, you know it's 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 very interesting. They're they're bringing in some new equipment and uh, mm-hmm. they actually got a uh, a clear radar picture of something hovering over the ranch about 300 foot high. Mm-hmm. And then last night they had put drones up mm-hmm. in this pattern and of course they they work perfectly everywhere else and there they have some of them going crazy mm-hmm. off the ranch so mm-hmm. to speak. But to even try to aggravate whatever's going on more, Travis is shooting rockets up into it. He, he like, is that that's almost like and, thumping them? Yeah, and he and one of them blew up pretty close to the ground. But they had some real high speed cameras, and you know the thing. A lot of times you just catch a, you know, a, a blip of something here and there. But if you have a high speed camera, mm-hmm. you can have thousands of frames mm-hmm. of it, and. So they had all kind of high speed cameras set up last night, and they actually saw what looked like a blob up above this rocket right before it took off, and right when it got to it, it blew up. Mm-hmm. So Travis is declaring they we have absolute evidence now of something here, and we just don't know what it is. Now the other way, they're also they brought in some really advanced. Um, radar for the ground and they they keep finding this metal dome or some something buried oh, yeah. on the mesa i know about the dome <laughs> and uh, they got a very clear echo last night that there was something up uh up under that this is the slow motion uh of the rocket blowing up running into the up. bottom of something it's yeah. invisible and Rick. you'll be <clears throat> able to see it when they pull back and show that there, there actually was like a, a blob up there that lit up right when they, they fired this rocket up. Yeah. You know? So it, it was pretty good stuff. They they I they're, they're progressing. They're I mean they're actually getting pictures now yeah. and they, they know something's in the ground, they know something's up above. Now they just gotta kinda you know, they're trying to document it, get pictures mm-hmm. of it. So the and there is the uh 
I don't know if you can see it on that screen as much as you can the other, but oh. you, you see this, mm. that light that came in right before mm. the rocket. I bet took Travis off. went nuts. Oh, yeah. That's what why do, they were jumping up and down when what they do you they think? had video of it. Now, why, uh, can see I right just, can I, look, look right there. That's the yeah. enhanced picture of it. Yeah. Something appeared before that rocket went up, and right as it went into it, it blew up. But can I just ask what I think is a pretty obvious question? I see a lot of high fiving, a lot of jumping up and down, but if I'm if I'm taking this down to its simplest form, are we <laughs> not ought to be running? <laughs> are we not annoying this thing by firing rockets at it and thumping it and like 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 the guy in the helicopter? Right. He seems a little apprehensive, but he still keeps flying. Right. And I saw the one episode where like he had all kinds of his, his, his navigation got off right. and he had the, mm-hmm. right. and all this. And this, it was like the wind was pushing them, but there were no there right. was no wind. But but I mean, if this thing is some kind of whatever, couldn't it just take the helicopter and just slam it into the ground? It possibly could. It has not been that violent yet. Yeah, so. but but are we just trying to make it violent by poking and poking, to, and poking and poking and poking to figure out? Now Travis said last night they they got a picture on with this high speed camera of one of the UAPs in there, UFO. I still like UFO. I do too. Do, mm-hmm. do you want us to? Are we all going to officially go to UHP? What is it? What is it? UAP, unidentified that aerial like a phenomenon, clinic, a clinic or something. Um, and and they got kind of a drawing of it, the way it, it looked, kind of like two two bolts put mm-hmm. together with mm-hmm. a nut in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, okay. and Travis said that also resembled a UFO sighting from a military pilot who actually took a picture of it with his camera, and they looked at both of those last mm-hmm. night. So, mm-hmm. um, they're like I say, they're, they're getting more physical evidence of something going on. So I, I feel like they're on the verge of a breakthrough. Or death. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or everybody's going to be wiped out. Because if I'm this thing, I'm going to say, I'll tell you what, you won't, you won't fire another rocket at me. Mm-hmm. And, well, and, they're, I, and, they're I'm, starting... and I'm, down, I'm down on the drones. I don't like his helicopter flying around. Right. And I don't like you high-fiving me. Uh, I don't... <laughs> they also had a helicopter buzzing them last night after this. I want to ask you about that. And it, it did not have a, uh, uh, what am I trying, a beacon going on it. Mm. So Travis got mad about it. Mm-hmm. That's, I was pr- kinda, that's probably the people from Nat Geo. Uh, I, I was kind of <laughs> laughing. Well, Hunter at home, I said, well, it's the government. all the rockets they've been shooting off and all the drones they've had in the sky, Anybody within a hundred miles went. Well, what is that? Let's ride over there and look Absolutely. at it. Absolutely. <laughs> mm. So I don't know. What are you thinking? I don't know what to do? What do you think, Professor? About what part? Yeah, just any of it. Uh, I'd like to give you. I, I, I think like there, this, here's what he, I want here's, from you. Here's the thing. I have watched Skinwalker Ranch up right. to this point, and these are my comments. <laughs> um, there, they appear to have more physical evidence than ever that something is going on there, something above the ground and something below the ground. Mm-hmm. They also have brought in cranes, and they're moving rocks, and they're about to start digging into the mesa where they 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 see this this anomaly underground. Mm-hmm. So, and in the previews, I saw Travis saying the spectrum analyzer is going wild when we move these rocks. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the, this theory that that there was a lost alien ship there that's been sending a mm-hmm. uh, uh, an emergency message has been put mm-hmm. out several mm-hmm. times. So. I see you, that one moving forward. But what do you about. think? We're asking you I your opinion. Know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just don't know. They they obviously are getting a lot of, you know, instrument readings, and they're seeing a lot of things. Uh, but what is it? And, and, Bubba? And they're closer than they've ever been, I think. Bubba? Bubba, <laughs> you are intelligent. <laughs> No By the way, there was there was promos last night for William Shatner sure on, on the series Unexplained. All right, by it's the, good. By had, the way. Hadn't watched it. Almost did. Hmm. Uh, gosh, what's the name of it? Has Ad, anybody else Adler, seen you it? Made, I want to know what everybody yeah, else. We'll, thinks we'll talk about. It when we come back, but I want to add another one to see if people have seen this too. There's a new documentary about this incredible. They say an alien, some kind of unexplained encounter with all these people in Brazil. I think. And they've just put out the documentary of this has been filed away or whatever. And they go back and they're interviewing all these people. This, it sounds very similar. Do you remember what Pilatus, is that say his name? David Pilatus. Yeah, Pilatus. You remember he told us about when they interviewed all those workers? Right. It was just like that. They're like, the ship landed. We we interacted. This happened. This guy was done. And it, and it's a new documentary. Hmm. that They go into this place, and it was in Brazil, I think. And they're interviewing everybody who says, look, we we had one land. I mean, straight up, and they're pointing over there. It was right over there, and um, we're gonna try to get the doctor that, that, called? that Tucker Carlson was talking about. What's right. it called? It's called Moment of Contact. That's it. 
Moment of Contact. It's hmm. a new documentary. And I think it's a, an encounter in Brazil. I think. Uh, but well, anyway. if they're watching us, they must think that we have lost our mind because I think we've lost our mind here with everything going on. I'll move on to another planet. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Have you ever been around him and seen him talk? I have never been around him personally, Rick. I just count that as one of the many blessings I've received. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to know the carbon footprint, footprint of a burger. Good night. Well, you got cows farting. You got all, uh, <laughs> hey, Greg, Greg, how about this? No matter what you tell me, I bet I can get to sleep tonight. Oh, yeah, I'm good with <laughs> it. Um, okay, so as we come back, Bubba, you know, I've, I've had, you know, the, you and I have, have struggled a little bit. You know, we're not the snappiest of dressers and, and when we dress. And, what are you talking you know, about? We're not exactly, you know, fashion forward. And, you know, our wives, you know, are beautiful ladies. And, you know, they're, they're, only women can get away with this statement. I'm just sick. We're going to do this and do this. And I got this. And I got I, 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 I want to be cute. Only a woman can declare, I'm about to go in here and I want to, I want to be cute. I, that dress is cute, and I like that because it's cute. Have you seen my cute shoes? And, and you know, this is so cute. And isn't that cute? I'm I've be, heard Bubba say that. Yeah, I'm going to be cute. Uh-huh. Never have you heard me say to Bubba, hey, I'll tell you what I want. What are you wearing tonight? I'm going to try to be cute. <laughs> but anyway, so so anyway, I'm, I realize, and there's certain things that I don't do. I understand that fashion-wise it's the right thing to do, but comfort-wise it's just not. And one of the things is I hate to wear a T-shirt. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, especially living in the humid, hotter than nine uh, place Alabama, muggy hot, <laughs> it, and I just hate it. And when I get hot and I can't get cool, I get ill, as a lot of people do. You know, murder rate goes up during the hottest parts of the summer. <laughs> oh, yeah. And yeah. there's a reason Crime why. in general. Because I, I walk around ready to kill somebody at any moment with my mm-hmm. bare hands if I could. <laughs> And you just have a, such disdain for people when you're hot and miserable. You won't wear one even to be cute? Well, <laughs> now now we get to Friday. <laughs> oh, boy. So Friday, it's hotter. It is so hot. And, oh, yeah, and, hot. And, and Bubba and I have talked about this. There are times that my wife really with no effort at all, you know, with her reading glasses on, reading something, and I'll walk in, we're going somewhere, and she'll just simply look up over her glasses and go, no, no. Oh, yeah. Absolutely mm-hmm. no. That's a no. Hmm. And it happened to me. I'll walk out. You know, I think one of the greatest inventions that has ever happened is is untuck it. Untuck it was oh, made. Oh, that's a good chair. Oh, yeah. Now I struggle a little bit with untuck it because I'm a large torso person. I got a lot of torso, and so untuck it doesn't really <laughs> land on me where it should land because I got a lot of torso. You know what I mean? I got I got a lot of torso, and so you got a lot. So everything doesn't hang on me the way it should. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Especially untucked shirts. Really, what I do is because I got so much torso, is I wear just a regular shirt. This button down, and everybody thinks it's an untuck it because right. it lands where an untuck it should, just a normal shirt on me of normal length. Mm-hmm. So I've got on a pair of jeans, okay? I'm not in shorts, and I've put on an untuck it, and I think I look great. An untuck and, and, <laughs> and, and, and I get shot down. No, no. Mm-mm. I've got the, I'm, I, the dress I'm wearing tonight is cute, and that is not going to go with it. And you're, <laughs> you're, you're not you're, cute. You're not cute. You're too underdressed for where we're going. Mm. <laughs> untuck it. And so I said, so untug it's out, uh, untug it's out. Go in there and put on those pants and put on that button down, and it's white, so wear an undershirt. Oh. And I said, I, I'm not wearing an undershirt. She goes, you cannot wear that shirt. One of the things, Rick, you do, I see you a lot of times out wearing shirts. You're supposed to have an undershirt on. Nobody wants to see that. Mm-hmm. You need you need to wear an undershirt. I said, I'm not wearing an undershirt in the <laughs> deepest of summer, and Alabama not going to do it. That's out. <laughs> so when I was putting my undershirt on, so <laughs> – so, so uh, there was a disturbance at a uh, a circus this weekend uh, in Pittsburgh where two children and an adult were riding a camel. Uh oh! When the camel went nuts. Oh man! Let, let me tell you something. Um, camels. I'm with you, Bubba. I, I, they they worry me a little bit. It, it's kind of one of those animals that seem trustworthy, but then they're yeah, not. I've seen at the circus. Right. Oh, hey now, baby. Wild. Throws kids off its back. Well, that lady's Six hanging on. Look at her. Six kids and one adult taken to the hospital after this mishap. Hey, how many Pittsburgh. kids wrong? Unclear there? what spooked oh, the animals. Oh, 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 oh boy! Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. You don't oh, see them get to oh, kicking oh, like that oh, much, do you? No. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a circus handler. I got to do something. She was like, I see yes. the motorcycle crews found a new gig. I see their big thing. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're back. Greg, Greg. Greg. do you think? Do you think? <laughs> So, yeah. According to the story in the Pittsburgh paper, they said that another kid threw a shovel at the camel's feet. 
that that's what, what started? startled him, and he took off running. Oh, you little, oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> you little brat with the shovel. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like he Y'all. slipped there on the pavement a little bit, too. All right, it? let me ask you this. If you're the kid that threw the shovel, did you clear the area? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you oh, of course you did. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, what, what is a shovel doing there you can get your hands on to throw? Well, they're having a scoop. Scoop. Pooper the scoop. Pooper. Oh, pooper scoop. Oh, is that for the cow? Oh, sure. Yeah. No, cows will drop a big pile. No, but there's not a toilet train animal in that, sir. Phone calls coming in, 866-WE-BE-BIG on what we just discussed. Uh, but you also can discuss whatever you want to. But we are asking about, uh, we've talked a little Skinwalker, uh, updated on that. We also have talked about this new documentary. Was it Moment of Contact? Was that the name of it? Uh, anyway, which I, I looked at the preview. I watched the trailer, and I was going to jump in, and I didn't have time. But simply say Bubba.com, uh, Fast Protect Technology. Uh, it is an industri- industry exclusive that Simply Safe Bubba.com developed. Rick, what is that? Well, it, it, it enables those agents that are monitoring the property to visually verify that there is a threat, uh, that it's real, it's not a false alarm, and therefore, when they uh, when they call nine one one, they go, "I'm an eyewitness. I can see what's happening." Uh, and you get faster police or fire response. So if, if you would like to have the modern-day technology working for you, keeping your property and your family safe, then you need to be with SimplySafeBubba.com. Uh, it, it's a lot less uh, of an investment, meaning you can install it yourself. Uh, you get to do it on your own time. You get to customize it to your property. And then I just told you about the how they monitor the property, uh, all the good things that go with that. And you can also do a, a pay over time in installments if that fits your budget better. We, we're starting to look at these kind of things because, let's face it, the economy not very strong right now. So simply say Bubba.com. Go there today. Uh, claim a free indoor security camera. We'll throw one in. Uh, because you used our URL, and then we'll get you 20% off the order. So make the move now. Get your property protected with simplysafebubba.com. There is no safe like simplysafebubba.com. Also find them at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. All right, to the phones we go. We'll start with um, uh, we'll start with Kyle. Kyle, welcome to the Rick and Bubba Show. How you doing, buddy? Go ahead. Yeah, how are y'all? We're, We're good. good. Go, Kyle. Yeah, uh, I was listening to that uh, podcast Joe Rogan had. He had that guy that did the uh, uh, point of contact, and it's not a week or two ago, but I was going to let you all know about it. It's a, you know, Joe Rogan, you kind of got to pick to the weeds a little bit, but it's pretty good listen. Okay, so I, I, now, have you seen they, the documentary yet? When they landed in Brazil, Rick, it wasn't during one of them parties they have, them parades, was it? No, they, they said that actually the, that the aliens stepped out and were offended by how they were dressed, got back in and left. Uh, <laughs> they said, we're not going to watch this. Uh, no, I haven't heard Rogan talking about it, but, I mean, I've seen this documentaries out there. I'm a little shocked that I'm going to have to be the one to watch it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but I, 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 I watched the trailer. It intrigued me. Greg's not going to watch it. Okay. Too many subtitles. I ain't doing it. Yeah, so I know you're out. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Greg uh, out of the free state of Florida. Greg, go ahead. Hey, guys. This is uh, coming. I have a drive coming from Chipley to Panama City Beach every day. And sure. I just want to tell you, y'all, y'all got to be careful talking about this stuff. About the time you brought up the uh, Bolivian visitors, I lost the signal right there at Ebro. It's about halfway, so I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think there's some correlation there, guys. I know. Oh, I know. That, there's I, there's yeah. a few UFO hotspots down there in Florida, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Well, Live you, Oak down in that area. Wouldn't you go there? What? It is it, in the, Isn't there some kind of another competing series on one of the other channels, something about the some island, Oak Island? Oak Island, I think yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not following it. But it's probably I, where that helicopter came from. <laughs> <laughs> Phone calls uh, at 866-WE-BE-BIG. Alapuka's got it handled. Let's go to Dustin. Dustin, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead. Good morning, guys. How are you? We're, We're good. great. We're good. Good. Uh, I was wondering if you guys, any of y'all had listened to the Stephen A. Smith and Clay Travis interview. I thought it was kind of interesting. I didn't know what y'all's thoughts were on it. 
What was it no. about? Uh, any of the guys? Any of y'all watch? I, I, I haven't seen it. What, what is? What's the topic? Uh, it, well, Stephen A. Smith has his own podcast, and he invited Clay Travis on. And obviously, you know, the, the two of them are have very different views on political uh, issues. And it was just interesting to listen to Stephen A. Smith actually show interest in letting someone with different views come on a show and uh, just do their. They, they talked a range of things from sports all the way about the Donald Trump and what Joe Biden's doing. And I, I just thought it was a, it was a good it was a good listen. Well, and I think we need more of that. You know, Bubba mentioned this, and he's right. You know, there was a time, there actually was a show that existed called Hannity and Combs, mm-hmm. uh, and they would sit on uh, on uh, you know, on the same news channel, and they would debate issues from the two political viewpoints and different worldviews, and I think that was— We were on their show a couple we times. We were on their yeah. show a couple times, and it was very, very healthy. And I'm seeing Bill Maher, and now it sounds like maybe <clears throat> Stephen A. Smith— some of the leftists of all people, uh, because I guess the, the, the conservative shows can't get leftists to come on their shows, or I'm, I'm just going to assume that. I assume they try. But uh, it seems like that conservatives are more likely to go on to a leftist show and say, I'll, I'll tell you our point of view. But when they're doing that, I think it's healthy. I, I, I watched something, I don't know how old it was, but somebody sent me a Bill Maher thing where he was taking on Meathead, you know, who's a raging <laughs> yeah, liberal. Oh, yeah. and, and, he was, <laughs> and he was trying to tell, what's the actor's name that played Meathead? Uh, Rob Reiner. Rob, Rob Reiner, Reiner. And who, who I respect his talent. He's done some incredible movies and, and all that. But politically, I, I totally disagree with him. And, and he, he was, was trying to, as Meathead. And, and it was almost like Bill Maher was like, look, Meathead, you and I agree on most everything, but I'm not going to sit here. We, we have to sit here and say the media has withheld the Hunter Biden information, and they withheld it to try to help Biden win the election. And I'm sorry, we have no credibility if we won't just admit that. And, I mean, and Rick, he, not only that, you know, he goes, that, put, that actually happened. They, <laughs> they put a letter together, right. a former intelligence officer saying it was a Russian hoax, knowing good and well it wasn't, right. just trying to cover the tracks right. for Hunter until mm-hmm. you could get past the election. Yeah, and, and Bill Maher's point was... I I didn't want Donald Trump to win, but I'm not going to act like that didn't happen. Right. You know, it's like just because we wanted him to win doesn't mean we have to pretend that things didn't happen that happened. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so I think if we can have more of this critical thinking, I, I was talking to uh, uh, my son and his fiance about this, Sherry and I and their parents, we were all talking about it. I was like, will y'all please bring back critical thinking? Don't lose the ability to critical think, right. please. Yeah. Uh, let's go to uh, B. Uh, B, welcome to the show from South Alabama. Go ahead. Yes, sir. I uh, didn't expect that. Didn't know if y'all had mentioned the Kentucky Derby since Saturday, uh, but I know last week y'all were trying to come up with names. Uh, I got one for y'all. Standing by, B. Uh, Speedy Teeth. Speedy T. Speedy T. That's the name of a horse? Yeah. No, that's a, see what you've done? That's or it should be. Was he saying that it should be a name of a horse? He said that'd be a good one. That'd yeah. be a good one. Mm-hmm. That'd be a good one. They thought it was a good one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. He kind of moved along at Pleasant Valley pace, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He was huh? in no hurry. Is that, is, 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 <laughs> is that granny gear? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Time's it, going it, backwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going backwards. Mm. So you didn't even try it to see if they take to it because you need try to, it today. You, you, <laughs> I've got a report. I might hey, try. I'm going to give, give you a tip. The top. This is when I was dealing with Speedy, the this, Speedy teat. Yeah, the way you the got top, Speedy to take it. Once you get the milk in there, or the yeah. formula in there, mm-hmm. it's going to be tough to get the top on without yeah. spilling it. Uh, so you may want to take like a piece of duct tape or something and put over oh, it. Great. Yeah, and it's got some su- it's got some suction on the base of it yeah, to where you can that. put something down and it won't move. Mm-hmm. Or what I suggest is you hold a puppy, it. you hold a puppy and present it to him. Yeah, it's going to see if it'll latch they're, on. They're not mm-hmm. going. They're not going to care anything mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but so I, are you I getting a report that she's fading again? Yeah. Oh yeah. Greg, I, I, I hate to be this person because, you know, I am the animal expert of our group. i got two weeks. Out. We all have our whatever. I, I don't I, – I think you're going to end up with them. But, I mean, they're going to – she's going to fade on you. Oh, yeah, that's obvious. I know. You better get that. Uh, get you a good cage. She won't fade on you. Speedy, can you go home? <laughs> yeah, well, look, I'm going to tell you right now, and I told Greg this, I think I think he is I, – I, you, you sound like you're all about it, but our last Buffalo Wild Wings charity – two by two had reached out and said, we can come along and help. 
Well, they said we can her, uh, feed them. I don't think they, they, they said we, we can monitor the again. They'll take care of. They said we can monitor the adoption process and do screening and okay. help with the cage. Greg, just have them come get it. I need the cage. Greg, why don't you talk to them? Yeah. They said they'll I, help I, you. I, why don't you go get help? Speed don't be that guy me. that won't get help. He ignored me yesterday. I tried I to get him not. I did not. I Take care of him today. Will you be sure? And I want you to overwhelm him with information. Oh, I am. I'm oh, going to hit him so hard. You don't know what to do. I'm probably going to let Lisa in on that conversation. So something yeah. happens. Sometimes you have to bypass yeah. Greg and go yeah. to Lisa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Melissa, go ahead. Look at that. You just, hey, you guys. I just oh, wanted to uh, oh. talk about Bill Maher for a second. He had a great mm-hmm. episode last Friday night with Elon Musk. Yeah. Have you guys watched? I have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw some of that. I actually saw that that, it, that interview. We actually played some of the clips from that. Oh, cool. I missed it. I know. It's okay. Y'all have a great day. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah. Well, and he and Dr. Phil got into it. Yeah, yeah what is this not. Dr. Phil and, and They were Bill sitting Martin. down. I've never seen this setting. It wasn't on his main show. I mean, he was sitting there smoking a cigar, Ma- Bill Maher was, and they were just talking, and he could not get past Dr. Phil wouldn't admit that Trump is scarier and worse than Biden is now. He just couldn't. He's like, well, Dr. Phil, I got to tell you, until you do this, we can't go any further. You know, and Dr. Phil was trying to explain it. but Yeah, I find Bill Maher's view on that to be the most absurd. Yeah. yeah. Anything, I mean, does he not see the state of our yeah. country right now? We'll yeah. be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. One. <laughs> not one will go on a pad. In my mind, I got you the know, big old flat ones, the real big oh, flat ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got a scoop. Snow. Well, see, I guess it's in my mind, shovel. I thought camels can go a long time without drinking, so maybe they go a yeah, long time well, without, you know, true. the other coming point, out. Yeah. Too, yeah, but everybody keeps feeding them. But that, that doesn't necessarily mean it's right. No, I'll clean it up for after some humans on that ride. <laughs> and it was done. Yeah. We're going to need just a camel. Bring me a smaller shovel. <laughs> yeah, we got some <laughs> clean up to do. We got some more over here. And a hose. Can't believe y'all won't ride a giraffe. Can't believe it. Well, I sweetie, don't think giraffes are to be ridden. Yeah. Well, but I'm thinking. I but said let's, if let's you could about, ride either one, which means the giraffe. Ridden. But the giraffe's letting you ride it. Nah, it's next no. to you. No, oh, you can hold that neck. No, no, no. Oh, come on, Speedy. No. You know my rule. I, I don't get on a giraffe. I don't How ride any. Look? I don't ride anything without a clutch. How would it look? <laughs> you can't see where you're going. <laughs> no. uh-huh. Can't see where you're At going. Least, and then when it gets to really going. At least, at least the camels kind of got a built-in seat, right? Yeah. Get in between the humps. Rick. Yeah, the giraffe will sling his head at you. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's almost like God said, here's some animals you can ride, and he didn't put, he put giraffe in that You category. know how the back slanted? You can't even stay on it. Oh, yeah. no, we got we to saddle for that. No, the, the giraffe's not set up to ride. Hey. What in the world <laughs> is that? I tell you what, I wouldn't mind riding, though. I mean, if you, if you could find a way to dial in, I'd like to ride a zebra. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's just a horse with this painted, yeah. but not many people ride them. I know you'll see a lot of people yeah, ride. I know we had a movie awesome. where they painted a horse one time, and somebody right. out they were riding. It. Wasn't that <laughs> Sheena? Yeah, I think so. Sheena, Guys, we had one right outside. It was a female this Tarzan. We did. Do what? We had Speaking one of right shovels. outside this window. Yeah. We did. You know, what? Speaking like of shovels, we I'd like did. to see zebras race. I think that would be fun. I'd oh, like yeah. to see that too. Yeah. yeah. One of the jockeys, jockeys or no jockeys? Uh, oh, look. See, but see, that's there. It is. That's not set up. Well, yeah, but if he moves. Oh man, I'd be the me monster. Oh, oh, no. Let's see what happens. See? That's a long see what fall. Long fall. That's long fall That's a, by the way, who let somebody get on a drown?
That's what we said. Profits. Uh, we're back. Nine minutes to the top of the hour. Vote for Fix Mama's Mouth. The three finalists, those ladies are there at the contest button. Go vote for the mama that you want to get the $17,000 dental makeover from Dr. Dudney. That'll be announced one week from today. So check that. Uh, tech update. Yes, I love technology. Yes. Sing it, boys. And robot me. AI. You know, everybody's all uh, worried AI. about AI. AI. You know, we, we've heard a lot of this lately. Elon, other people. Right. Uh, you know, uh, Wozniak, the co-founder of, of Apple, have been Wozniak. hollering, we got to regulate this. Wozniak. Steve Jobs, uh, not Steve Jobs, but Bill Gates. Let me tell you, actually, Steve Jobs has... If, 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 we're he does, to, if he does an interview, let, we got a story. If it's a on recent it. interview... They find him at Skinwalker. <laughs> right, it's <Yeah>. good. <laughs> Bill Gates did an interview on ABC last night that I thought made some pretty good points. And, you know, I don't pass out no, compliments you don't. to Bill Gates No, easily. you don't. Um, but I, I thought he made some, some pretty good points last night. Let's, let's listen to this right, right quick. Okay. An exclusive interview with ABC News about mm. that other game-changing technology in so much focus today, artificial intelligence. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman told me he's a little bit scared about this technology. Are you scared? We're all scared that a bad guy could grab it. The White House, the administration, regulators here in the US, do you think they're up to speed? Uh, not yet. They're not ready? Not yet. I mean, Why are they not ready? You're never going to have every politician understanding it, but how do you build up a capacity to, for health applications, for education, to review things. The government has a role to play here. You know, they won't be the experts, but they have to be part of that discussion. And so the White House starting those conversations, that's all good. And he, he went on to point out, Rick, that if, if we regulate and stop AI development by the good guys, the bad guys will just keep moving forward, and then the good guys will be behind. Now, does he say he's a good guy? I guess he's saying that's what I said. We wow. are the good guys. I, I'd like to see the I'd like to see the teams. A good guy and who's like calling me. herself good guy and who's calling herself bad guy. Well he's he's Why, talking Rick? about terrorists. He's talking about bad actors, you know, right. people that would use it in a in a bad way. Hmm. But but he made a good point. And really it's it's the same argument many of us have said about uh, gun control issues. If you if you hamstring the law abiding citizens, the bad guys are still gonna have guns because oh, they're not gonna follow the law. We, Baba, so, you are intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> is this your? Are you? Is Man of a Thousand Voices trying to Bill Gates? Yes. Are you Bill yeah. Gates or Will uh, Bill Shatner? What are you doing? What are you? Huh? Yeah, are you? Are you a little bit of uh, Jimmy Stewart? What, what are you doing over there? <laughs> I did have a little <laughs> Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> yeah. it's <a> wonderful life. <laughs> That's right. Are you going to uh, uh, lasso uh, uh, the moon and pull it down for Bubba? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, uh, <laughs> That's not going, right? <laughs> That's you. you now, now it's almost a little bit of goofy from Disney. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what all you got going over there. I got him. I got well, him. I understand what he's saying. It's just oh. I, the problem is trying to figure out who a good guy is. Yeah. Did you Did you know too? He's oh, uh, speedy. Especially somebody that thinks the world's <laughs> overpopulated. I'm a little concerned about yeah. him. Right. He him. is uh, working on a new type of nuclear power. He's building a power plant out in. Oh. I think it's Wyoming oh. somewhere. Why well, I was wearing my hard hat. I thought he was worried. I thought he was worried about toilets around the world or something. Wasn't that his deal? <coughs> worried about what, what, about what now? Yeah. Toilets. Is he the son of a gun that gave us these low folk toilets? Who who gave us I those? Think he did. Who guys? I, I had to get the plunger out on one of those just the other day. Yeah. <laughs> B -b piece of garbage. You talking about one that's got the number one button, and the number two button? <laughs> what I've seen now. Garbage. <laughs> Yeah, I like. I, we got some new ones. That, the the ones that they'll flush a bucket of golf balls. That's Absolutely. the one I need. Absolutely, you just can't stop it. Up. No, uh -uh. that's it. So uh, good technology there. So I, I yeah, I don't know where mm -hmm. where where, where yeah, the the AI and who gets control of it is. I, I don't know where that's headed. But there's so many good uses for it too. You know, like he said, medicine and and so many other things. You know, cheating on your college papers. You know that right. kind of stuff yeah, that yeah, needs to be stuff. done. You know what? If you think about it, I know he's not cognitive uh, enough to understand it now. But boy, don't you know that Joe Biden wishes had been around when he was plagiarizing? Everybody. Oh, I know. Huh? Well, that would have saved him a lot. It would have saved him a lot of trouble. Yep. You know, it? but so, so so he's going to miss it. Bubba, the world we live in continues to to be wacky. Um, so um, 
So this is 4A. Uh, you know, this is this the, the shooter at the Allen Outlet Mall. Uh, f- by all accounts, the person is Hispanic, and 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 what I would now be the the and the, and the and the woke came up with this term, people of color. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm, yeah. Which that really means they're not whitey. Yeah. yeah. Right. And uh, so there's all this talk about the shooter being a white supremacist, uh, but they're Hispanic. And of all, you know, Bob, any time that you're not sure about something, I always like to let the ladies on the view clear yeah, it up. Yeah, they can clear it up. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Right. like nobody else. So, here, 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 just listen to this statement. Here we go. So, we all have to remember that the head of the Proud Boys, his name is Enrique Tarrio. The Proud Boys is a white nationalist group. Look, being Hispanic or being black does not, or being anything, does not make you immune from being racist, from being radicalized, from being a white supremacist, from being evil, from being homicidal. And we are seeing it over and over again. There are people, you know, they they don't see themselves as what they are. Yeah. Um, I could agree with all of that, except when she said white supremacist, because that means you're you're white and you think that you're better than everybody else because you're white. But if you're yeah. not white, yeah. how can you think that? Her list was fine. Her <laughs> list was the Proud Boys just, consider just, herself white nationalists. I don't. I don't know enough about the Proud Boys. Just, just, just from a pure because I know liberals love words. Just from a pure definition mm-hmm. standpoint, I don't think you can mix those two. And I think she caught herself when she said you can also be black or Hispanic and still be a white supremacist. It's like she caught herself and then she said because they don't really know who they are. She's saying they think they're white. Nah. Well, you know, we are, can, are, they're no, identifying Rick, you're Rick. You can't do that, Rick. No, Rick. You I, can identify as anything but you except can't another race. You can't a white person, can't though. Do can't do that, can you? You, Rick, do, you I, can do anything to white people you want That's to. a good point. Rick, this is the thing. They wanted to throw it all back to white supremacy. Right, right. But they couldn't do it. Right. Because the people that were doing this were not, quote, white by today's standards, okay? Right. So, but she just threw them in there anyway. Right. You, it's, you it's, can even be a white supremacist see, if you're black or Latino. See, mm-hmm. I don't think what, so. What we have here is evil, mm-hmm. and yeah. evil doesn't white people, Latino, black. Nobody has the corner market on being evil. Okay, no. this no. is just evil. No. The man pulled up, got out of his car, and just started shooting in the parking and, lot. And yeah. one of one of a, a few of those that were that were murdered or killed were uh, was a family, and the only survivor I think was the the little boy, and the family was going to return a present or a gift that he had had, uh, and everyone, mom, dad, uh, other siblings were all killed except for By, him. And he had studied the the traffic patterns. Yeah, there. yeah. He, he had been and, and he knew he knew the peak time, and yep. that's when he went. I yep. mean, he had a plan to kill people. Yep. By definition, white supremacist is a person who believes that the white race is inherently superior to other races, and that white people should have control over people and other races. So, to her point, based off the definition. I guess if you're a Latino and you believe that you believe this, then I guess you could be. But they're not, not going to accept you in their group. But you, they're they're not. <laughs> yeah, you just you just doomed yourself. I, I agree, Rick. I'm just reading the definition. <laughs> right. That's that's what she, her argument's going to be. Right. Rick and Bubba. Guys, yeah, you. well, uh, and I don't know who's busy, what you have going today, or if you have time. Uh, I'm calling uh, t- uh, sometime around 2 p.m. local time. Let's gather together for what we're calling a yearbook burning. Yeah. Uh, we're we're going to burn our yearbooks and any commentary that's inside there. Yes, we, sir. we don't want at some yeah. point in, in, in our current day to somebody grab our yearbook and then draw lines that somehow we're a predator and all women should fear us. Uh, y'all, this, Rick, this thing with Kavanaugh is getting. Uh, it, it, I mean, it is. Look, hey, I want to underline again uh, that kind of behavior from anybody, anytime, anywhere is not acceptable. But the level at which we're wow. persecuting wow. the nominee now is ridiculous. And wow. now we've had this lady come forward, she's made these accusations. I will give it to this. There are some people on the committee who said, well, let's hear her voice. Sure. Well, nothing wrong with that. And um, of course, now, now, now she doesn't want to testify until there's a full FBI investigation, which oh, no I way that's going to get done. And I, I, I'm shocked that Grassley put the vote back a few days as it was. Ch- uh, Chuck Grassley, the senator in charge of that committee. But I, I'm 
I don't think they're going to push it back any further. No, he said he's called now, next Wednesday. He said this, next Wednesday yeah, should vote. At, at this point, it, it's not we need to hear your allegations. Now it looks like it's just a delaying and a political thing. Not that it hadn't already looked like that. Guys, we the can't. The way that we it was cannot, brought up, yeah. brought in. But, Rick, the, as you we were mentioning, it, they're going back to – Kavanaugh's yearbook now? High school yearbook from a and prep school. Hey, you know what we discovered mm-hmm. in the yearbook? That prep school students sometimes uh, get drunk and raise cane. Really? Man, I, I had no idea that that, uh, that prep school kids might get involved. What? Par- uh, what, now, what? Now, Rick, they're, they, they were even going through. The next thing y'all going to tell me is they, they, uh, they get, sometimes they get tests from teachers and uh, and then come in there and cheat on tests sometimes. Mm. No. And, and you know how people make funny pictures and put in the yearbook and have little cute sayings. They're going through those now, yeah. looking at those. Not something he wrote. No. Not something somebody wrote in a yearbook about him, but this is printed on a page. Like, yeah. do Which these people any, do this or do these people? And <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> something else. Yeah. And, and they're taking, and you ought to hear, especially on CNN, they talk about like this is, oh, this is yeah. court evidence mm-hmm. of something. And anonymous, I'm like, guys, an anonymous person. Oh, send it there's in, so many anonymouses in this. It's ridiculous. But By the way, anonymous is the new word for coward. 1983 yeah. yearbook mm-hmm. is supposed right. to somehow be evidence. Rather, uh, this guy in the year 2018 is worthy of sitting on the Supreme Court after he's been in the public you know, domain for 30-plus years. I just left Bubba's office where he was watching a report that he just said. I mean, this just happened. And this is the kind of stuff that, that's happening now, and we can't allow this to happen. We, someone has sent in a yearbook from a Georgetown prep school, which Kavanaugh attended, and some things in here are very troubling. It's obviously showing us there was a party atmosphere at the prep school at Georgetown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I bet there was. Now, we don't see anything that Kavanaugh himself wrote in here, but here's some people he went to school with, some things they wrote. <laughs> yeah. And so since they wrote it. And that he was we, at that school. And he was at that school. We now, we, now, we now take that, and we're not just drawing a line that everybody partied at Georgetown and, and they, had, they had get-togethers. <laughs> we not only are drawing the conclusion that means that Brett Kavanaugh also partied, but he likely also partied and also likely sexually assaulted a woman. Now, that we, can't, we cannot have – these kind of lines being drawn in mm-hmm. people's lives 36 years ago and our evidence that he did something that would be criminal, not something that would be yeah. not yeah. Be poor behavior of young people, but something that would be criminal. And we're going to draw these kinds of lines to a criminal act that he went to a prep school that looks like it had a party atmosphere. Uh, and again, now, does not- anybody want to be accused of being a sexual predator because you might've attended a school that had a party atmosphere when, when, when 36 years ago, didn't the victim attend the same school? Yeah. Well, I mean. Right, but you can't draw that line. No, I know, but but if we're going to draw it. But you can't. I know. Uh, She's fine and upstanding left-wing protest. You cannot draw that line, Greg Burgess. I got you. Don't you step off into that. Uh, We're going to look back in people's lives, but we're going to be selective about who we draw, who who we look back on, and we're going to be also very selective about how we draw lines. And, of course, she's gone into hiding now because she's getting death threats. Well, Well, so she claims. That's standard. That's standard. Everybody gets death threats. Read my email. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really. I think we have a group another that just day gives at the death office. threats yeah. to any calls. Guys, yeah. any, yeah. of us, any of us who decide yeah. to do anything public, you're going to get a death threat. Yeah. Okay? Sure. I mean, just. Yeah, yeah. all professional athletes, they <laughs> have them. Yeah. You know. it's just standard. You're going to have stalkers. You're going to have death threats. You're going to have people that want you removed from various things. You're going to have mentally unstable people. Um, but anyway, it's just, guys, we got high school yearbooks out during during a confirmation You hearing. know, I, I need to go back and look at mine today. There might be something in there damaging. I'm sure there, I'm sure there's things that might, you know what you might find in my yearbook? That I might have went to a high school that had a party after. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
Everybody, let's go. Somebody say it. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, intern Alapuka, all here for a brand new hour. Thank you for being here. Uh, welcome back, Bill Bubba Bussy. Well, glad to be here, Rick, and thank all of you for being part of the Rick and Bubba family. Uh, Bubba, a little bit of a dilemma here. Everybody. The attempt for Governor Newsom in California to pay reparations, rocking a hard place. They're having a hard time getting this done. Now, the obvious problem from the very, very beginning is when you come up with a game plan that you're asking people who never owned slaves to give money to people who never were slaves. Now, there's a problem. Now, even a bigger problem, California never had slavery. Uh, so that that you know that's an inconvenient truth as well. Uh, that that never happened uh, in California, uh, but the governor uh, is uh, he's he's found himself now, Bubba, and you hate this for politicians who have their hair perfect. Uh, a political no win situation. Uh, it looks like the proposal by his own uh, task force on reparations to pay up to one point two million in taxpayer money to every qualifying black resident. Uh, residents as a means to atone for slavery and discrimination. Now, I've given you some reasons why that's a problem since um, it never happened in California. But, but I mean, and, and well, then, the then, the initial the initial findings, Rick. I don't mm-hmm. know if you saw this. The committee that he put together, he ran on this. This yeah. was one of the issues right, he ran yeah. on. Right. Um, had come up with a. They said a, a down payment. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Said there was going to be more that was going to be added to mm-hmm. it later, just because of the expanse of it. But mm-hmm. uh, they were they were saying a good down payment to get the ball rolling would be eight hundred billion. Now that oh, is boy. that mm-hmm. is twice mm-hmm. what California's annual budget is for everything they do. Yeah. <laughs> so he's backed himself in a corner, and uh, and and one of the Republican the Republican leader there in California says, if this goes. It will completely bankrupt the state of California. I mean, it'll just be a a, a tax disaster. So he's promised it, but yet if he does it, it'll drive the state into bankruptcy, which he'll then be held accountable for. Uh, There's all kinds of, this is what happens. This is why feel-goodism is a problem. First of all, whenever you're dealing with giving things to people who you're having a hard, they, they really have not done anything to work for it. Uh, and they just happen to be the color of their skin, so they can ask for money from people who, again, never had slaves, and they themselves never have been slaves, and the state wasn't even part of slavery. Mm-hmm. So when you say we're going to give you, and I'm, but I know, they're 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 going to throw in discrimination since then. Right, and that's right, how they're right. going. But here's the problem: they're never going to say that sounds good. Yeah. What do we keep hearing every time that they propose this? That's not enough. It's going to be just You're a right. start. Just more, a more, more. And California is already losing people because of the rise in crime, the rise in prices on everything. And, of course, the Republicans in California are saying, he's in a bind now. If we pass this, th- this state is bankrupt. I mean, yeah. they're, they're, we, He's trying to give people money that, A, they don't deserve, and, B, the state doesn't have. Did they not understand the world of uh, I want I want two hundred dollars and and I look over in the count and there's forty dollars in it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, they're already in debt. Right. So that's he, the other problem. But this is one of those things I love when politicians step into it. He's like, you know, I'm, I promised something and I've got everybody kind of fired up. But I've looked at it. If we do this, then I'm gonna be in trouble for what I did ruining the state. So he's uh, okay. So just for next year, without this. Mm-hmm. California is going to have a budget deficit of twenty two point five billion, as predicted by the governor's office. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, California's legislative analyst office, a government agency that analyzes the budget for state legislatures, mm-hmm. estimated that Newsom's forecast undershot that mark by seven billion. <laughs> so they're saying it's going to be more like twenty nine to thirty billion sure. that they're not going to have. Sure. Now, somewhere in all of that, Newsom has got to come up with eight hundred billion. He's promised, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. But eight hundred billion, yeah, and they're already in debt. Most people yeah. say, but more like thirty billion. Yes, right. Yeah, and um, and and so 
he needs eight hundred billion, and they're in debt thirty billion. That's what they yeah, say. Yeah. Does anybody know? I know some of y'all out there, y'all y'all don't live in the real world, but that that means you can't you can't really do that. Uh, it, it'll be a financial Probably disaster. Not, uh, yeah. Now it sounds good, and it's a great little Trump speech. I mean, t- stump speech. But, uh, but the it, critics have yeah. said that Newsom simply used the lofty proposal to score political of points he did. Because, he did. because he viewed it as a non-starter in the state legislature. He didn't think it had a chance. He, in he, other he, words, he, he knows they're not going to do this. And what he's going to do is blame But he the, can always say, I tried. Oh, he's going he's gonna, he's gonna to look at all the black yeah. people of California and say, look what Whitey did to you again. And, of course, I hope they think, aren't you white? <laughs> uh, but, uh, yes, but I'm not mean like the Republican white people. <laughs> Uh, who who didn't want you to have the money? Well, we heard it was eight hundred billion dollars, and we're in debt thirty billion. Now nah, that's just what evil white people tell you. I tried to get it for you, and I would have done it no matter what. I didn't have to. I do just it. don't know how you. Yeah, I didn't have to do it, which is terribly convenient. Uh, but I wanted to do it, so you should vote for me because I wanted to do it. Right. Is isn't that it in a nutshell? Mm-hmm. Well, he's hmm. again he's playing people. Yeah. Uh, for political gain, which right. if I was being played, I would be very unhappy. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, uh, we have 1A, uh, our president. Uh, somebody needs to help the president on exactly when Memorial Day is mm-hmm. coming. Yeah, he, gets, uh, he gets a little tongue tied yeah, here. God love yeah. him. He thinks it's this weekend. And, um, <laughs> and, and so well, here, I did too. Here, here's the president who wants to wish you all a happy Memorial Day weekend coming up this weekend. Of course, that's Mother's Day. But anyway, so, so here, <laughs> here we go. As we approach Memorial Day this weekend, uh, and Memorial Day weekend, I'm rushing it. Good gracious alive. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be up to the job for six more years. <laughs> sure. Not even Democrats thinking anymore. They finally have stopped thinking it. Well, and I do think they're turning on him now because they're, they're not letting him get away with stuff well, like that, that they normally do. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, now remember, this is the same bunch, 1B Adler. This is the same administration that doesn't want you to pay back the college loans that right. you've taken out. Right. And why well, has somebody suggested now you don't pay any loans back? Is well, it? it's interesting. <laughs> listen Let's to what, try that. Listen to what everybody's uh, press secretary, everybody's favorite press secretary, Corrine Jean Pierre, says uh, when she tries to use car payments as an analogy about how you have to you have to pay what you owe. So here we go. If you buy a car, you are expected to pay the monthly payments. If you buy a home you are expected to pay the mortgage every month. That is the expectation. That is the spending that you put forth or spending that you may have done before, and now you're paying it every month. If you do not pay your car payment, if you do not pay your mortgage payment, then your credit is going to be bad. It's going to hurt your credit. So let's look at Congress for a second. This is spending that they've already done. They've already spent, let's for not forget the $2 trillion Trump tax cuts that they were willing and happy to vote for. So we're telling them or saying to them, do your job, pay for something that you've already spent on. That's it. This is spending that has already occurred. They need to do the right thing that has been done 78 times since 1960. It's that simple. It is very, very simple. It is the right thing to do. It is their constitutional duty. It is not complicated at all. Uh, you know, we're we're really twisting some of the facts there yeah, a little bit uh, course, sure, and all of that. Sure. You know, um, the Republicans have already said they'll raise the limit up mm-hmm. with spending cuts on the other side. Biden has said, I want a clean bill. I'm not making a deal. Mm-hmm. And they said, yep, you're going to have to make a deal if you're going to get this. Mm-hmm. We've never had a federal deficit at $31 trillion either. Well, I was going to say. We part, used to worry the, about it when it was at nine. The part, the part she left out, if I go to the, the, the people I bought the car from and financed it, and they said, you know, you haven't made your payment in the last two months. And I said, well, I realize that I owe y'all money. Could y'all give me more money so I can pay for this? Mm-hmm. They would go, what would you just say? You want us to give you money yep. to pay what you told us you would pay? This is a new twist that it is. you've already spent the money. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. And I wonder why somebody didn't raise their hand and say, do you feel the same way about college loans, what you said about the car, right. and what you said about the house? Right. Because I heard you already tell people not they don't have to pay right. those. So yeah, maybe I mean, it's totally hypocrisy. Yeah, and right. I would say maybe the Republicans see this like a college loan. They don't really have to pay it. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> why not? Why can't they... Uh... <laughs> Why can't they identify as a college loan? I, th- some of these people that speak on the current woke left 
I mean, they're they they're advanced enough to know that we now record things and play them back and and document things. And we heard what you said last time. Yeah. Do they think you just won't recognize the inconsistencies? Or oh, they act like it doesn't exist. Yeah. What? What? We we'll back in Bubba. Bubba. He's the mighty James Van. Hello, James Van. You were saying in the break, and I agree, you know, you and I, you know, when, you, when you're doing what we do, you know, all these new words people invent and then acronyms people come up with, it's hard to keep up with all of it. You know, we got all these different names and, you know, don't be this and, and you should be this and watch that word. And, and, and you, know, you know, we're living in a time that every – see how it upset people? We're living in a time where people are gripped in fear over words and you don't want to be labeled with certain words. But you and I both agree. You brought it up, and I agree with you 100%. The first time I heard the word misogynist thrown out, I had no idea what, what they were talking no, about. No, we we used to have a word called male chauvinist mm-hmm. and all that. And when I heard misogynist that the first time, thing. I thought, well, they were talking about somebody that wants to give you a rub down. Okay. I mean, I really couldn't. Me and, and, you know, now I've, I've learned that word, whatever, but I still don't like it. It's just, it, it's, it's, it doesn't sound right. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It just gives me the creep. When I bit. say it. The word does not match the offense. Right. It, right. It's if like, you say someone's a male chauvinist, you know what that yeah, is. Yeah, that sounds bad. It right. sound, you you, you, you don't want to be that. You don't want to be labeled no. that. It's still a bad thing. But I just don't like the word misogynist because it doesn't it doesn't sound like what you're talking about. It doesn't. Not so, at all. If you hear the word male chauvinist, and I didn't know what the word chauvinist meant, but I knew it didn't sound good. Right. But and you I, learned. And I, and I knew yeah. they were talking about men because it had yeah. male at the, at the beginning of it. Right. So what I would say <laughs> is, first of all, when do we decide? All right, this is important because you and I were talking about this. Is a misogynist the same thing as a male chauvinist, or is being a misogynist even worse? Hmm. I, what, is, why? Where did this word come from? Uh, why did we think it that male chauvinist wasn't enough? Why are we can we is that is that is that phrase? It, it still over? just doesn't sound because it sounds like you're saying massage. That's it, the bottom. It line. sounds too pleasant. Yeah, you know, you, somebody says you're a massage. You say no, I actually host a radio show. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, not, matter of fact, I've never had that training. Mm. You know, like, or it sounds like it's like a really fancy massage you would get. Oh yeah, mm. yeah. Do you want the deep tissue or the misogynist? I said, well, I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it also sounds like it may be something you know you, 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 that you would find in the Pacific Rim. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I mean it you, could be a little know, out there. Yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah. Hey, got look, you. if you go on that mission trip, <laughs> let me tell you, when they say misogynist, you don't want any of that. Uh, so it just it just sounds it does not sound like what they're saying. You know, I don't even know whether to be upset. I will tell you one thing, that guy right there is a misogynist. I'm like, well, good for him. You know, and then you realize, oh no, that's negative. I'm not supposed to say that. Right. It, it right. actually yeah. it stands for a hater of women. Well, isn't that what a male chauvinist was? Yeah. And it's not even spelled I don't know. like we say it or it's it's said. It's so M I S. Is not, that different than being a male chauvinist? It says a person who dislikes, despises, or strongly prejudices against women. Kind of like a male chauvinist? I yeah, I guess. I mean, why don't we move to this word? I don't know. I mean I don't know. it's you, almost okay. to me in cons- uh, that you you can't even comprehend somebody would be that way because everybody had a mother, right? I mean, right, yeah. Right. So I, I just I don't know. It's just strange. Well, I, I, well, if you say I, I mean I've been around people that that think that their their maleness is superior to females and treats, that's a chauvinist. Well, it that, says a chauvinist thinks okay. that your belief in a national superiority and glory. A and natural, I guess you can even it's not didn't just to pertain to women hmm. pertains to anything. Wait right. a minute. So a male chauvinist doesn't hate women. He this just is thinks chauvinism. It's better than women. I'm just looking at the word. That's what chauvinist. I'm asking. I'm trying to get. So in a misogynist, I mean, I, I, that's hate. I'm a woman hater. I, I, they hate women. A chauvinist, I'm superior to women, but I'm not a woman. But I'm also superior to other nationalities. I'm superior. You know, what I'm saying it's not well, just. How can women. that? That seems like that would be a racial chauvinist. Well, maybe when you. I don't a, know. An ethnic. Maybe when you say male chauvinist, that's. But, I don't know, Rick. Well, I'm just trying to understand words. Yeah, we got I mean, too many words for. Okay, these. here's one. What do you call a female chauvinist? I don't know. I'm looking. Okay. I know what female you mean. Pernay, pernay, pernay. When I was working It's like that. a male chauvinist. A female is a female who patronizes, disparages, and otherwise denigrates males in the belief that they are inferior to Is females. there a fuss- So you can be a female chauvinist. Fusogynist? <laughs> What's a fusogynist? Fusogynist. <laughs> That's a is, there, is there a feet? misogynist? Can I <laughs> the, male, the male thinks he's superior to women, and the female thinks they're superior to men. Both of them are chauvinists. Has anybody ever heard the term female chauvinist? Never. Ever? Ever, anybody ever been called one? No. 
I've never heard anybody ever be called that. Have you? No. Nah. You think in this day and time of the view, you'd hear it. I know. Yeah. Right. But, I, <laughs> that's good. but let me say this. Well, if that, that – see, that clarifies to me, we already had it, a male chauvinist and a female chauvinist, then all we needed to know is what chauvinist meant. Right. Misogynist is male only. Yeah, mm-hmm. hater of women. Now, yeah. what if a woman hates men? There's but another it, word, I guess. Misogynist. Misogynist. I don't know. I'm just completely That's going good. off. Well, why don't I we just... make it up? The Rick and Bubba Show, and we thank you for being with us. We'll get more of your phone calls coming up before the hour is done. Alapuka guarding those phones for us today. Rick and Bubba intern. Uh, the show on the road tomorrow. Uh, we will be live, Lord willing, from Greystone. Uh, there in Alabama for the Regents Tradition Celebrity Pro-Am. Got a lot of celebrities scheduled to pop by the show tomorrow. Bubba and Speedy will be uh, rolling through uh, the round. Speedy playing, Bubba hanging out. Uh, And uh, we have uh, our winner yesterday that donated the most money to Children's Hospital, and he will be uh, in their group as well. Uh, enjoying the day. Uh, So catch us anytime we're on location. It lends itself to... You, you never know. And and us broadcasting from that celebrity pro-am has spawned some pretty interesting moments in Rick and Bubba history. So that, uh, that happening tomorrow, uh, however you get the Rick and Bubba show. And then uh, on the 18th this month, Bubba and I down in Montgomery, the Montgomery Biscuits. It'll be I-92 WLWI Country Night. That's uh, our affiliate there in Montgomery, and they have been for many years. Uh, and uh, Bubba and I are honored to be there, and they're going to have a little – uh, hang out with some of you that win the opportunity for a dinner before the game. And uh, we might even play a little round of country song or it ain't. And then uh, we'll go out and bubble throughout the first pitch. And so that'll be coming up on the 18th of May. So uh, so look for that under rickandbubba.com under upcoming events. Uh, so some other things here, Bubba, I'll give you, I'm going to give you some choices, okay, on things we could talk about. Okay, give it to me. AI may help shorten workouts to 20 minutes and still unlock the fountain of youth. <laughs> there you go, Bubba. That's a headline. It is. Do you see that one? Well, what are we, what's our comparison? Well, then we got the Murmur campaign on, on Arch Manning. Oh, that one. Oh, Murmur. No. We're going to start with the AI since yeah, we've, already, it, it, we've had some Murmur, AI this Murmur. Time anyway. Now, I'm not going to report here that Arch Manning is going to Auburn and Hugh Freeze has secured him. We're not going to do that. <laughs> All right. And, I'm uh, to do that. But I, I, cause I don't think that. Because I don't think that's responsible to say something like that. <laughs> right. So, so we're not going to do that. Um, but anyway, uh-huh. you know, Bub, I know that you're kind of kicking the tires on AI and the things that it could do. Well, it, it is an interesting topic right now. How about a 20 minute workout that, uh, that, that unlocks the fountain of youth. Now it's it, this AI exercise coach. Is that, that what it is? It said, uh, uh, the exercise coach, which has fitness studios across the country and overseas in Japan has risen to popularity. I've never heard of this. Uh, the, 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 the rise in their business is up 125%. Uh, they have eight studios compared to 180 now in May. This was in 2020. They had 80. Now they got 100 um, and, um, and 80. And uh, they said that the, the industry is always spawning new and interesting ways for younger um, motivated individuals to exercise. But what about those of us that, uh, that maybe don't have that motivation? Hmm. Uh, and says, um, I think we're right on the cusp of changing the way people think about and optimize aging through the AI guided coach led strength training. So I guess they're saying that the, the AI gives the exercise coach the ability to match strength training workouts that are suited for you as an individual. They can yeah. make them more yeah. individual, which is, which is what I've done uh, it's, it's with basic, a human being. Yeah. yeah. AI basically is playing money ball. Yeah, you know, it, they are. It, it can it can look at a lot of data and say, for you, you fit in these categories, and these people do this to get the best results. Right. So it says that the exerbotics, which you're calling it, smart resistance and biofeedback, mm-hmm. change resistance levels. I guess in this machine they're going to create in real time to accommodate when an exerciser's muscles are stronger or weaker. For example, more resistance is countered during you know, uh, one phase of it. And then when they realize you're getting a little tired, it takes it back, but still goes now more reps, right. lighter weight. It will be able to, to t- sense what your body is doing and adapt the workout, even in the workout for you to maximize and not damage because, you know, there's the, you know, there's the law of diminishing return. Right. And, you know, it's, um, 
you know, the workout has to be up balanced to the individual where you go. Now, this is the way you as an individual will benefit the most based on your situation. And they're saying, well, with AI technology and the, and, and the knowledge of all these coaches, uh, they can tell AI, here's all the stuff we know scientifically. And AI will say, okay, well, I can take that and put together workouts for individuals as, as I get the information from the individual. There you go, Bubba. There you Am go. I oversimplifying that? But so I let think me, that's let what. Me, let me know, get this straight. It, so it's adjustable, basically. So if I feel do. my muscles are tired, instead of me reaching up and maybe getting less resistance, mm-hmm. AI is going to do it. That's correct. So it's really right. whatever. Yeah, it's what, another whatever. Yeah, I well, mean, you know what I'm saying. Wait a minute. I, hey, hey, my muscles. I started out. Yeah, they're pretty good. So yeah. I disresist. As I go on, they get right. tired. You know what I do? Mm-hmm. Back at resistance. Ease up. Bit. Yeah, well, up. yeah, the, the part, and I don't, maybe it will AI. be, a, maybe oh it will, well, how about this? Maybe it will be able to recognize this, but I know like. Um, I, I'm just thinking I'll make it without it. Yeah, I, I do understand <laughs> this because I'm, I'm benefiting from it right now. Of course, I prefer a human being right now because of the real time, mm-hmm. hey, I see something going on or hey, it's raining, let's get inside. But, but anyway, I have seen the advantage of going from I'm in a mass group of people mm-hmm. with a general workout this design for the 28-year-old, but also there's a 50, 68-year-old in the same workout class, right. and then you're having to adapt it on your own with one coach with 30 people as opposed to one coach standing there in front of you, even though there's higher accountability too, which, you know, that, that's been a struggle for me. Yeah. <laughs> but but for, for, him, for, for it to go, no, I'm only making this workout for you. Mm-hmm. I'm not making it for a whole class. There's definitely something yeah, to this yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm making it for you, and it has been extremely beneficial for me. So I understand yeah. how that concept works. I do too, yeah, for yeah. sure. And, and but s- to but your point, though, there's only or so to, many the, coaches. to Greg's point, you still got to go. You still got to yeah. do it, and Correct. you were in a group setting with other people, and you were getting after it and making the decision yeah. to – Yeah, and that was great. Yeah, and, but then you decided, oh, okay, there is a more efficient way to do this, and that's what For this my is. age. If yeah. I was well, younger – for anybody, yeah. really. If I was younger, the class format works better – would have been fine. But as I, I got older and I've got you know the foot issue and I've got this kind of stuff, I needed more one-on-one – Here's what we're doing. This is designed for you for what we're trying to accomplish, and that has that has given me even even. I think it gives everybody. Results. I yeah, think it yeah, gives yeah. everybody results. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, results. we talked yeah. to an yeah. artist sure. that said that AI can put them out of business. I would think there's some professions that are scared to death, like yeah. nutritionists and personal yeah. trainers and yeah. stuff like that. That people, you know, you still want that. I yeah. still, we still yeah. want the one on one because yeah. we're a little older. But what I'm saying, don't we still but, need some of those people to actually give the AI all the information it needs? Yeah, yes. but then the AI but can, not, but can not make as many. your workout. But not as many. I, right, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, not as many. Bottom of the hour, we'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Can't we have I'm going to look. I think we're the word. Back I think, up. If I we think, can make up our gender, we make up the word. All I, tell you Bubba, this, I mean, I got news for you to say. In the times we're living That's in, so by good, golly, Bubba. it is open season on making things up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You can make up anything you want. Rick, you want look, I'm going to I'm gonna chime in to postmodernism and just make up some words. <laughs> all right, is a chauvinist pig a pig that thinks pigs are superior no, to other animals? It's a male okay. who thinks that women are inferior, here we go with that, or lesser, <laughs> but who acts and makes statements to that effect. So he don't just think it, he says it. So and here's could, an example: women belong in the kitchen, barefoot and pregnant. Greg, that's you. That is, that sounds Greg, like you are a male misogynist. chauvinist pig. You say that once a you're week. You're a male chauvinist pig. And so I didn't necessarily. So wait a minute. That. If you don't say no. it though, you're just a male chauvinist. If you just think it, I don't know. I because guess, a pig, he just said. And you can I, it out. you can also add iron my shirt to it. But, <laughs> right, right, you, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, that's you. Did yeah, you write right. that? No. Huh? Greg, is your Greg, picture in that? Greg, you use the term rattle them pots and pans. Yeah, you better look good while you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let yourself go. You know where I stole that from The Rose, by the way? From the movie The Rose. Remember? Really? Yeah. Get in there rattling pots and pans. You better look good while you're doing it. Oh, yeah. From no. the, when she's on stage. Mm-hmm. Talking that about what a man See, that's why I miss the 80s. We didn't have so many words that. that were odd. And, and, yeah. and people didn't seem like they were you know, so hung up on being offended. You know, it seemed like everybody was kind of like into having a good time and let's just keep it, keep the party going. You yeah, know? it was almost like a prep school at Georgetown. <laughs> 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 hey, let's answer the phones in there. Party and I, mean, I don't mean party uh, like that, but right, I mean right, right. overall everybody happy and everything going well. <laughs> that party. Yeah. All right. AJ, party in the U.S. AJ, <laughs> AJ and Alabaster listen to ZZK. AJ, go ahead. Hey guys, you are, y'all guys are a mess, man. 
uh, on this uh, on this misogynist. The word comes from a Greek word. And there was a time when it was commonly used as a kind of a racial slur about how black men treated women. It has to do really with not just feeling superior, but being abusive. It's about being abusive towards, physically abusive toward women. Well, 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 if if the word really means there's abusive behavior involved, we sure are tossing it around pretty carelessly right now. We do. Yeah, yeah, it's getting used. it's, It's an old word that's been revived and is being tossed around a lot. And used in a lot of context, but at the heart of it, 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 it comes from the Greek language, and it's about a man who is abusive to women. Wow. When you look at the word, you you might think it means something else. So, so what I we're mean, having, Rick? Look I, I saw it. I saw it. We're it. having chauvinist pigs being mistaken for massage. <laughs> Amen. That's what we're having. <laughs> well, we can't we're have that. We, yeah. can't, we better get this in line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, we'll take phone calls when we come back on. Rick, glad to be here and thank all of you for the opportunity to do so. Uh, uh, so as we as we make our way back, um, I'm having a little fun uh, you, that you'll enjoy behind you there. But anyway, so as we as we make our way back, I don't know. They something look, wrong with the computer? Yeah, look, they're having some issues in there. Or something. Man. Y'all okay? What's up, interns? Y'all okay in there? Okay. Uh, just, just everything good. Everything all right? Okay. Intern. Uh, but anyway, so uh, so Bubba, you were <laughs> you were talking to me. In, in the break about, you know, th- this past weekend, you know, football fans are always fun to study. You know, to me, I mean, if you want to study something in society, just study rabid football fans and at all levels. But college level can be a lot of fun. And uh, this past weekend, you know, some of the most fun college football fans on the planet are LSU Tiger fans. Oh, yeah. You yeah know, they go had Tiger. A, they had a you know, big win now. Go I mean, Tiger. We can make that kick. Go we, Tiger. Yeah, you know, you're going to go Tiger. <laughs> I know it's Kevin Derberry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's a touch of that. That's a touch of it. Just like Gary and Hobie are not far off. Uh, so it was a big nationally televised game this weekend. LSU kicks a 42-yard field goal with two seconds left on the clock to defeat mm-hmm. Auburn in a matchup of top tens. It was all the excitement and drama you love with college football. I love your sports voice. <laughs> Cole Tracy was the kicker for LSU, mm-hmm. and he is a transfer from uh, Assumption College in Massachusetts, Rick, mm-hmm. a Division II school. The LSU fans apparently are so grateful that they have been donating to Assumption College, thanking them for sending them yeah. Cole this, Tracy. Well, this is where it's important. <laughs> I mean, this, this is, if you can get – somebody from your smaller college to then transfer to a bigger college and do something heroic, uh, the fans of the college that has more money than you will start giving your college money and appreciation for sending the kicker their way. Uh, you know, I mean, Rick, I know you have all these rules about, you know, you can't pay these athletes and all. Some of this is getting a little weird, though. Crank it up, crank it up, crank it up. Here we go. It's phone troll time. Alapuka is ready to go at 866-WE-BE-BIG. He'll take your phone calls. He'll get you lined up. We'll begin to chat with you at 866-WE-BE-BIG. Whatever is on your mind. Make comments, ask questions, bring information to the table. You are now running the Rick and Bubba Show. We just tossed you the keys. Take it. Go. Uh, No meaningless shout-outs, no shameless plugs. Those will not be part of the phone trail format. It means a lot of folks getting quickly and with 10 lines a-blazing. If you dial right now, uh, you should get in, get in line. And because of our friend the buzzer, uh, because boundaries are a blessing, uh, you should get on quicker. MyPillow.com slash Bubba right now. Uh, MyPillow 2.0, people loving it. The new temperature-controlled regulating technology Keeps us comfortable throughout the night. Yes, the perfect pillow just got better. You can buy one, get one free right now. And, of course, uh, they do include that 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. They are machine washable and dryable. Uh, And they have four loft levels. You'll you'll love these pillows. Uh, You didn't think this pillow could get any better, but with this new technology, it just got better. Also, summer coming up, my pillow sandals are on sale for $19.98. Beach blankets and beach towels are also 50% off. So go right now uh, to MyPillow.com slash Bubba. 
MyPillow.com slash Bubba for all of these specials. Dial us up, 866-WE-BE-BIG. We'll chat with you. Uh, go ahead and get in line. Let's start with Warren out of the free state of Florida. Warren, 30 seconds and go. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey. Great listening to your show. Uh, Greg, you're struggling with the puppy situation, sir. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, I mean, so what's wrong? What can you give me a quick yes? What's wrong with the female? Is she down or no, not there at all? She's just decided she this within the past two days. Maybe she's going through something. She's decided she don't want to nurse oh, anymore. Okay, okay. So uh, here's a quick suggestion. I don't have just a few seconds. I've done this for twenty something years. You get those every once in a while that go through that phase. Put them in a kiddie pool container to where she can't get out, and then you'll just have to sit there and force her on her side. And are the puppies taken to her? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we okay. we actually did that yesterday in the kiddie pool. It's just okay. Like I say, she sat down and we kind of held her, and uh, yeah, yes, but, sir. but now she's she's getting smart to it. And I think she's been every time my wife gets her in there, she jumps back out. Yeah. I, I, I okay. Well, one sore. other quick thing: if she they the puppies need that glossum in that in that mother's milk, if you can't get her to nurse. Uh, nurse all or um, infamal is a good substitute, but yeah, we got they luck. gave us some at the vet, and they have nursed her really good for two weeks. So you know they did get a okay. lot, which is good. But okay. what, what about okay. this? Well, is just I, like to this start happening like yesterday. What but about the good, suckler four thousand? The little feeder <laughs> they when they were but they were really small when we were bottle feeding them. They didn't really like that, so we had to syringe it. Mm-hmm. But now they may get after it a little mm-hmm. better now that they're older. They will. Like I said, you just may have to just hold her on her side and, and, and make her. Because I had a couple like that in my time. And uh, mm-hmm. basically, if they don't get that mother's milk, they, their their immune systems are weaker than um, mm-hmm. Yeah, she's done great normal. up to this point. She really has. You don't I mean, hey, well, she day. had surgery right after she had oh, them. So one she other was quick out. thing, and I, 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 so I'll there. get off of here, guys. Make sure you keep their nails clipped because the longer they get, the sharper they get, the more painful it becomes for her. That's right. Well, here. there's some little bitty nails. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Yeah, I know, but this, Warren, they're, how, they're many puppies, yeah, how many puppies can we straight. put you down for? <laughs> how many you want? <laughs> oh, no, I got some for sale right now. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hey, were you listening to any of that? Because yeah. that was some good well, well, advice. We actually, that's what worked yesterday. No, no, listen. I got it. No, no, here, no here, he's not. Here, no, that's what nails. worked. We no, put flip, the kitty pool down. nails. I, dang, I ain't got See, Greg, can't, that's, you can't that's throw an hands or not you, Are you enjoying this? Here's all I hear. Ooh, their little <laughs> hands. And God I'm, love Warren. I'm glad know, there's people like Warren out I there. Know. I know. And Greg will do, but all I can hear is Greg going, Hassle? Hassle? <laughs> I ain't Hassle? 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 So, so now we, Greg, we're na- now we, tiny. Listen, now we, got a, now we got a stray dog that we got to put in the kiddie pool. And we have a hold in the kiddie pool, and we have to hold her on her side. Well, we did that yesterday. And then, and then, and then we have to get the puppies to connect. Then we got. Then I got to cut their toenails, and then and then and now I got to do. I mean, you just, I want you just to think about that man's life. But Great. I will say this: I'll as far that. as the one thing that, that is going well, the puppies connecting. It, they Thank look you, like Greg. sharks feeding whenever Thank they you, get a shot at it. It is unreal. <laughs> Thank you, That's probably it's why a, she doesn't want it. It's a frenzy. Well, but there's he, eight of them. But yeah. here's the thing: you you eight immediately enough, go negative and say I'm not cutting their nails. But this guy's telling you if you don't cut well, them, she's the, going to cut them all. But what you got to understand: these tiny little. Greg, you don't understand how tiny it is. No, I understand, Greg. I've and had puppies. I'm going to cut it too far. <laughs> you know? Oh, I and really lot, wish I could just watch him try that, Greg. Yeah, oh, I'd, like to have, it, Greg. I'd like to have Rick. video of feeding time. You know? That's uh, how you do it, Greg. That's well, they you, do. Greg. Well, they, hey, if they think they get feeding time, they're like a pack of dogs. Well, they are. So I just want to be sure. They're like a pack of dogs. I bet they are. I bet they are. Which is a good thing. They don't act like a bunch of cats. Keith and Coleman. Keith, go ahead. Their hands were that big. Hey, Bubba, I was wanting to know how you feeling about that first pitch. Oh, oh I'm I, 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 I'm it. excited about the whole get together. I don't want to put I, Fauci in your mind. I love yeah. to get out there and, and visit and socialize. We're going to have a good time. Look, if things have been going with Bubba, I'd like to have guys, I'll be the one that's there. Bubba won't be there. I'll be there, and, and, and I'll be stuck with this first pitch. And Speedy, is your arm loose? You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm looking forward to an evening at the ballpark. Ladies and gentlemen, representing the Rick and Bubba show, Rick. Uh, Bubba unable to be with us tonight. And, uh, the, uh, uh, <laughs> he stayed in the meet and greet to eat some more. Uh, Y'all might re- recall we had thunderstorms just the other night. He's back down at the lake house. <laughs> the, uh, all right, let's go to uh, Cody. Cody in Dora, oh, Alabama. Cody, he, go ahead. I wanted to know if, uh, is YouTube going to be available tomorrow? 
and, YouTube uh, tomorrow will be archived, but not live. He'll be putting together a documentary of the day, as has been the norm. Okay, Cody. Uh, I Dan. All right, sorry, Cody. Uh, we continue. Steve in Indiana. Steve, go ahead. Welcome to the show. Guys, I was just listening to you talk about Bill Maher, and I would pay good money for Rick and Bubba to be on the Bill Maher show. I would that that would be fun. I I, I would take that invitation. I, I think we could have a logical conversation with Bill Maher, and mm-hmm. you know now he'd have to he'd have to cut the yucks out, and uh, <laughs> you know we wouldn't participate in that. But but as far as us talking about our country and talking about you know world views, I I think it would be a, an intriguing conversation. Uh, you know the other thing. A lot of times you're talking about people with different views going on shows. Yeah, a lot of times they go in there wanting to make the other guy look like a fool, so right. they can you know post on YouTube, right. hey, I shut him down or whatever, whatever. Instead of just going and having a, a conversation about it, and understand there's differences, and and that's okay. Well, you can agree to this. Perfect. It's just like, and you're really there to make your point, not so much you know, uh, and win somebody over to your worldview. I I don't know who this person was. And, and, you know, because sometimes these things, you, you have to get them down to their end where, you where, well, if we do this, then this is this is also what you're saying. They'll go, well, I'm not really, oh, wait a minute, I guess I am saying that. And I, and people have sent it to me. I don't, and I would give credit, but I don't know who these people are. They're doing some kind of podcast or something. <clears throat> and, and the guy says, you know, what we've heard a thousand times, I believe, because the guy was trying to say, I don't understand where, where we're all not understanding is we have this baby, and you say because it's in this womb that it has no rights, but if it gets out of the womb, suddenly it does. And you realize that's not that's not that's a birth canal. We're mm-hmm. talking about whether somebody's a person or not. Mm-hmm. And then of course he says, "Well, I think a woman should be able to do with her body whatever she wants to do." To which the other host said, "So she can do math too, I guess, while she's pregnant." Ooh. And the guy goes, "Well, no." He goes, "Well, why not?" It's her body. I mean, if she wants to do meth while she has the baby inside the womb. She, now, I know she gave the baby meth once it was born. We, we, I guess she'd be mad about it. But as long as it's in the womb, I guess she can just do meth if she wants to. And, and then the guy says, well, no, because then she's knowingly trying to kill her baby. And the guy just stops. He listens and goes, oh, I see what you did there. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. So you wouldn't be for that. So she really can't do anything. And plus, you know, the bigger argument, it's not her body. It's, it's got its own DNA and everything. But, but. He said, well, if, if you really believe what you keep saying, because no matter what we say, you go, a woman should be able to do whatever she wants to do with her body, and does that include meth or not while she's pregnant? And the guy just he had no answer for he that. No answer. I, but, you I, got, but see, you, got, you, got, you have to, I mean. Did you see the surgeons that did the brain surgery on the baby in the womb the other day? No, wow. but I, I know that's possible. It's incredible. It really is. Uh, we continue. Let's go to Allen, South Texas. Allen. Allen, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Uh, howdy, boys. Howdy. Hey, uh, before before we go uh, further, let me ask Greg something. Do you feed the dog ice cream? Uh, no. Shut up. Okay. Hmm. So get a get a get a uh, bluebell uh, homemade vanilla. Well, that's all he and Lily eat. Uh, put, <laughs> Time out, Rick. Yeah, put, my, <laughs> already used put it in, put it in a well, in a bowl like you would, and let it melt, and then. Give it to her every six hours, but don't give it to her with other food. Let her eat the. That'll help. I'm serious. What's that? No, 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 no. You know what? what? That's not the point. Hey, I, 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 I welcome, see something. I see something. Is that going to make started, her lay down and not move? And I'm going to encourage it. Yes. Please call with lists of things <laughs> Greg needs to do. Let me ask you this. This, this is what I was going to suggest. Greg, you need to Greg. hop on your left foot every four hours. <laughs> ice Greg, do this. Give me the ice cream. I'll eat it and watch you feed the dog. <laughs> there you Deal. go, Bubba. There you go, I don't Bubba. understand how the ice cream makes her lay there and let them nurse, does it? No, no. What it does is it, it gives her more fat and more uh, uh, protein to help supplement her food and lactate better. Yeah, but if she won't well, let, if they, she won't let them connect, what good does that do? What they've also done, as far as that, is no. They, but that that may that may be why she's not letting them connect is. Her body's telling her yeah, she doesn't have you. enough nutrients to oh, feed. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, they told us to feed her puppy chow, and she tears it up. Yeah, they said it helps develop milk. Greg, if you does it really? Uh, Greg, she act. wears it out. Greg, <laughs> what you need to do is every two and a half hours, <laughs> yeah. except on the odd hours and on the even hours, it'd be two hours even. 
you need to stand on your head with your legs up against a pine tree, not a hardwood, a pine tree. That's what I'm needing. Yeah, and, and take little pieces of bark with your left hand and chip those off in a bowl. <laughs> Thank you, Dickie. And, and, then, and then she's got it. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Uh, to date, they said they have been able to trace back 116 donations totaling almost $6,000 made to Assumption College, thanking them for cold tracing. Mm-hmm. Well, of course, now, until he misses a, a big oh, yeah. one, <laughs> and then they will all hate cold tracing. They but will, the life of They a will kicker. want their money back. The life <laughs> of a kicker. I will tell you, he's a confident uh, fella. I was watching the game, and it was going to come down to, uh, to a field goal. And you, he looked extremely confident. Mm-hmm. He, he had that look on like, yeah. hey, guys, this is going to be right down the middle. Yeah. Oh, he, and, he hit the second L in Allstate. Yeah. It was and, so down and the and middle. And it was down the middle. But you also, as, as you see with other other opportunities, he obviously is the biggest key. But that snapper and that holder, if they don't get it down there for him. You well, can those are the, the guys that never get the praise. The kickers right. get the praise for making the kick. And the blame. So. And the blame. But those guys, nobody ever knows their name. They run off the field. You don't know who it was, and they make or break that kick. You bring up a good point, Rick, because the snap, while it wasn't bad, it was up by the face mask. Right. That holder did a good job. The holder it got it down, got those laces out of his way, and down mm-hmm. the middle it went. You never hear announcers, when a kick goes well, you never hear them talk about it. But when a kick goes bad, yep. they always look at that. They do. They yeah. always break that down. Yeah. Why don't they look at it when it's good? Yeah, they. they what well, they, and I think you saw that on one of the other Auburn kicks earlier. It looked yeah, like the snap, snap was low into the side, and the the it holder was, had not, not enough had to time to get it spun around like he liked. Yeah, it. Rick, matter of fact, he, he kicked it right in the middle of the laces. Yeah, uh, and Rick, you having a son that was which a center, will go you know, anywhere. You yeah, live on every anywhere. snap, especially oh, a shotgun oh, or whatever. Hard, hard and hard. most people don't even think about it's it. Hard. And Reese tried the snapping for a while and has done extra point snapping. And you for you get so nervous because you're like, my please make a good snap, you know. But you don't think about it as a fan. You yeah. don't, and you're you don't not think looking about all the little things that yeah. have to go right. Everybody, if you've this... never tried that snap, you ought to try it one time. Oh, that yeah. is a difficult play. Oh. Yeah, I, I did that in high school and college, and it, uh, buddy, it isn't because you're not looking. You're you just uh-huh. you go by feel. Yeah, and I, and of course, I was feel. doing it during the days too when you could tee off on the center. Yeah, and that was right. that, that was pleasant. <laughs> yeah. You, you can't, can't do that now, right? No, no. You can't tell off on the center anymore. Just looking between. They, between they, his somebody legs. finally said he's looking between his legs. I yeah. don't think this is fair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but that they may were, fall under defenseless. About, you know, you hear about defenseless receiver. How about a defenseless center? Well, what they did, and you remember Greg in the old days, they would teach us to snap it and try to get our head up mm-hmm. because well, they knew we were going to take a shot. And I, I would, uh, it, I was thankful when that rule changed and you didn't have to worry about looking up anymore. Yeah, yeah. But you're right. See, everybody in the stadium or in the stands. They're not even thinking about the snap on shotgun. They're not thinking about the snap on extra points. They're not thinking about the snap on the punt. But the parents of the person who does yeah. those things, <laughs> every single snap is 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 just gut wrenching. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's, it's horrible. <laughs> so, do you think at some point, if these donations get large enough, that uh, the folks at LSU may go? I tell you what, instead of giving it the money to them, why don't we give them to the school who brought him in? Here? Well, yeah, that'd that, be that'd LSU. Be, <laughs> right. That, that's it. It's um, uh, coach. Uh, they, they tried to ask Coach O about it, but nobody can understand it. Yeah. Well, you know, get on the ball down here. Yeah, he tax. seemed happy. I'll tell you one thing he was clear on was his his, uh, his uh, comment in the dressing room. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah he said right, that about right. as clear as I've heard him yeah, say. That, that's the clearest thing I've heard him say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, he got that pretty clear. <laughs> he, did. Yeah. he did. He was pretty fired up when he saw yeah. this thing go through the end. You see, yeah. you see when he bumped yeah. his security yeah. guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was yeah. all I didn't know Jim Brewer was a quarterback for LSU. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like him, by the way. He really does. Oh, I was yeah. wondering who looked like that. That's it. The quarterback for LSU looks like the comedian Jim Brewer. Yeah, boy, the, they really look alike. Goat boy. The, the goat boy. It's goat boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's I good. Tell, Kicks I, good. I, I, I <laughs> tell Way you, to go. I tell you what, he was also the quarterback for LSU Saturday. was living proof of it really doesn't matter how many completions you make out of the throw, the passes you throw. Just complete the ones that are that are important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you complete less or, than half. Or, or get the close good enough to get a flag on it. Yeah, hey, I only completed five, but every one of them was for a key first down. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, or a touchdown. So. They keep playing this way. Goat Boy's going to have a chance to play against his old team mm-hmm. on down the road with Ohio State. Yeah, he's uh-huh. a he's an Ohio State transfer, isn't he? Yep. yep. That'd be nice to see yeah. that. That'd be oh, fun. You got him in the playoffs. If they keep going. I love forward. Jim Brewer. They're nothing like the Cleveland Browns, that. but they no. got a chance. Well, they are in Ohio. Yeah. yeah, I've, yeah just, just. By what week, Speedy, if the Browns have not won, you're going to have to rule them out again? Well, until they're eliminated. 
<laughs> Mathematically. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> they I play think, tomorrow night. I think technically that could be week nine or ten. It depends. Hey, look, the keep, tie, the tie that look, they've got in that division is going to make it difficult yeah. to calculate down the stretch. I'll keep but. hating. It's going to be an amazing story. Well, it's better than the <laughs> loss they normally have. The yeah, tie. You do have a tie. That's yeah. not a loss. No. Of course, it's not a win, sadly. It's not. Mm-hmm. It's not. Yep. No. I mean, the Steelers. What is going on with them, Rick? Good. No, it's not, not good. Well, I mean, they now the Chiefs are good. Let's not. Right. Right. They are legit. Right. How about and, this guy? And I never even heard of him that came out of Texas Tech. That Mahomes or whatever. He is lighting it mm-hmm. up for them. Y'all got a bag of sugar? Hey, if you got a bag of sugar, now it has to be Dixieland. Okay, Dixieland sugar. And what you do is you put it on four fingers on the left hand. And what you do is, is, is every every three to four hours, probably no 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 less than three, no more than four, is you let her lick that little Dixieland delight off of each of the four fingers from the left hand only. Only and uh, and that'll that'll make her let them puppies attach. I do it. That uh, and clip their nails. Right. Um, all right. So um, they do have you know puppies have little needle nails. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know? they do. They do. Uh, so, um, but thank goodness it's a dog you guys have had for years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so so That's uh, the best part. Yeah. Hey Greg, just like, it looks like, like a family member, just like a <laughs> member of the family. Yeah. Never got to pet her till she dropped nine puppies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, move. But anyway, give uh, out from exhaustion. Um, Lionel Richie. Those of you that are not watching on YouTube, we 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 played a little Lionel Richie coming back, and I remember, and I just didn't, I just didn't, I never did ask on the show. When I heard that American Idol, which Lionel Richie is now a, a judge on that or a coach, um, that he couldn't be there because he was going to the King's coronation. Him, First, and, Katie. him and Katy Perry. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, but I, I didn't understand why. I, I, I didn't fully understand why is Lionel being summoned did by the, king, by, by the, the new king. Was the king a fan? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Did he love the Commodores in the 70s? Well, yeah. no, Greg, if, huh. he, if he just loved the Commodores, he probably would have. You know, I mean, he wanted them to all come. I, if I was the king, I mean, if, if you're a king, what I would say is I want original members, every Commodore that's alive, and Lionel. Don't yeah. send me just Lionel, and yeah, don't send me just the Commodores. That's a good point. I want the Commodores with Lionel. With Lionel. And I want them jamming in the first right. song, Slippery When Wet. Uh, right out of the bow, gate. Bow, bow, and if you don't start with that, bow, don't come. Bow, 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 bow. But but people, and I've heard this, this is now, you know, Lionel, as is, is, is Speedy had to gingerly tell us in the break, is 73 years old. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm hearing. Well, that's the new 63. I'm hearing that Lionel, even on this Birmingham thing we have with the World Games, that, that, that seeing Lionel at 73, you know, some people, you go see the Stones, you know, wherever they are, you, you won't hardly tell the difference. Well, I, I, I yeah. know. You can't, you can't really tie age to yeah. performance with that. Yeah. But uh, I was asking you if you saw the coronation or uh, or anything over the weekend. I think we have a clip of it here. But there's a story today that says Lionel Richie hits back at fans who were disappointed by his awful performance at King Charles Coronation. And I was kind of shocked to see the headline because I didn't see it. So I don't. I didn't either. You guys want to hear it? Yeah. All right, here he is. Not great, but not well, bad. At least he's. Let not me tell you something about that tracks. royal family. They are they are correct. They've kept that bloodline pure. That's the whitest people I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. did, did you see them trying to move? <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what beat they're on. But uh, but anyway, the uh, it sounded like Lionel oh. was almost singing with an accent. All night long, all night long, all day. Everybody so, seemed to be having a good time. Yeah, Greg, you don't even sound like him. That's all that matters. Yeah, if you remember. Um, I oh, saw the, he got put in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year, and I saw his performance there. And it, look, it, like I said, in today's world, most people are singing the tracks anyway. At least he's 
actually singing. Oh, wow. Look at the whiteness. Mm. The black lady's even dancing white beside her. She must be kin to her. Well, okay. she's English, Greg. Black people who are English, it's different. Oh, nine, oh, That's so good. Yeah, oh, nine, oh, oh, Greg has eight. And listen, I love Lionel Rich and the Commodores. <laughs> I mean, he didn't sound like that when we saw him at the BJCC in 1980. Oh, you're talking about one of the finest performances we've ever seen? I'm telling you. Uh, that, Every, that's not the Lionel you, that went to the white <laughs> piano that came down from the from the light rig. Yeah. That was 40 years ago. And every now and then grab a saxophone and blow on it. Oh, yeah. Well, was that Pierce Morgan standing there? Oh, no, I don't know. Okay. The, uh, uh, Katie, Katie Pe- how did Katy Perry's performance go? Well, when she finally found her seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, by the way, look on for it. Now Steve Harvey's got a judge show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Has yeah. he got him a judge show? Now, how many shows that man going to have? How can he be a judge? Uh, he had kids to feed Rick. All it. night long, Whoa. But the king, uh, uh, Camilla, showed up on American Idol with Katy Perry and Lionel Richie. So people are saying like that was a whole trade, yeah, deal. cross promotion. Little cross promotion. Adder, are you afraid to say it? Is is Lionel not up to par? Uh that that wasn't bad, but I wouldn't say that was good. But it does say something that the coronation they got the same act that the Birmingham World Games did. Hmm. Well, that did you wow. hear that silent. That was yeah. tough. Yeah. That's tough. But if right if you're yeah. if you're the third well, member, if that you're really th- brought it home. If you're the third Not member to... of American Idol and you don't get invited to go, oh Luke, I mean, what does, doesn't he feel bad about not getting invited? He'll say he doesn't, but he does. Yeah, I don't know if he's as international. Mm. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's probably not as. He's yeah. a southern. Boy. I mean, in his little so, deal there. Well, okay, this goes back to what Rick said to begin with. Why, why, why did Lionel? Lionel and Katie are they are the they're I've worldwide? Are the king, but is the king fan of theirs? I well, will say this: you might as well have had pit bull you there. Might as well worldwide, get baby, Mister <laughs> Worldwide up in there. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just say, three hundred five. I'm gonna put my promoter hat on. <laughs> I'm gonna put my promoter hat on. I, I you know, I'm. I, it's not my cup of tea. Okay, let me say that. But if I had to pack an arena and I had the choice of the three judges, I would, I'd rather sell Luke Bryan tickets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I bet I can pack it out wall to wall. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Of those three, that's the tickets I want to sell. You're right, because you're going to sell it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If we're Even- talking U.S., yeah. Yeah. Oh, in, I, in, I bet in, I can do okay well. over in England with him. Yeah. I bet he does. <laughs> give me a shot at it. Yeah. Give me a shot. Mm-hmm. I know I can go to Australia and sell down. Oh, oh night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, night. Oh, night. Oh, But he's 73. Yep. That's pretty good. I think yeah, he's out of breath. That's pretty good. You know? I think it's fantastic. You see that? That's not Pierce. Oh, boy. Camilla's got some rhythm. Did you see that? Oh, great. Yeah. She's a good. <laughs> I thought she was having a health issue. Yeah, look, look. Oh, hey. Charles, one, Charles, two, don't try to dance. Give her some orange juice. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I didn't even know who that was. I know my facts. Watch watched some highlights. Yeah. If I had coffee, I'd jicky. <laughs> I, I, I got in a drink called Sports Center. I got NFL Red Zone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can really catch up on a lot of stuff yeah, right there. Yeah, you yeah. Can. Yeah. I, I don't know anything about the NFL, hardly anything at all, but Red Zone helps. I said you, the truth. I that's, that's a great service if I was but watching. I, I, I got I to gotta get to the point where I, I, I can't. I, I'm really struggling. Like, if it's, if I have to have some sort of – Concern about the game to well, I can't watch one in its entirety. It's hard, yeah, and I think NFL tough. Red Zone's not helping because then I don't have to. You right, know, I mean, it's, it's just moving it's around. Like, uh, it's they have this same thing for college. I don't, I don't know. know. I well, like uh, yeah, start. can I tell you yeah. back What's when I college? watched the NFL, Rick, the college thing zone. You, you can get ESPN. all the games. You just pick which one you want. That's that's the greatest invention. Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. But I can't because I, growing up, you just took what they force fed you. You know, your oh, local yeah. affiliate. Yeah. So, yeah. Speeding yeah. signed over that and couldn't get out of it <laughs> for about three what years. <laughs> the NFL ticket. Oh, I know. <laughs> for about three years, he was on and couldn't get off. Yeah. <laughs> How about a speedy this? Though? Nightmare. He How about this? trying to cancel? You know, what, you know what it was? He did the free trial and they couldn't get out. <laughs> he missed that re update. <laughs> How did, how did y'all get this? I'm all in this now. Well, well, we was talking about the NFL. We remember that tick. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. We're the Rick and Bubba Show, 866. We Be Big is the number. Thank you for being with us today on the Rick and Bubba Show. And if you want to join us, uh, 
do pick up the phone and do call, and we'll get in some calls coming up. Uh, there, uh, you know, these books. Anytime a book is coming out, you know, we were just talking about you can't believe. You know, you can't even have a book. You can't believe anything, especially when someone does not participate in the book that is supposedly talking about them. Uh, but there, yeah. there, there is a, a book coming out uh, called, or I guess it may be out now. It's called the the. It's about the uh, Tom Brady Bill Belichick relationship. Uh, it's called Belichick, the making of the greatest football coach of all time, uh, and it, uh, it Ian O'Connor wrote the book. And why it's making news today is because of some of the things that are in the book. Now it says it's based on interviews with 350 people, but don't miss what we have there in Bubba parentheses. Belichick did not cooperate. <laughs> You're talking about the main character of the book. <laughs> yeah, so the book is about him, yeah, though funny. he did not cooperate with the book. It's coming out the 25th. Uh, this month, and um, he says he's reporting in his book uh, that uh, Tom Brady was very upset with Belichick, and he still wasn't certain in late March if he would return to the Patriots because, and Bubba and I have talked about this, it is a fact of life. I know it's always made out to be something horrible, but sometimes it's just a fact of life that as you get older uh, or you stick around a while as a coach or a player, no matter how successful you have been, it has happened too many times for us not to understand it. There comes an uncomfortable moment, regardless of success, that people start thinking that your time has passed and it's time for you to go. Sure. Yeah. And sure. Uh, and Brady said he was concerned. He wants to finish playing for one coach and one team the entire time. And he said he started getting some angst uh, after 18 years in the NFL that, that Belichick at some point would start escorting him out into something new. And well, and and uh, and the owner as well, who they, he's had a great relationship with the owner. Uh, but it gets so funny. They inter- as you said, they've interviewed three hundred and fifty people for this book, but no Belichick. And yeah. what's Isn't the, that funny? And what's the name of the book? Belichick. Yeah. yeah. Belichick. <laughs> uh, so no, we got nothing from him. Yeah, we, we didn't. Coach well, didn't talk to us at all. But you, you know, and and this has happened a lot over the history of the NFL. The teams have this, um, you know, all this pressure to perform and have winners. And they have these legendary quarterbacks, and there's a time where they have to bring. They know, you know, they're getting close to the end of their career. They bring in who they hope will be the next star and leader of the team. But then you got a star, a future leader of the team, sitting on the bench. And then if the if the legend is able to extend his career for a few years, then you get into this problem. What are we going to do? I mean, we saw it with Joe Montana at San Francisco. We saw it with Brett Favre at Green Bay, Kenny Stabler at Oakland. That's just the ones I remember right off the top of my head. But the story goes on and on. There's a Sonny Jurgensen, I think, probably fell victim to that. Craig Morton at Dallas fell victim so, to that. So who would we say would be the Steve Young or the Aaron Rodgers on the sideline right now for the Patriots? Well, who? they traded Garoppolo. That's yeah. who everybody yeah. thought it was. And yeah. now he's one of the yeah. highest right. paid. So I'm wondering, who do they have right now that would be that guy? I don't know who is was, the backup. I, I think they Garoppolo decided their their backup, their heir apparent, was getting you know the the legend hung on too long, so they had to get rid of him. They'll have to bring somebody right, else in right. and try to groom him for that job, what, which is what Green Bay and San Francisco didn't want to do. Right, they, they didn't want to lose Aaron Rodgers, so they went back, ahead and pushed and, the legend and they out, didn't, and they didn't want to lose Steve Young. They still had several years of uh, good football in their career. You know, looks Art. like Brian Hoyer. Is uh, oh, back yeah. up. he's kicked around mm. all the, he's not a there's parent. not anybody else. Wasn't he the, wasn't he with the Browns for a long? Oh time? yeah, he started for them and who else? I think he wasn't he with the Eagles for a little run. He's he's that guy that that's going to be the backup everywhere. But as far as a person going to step in and take Brady's spot, either going to well, trade for somebody or draft. Yeah, somebody. Well, he said in the end because he said this this angst was kind of resolved and we see that because he's there. Uh, he said even if he wanted to at this point, even after the 18th season. Brady could not walk away from the game yet, and he could not ask for a trade. The moment Belichick moved Garoppolo hmm. to San Francisco and banked on Brady's um, uh, as kind of being the guy, uh, knowing that his desire to play in his mid-40s and his ability to still play, he looked at that as whether he was ever told directly or not. When they moved, mm-hmm. you know, when they were ready to trade the heir apparent, Brady said, well, it looks like they still believe yeah. him. L- let me add Peyton Manning to that list. You know, it's just uh, almost was, every. Where, when was it happening with Peyton? At, well, he was at the Colts, and they, they made uh, room. They got rid of him yeah, to yeah, invest right. in luck no, for the right. long term. No, you're right.
It is six minutes past. From the No Name Studio out on the bleeding edge of technology, from Sweet Home, Alabama, to the world, thank you for being with us today. We uh, come back with uh, Slippery and Wet from the Commodores. Just had some bad moments. Oh, yeah, I got the chorus right. So, a couple of things. It was sad in the break. And, you know, Alapuka, one of the uh, big influences in his life is uh, dear friend Barry Ryan, who we know very well, Brad Ryan's older brother. I didn't know he knew Barry. And, and Barry has uh, reached out to me to ask me how Alapuka's doing. <laughs> and um, I didn't, now I've got a return thing I'm going to have to say uh, is Alapuka was sitting here and we tried to ask him if he knew about the Commodores. Did he even know Lionel Richie was part of the Commodores? Uh, and then he said, horribly, is that a band? <laughs> and We forget. Oh, and and after y'all fell down and got Let me tell up. you, Mr. Ryan and I will have a discussion today. That's a good one. Because if he didn't introduce you to that, okay? Yeah. He's probably missed a okay. few other wrongs. So know that I'll deal with that, okay? <laughs> uh, and then Helmsy, as if I wasn't hurt enough, Thought he would go ahead and take salt and throw it into our Commodore wound by saying, I didn't know that Lionel Richie was part of the Commodores till I was 30. Yeah. And and I knew when you asked the intern the question, he was not going to know him because I didn't until I was about 30. It, guys, it was 1982 when he broke off. They're yeah. legendary. I was four. I wasn't I wasn't alive when the Beatles. Yeah, I guess I was. I was how old were yeah. we, Greg? You know, three or four? Yeah. They broke up in 69. Right? Yeah, yeah. They, didn't, they hadn't even been a band since 69. I know who they are. Yeah, what I was five. 69? I was five when they busted up. Right? No, listen. I knew. I knew about the Commodores. I knew about Lionel Richie. I just didn't know he came from them. That was the key. Yeah, I can say that your age group. My age group, I mm. wouldn't know things. So I knew he wasn't gonna know. I just thought. I just thought. You know, like there's a lot of things I got introduced. And to. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna go this far. Y'all may have been the ones that introduced me to that. I bet we did because if you he said thirty, a, I said we played, we played a role. Yeah, their, I think their you did, outfits by the way. they had on Rick that white jumpsuit with the mirrors oh. all over it, the plates. Mate, they, oh, I thought that. Oh, you should have seen that. Ever. Live, Alapuka, they, when, they played their own instruments. Would they wasn't no sampling. Uh, <laughs> they wasn't no sampling. <laughs> no. They played their own music. There was every instrument was being played. Every instrument. And look, if they needed help, they Rick, brought it back. This hour, Commodore bed music. That's it. From the well, I didn't know this young man had no. Reference point. Well, that's why the intern program is important. I'm, is. I'm getting with Lisa. We're changing one of the dogs' name to Lionel Richie. There you go. <laughs> she's got she's got all music names. Uh, you, know, you know what was so bad? Uh, so bad. He goes, "Why would they name themselves after toilets?" I said, "No, Commodores, <laughs> not Commodores. Yeah, Commodore. Commodores, like Vandy." Oh, yeah. hey, hey, we'll take care of this. <laughs> you you better you better get your headset on. Somebody get him some Raycon earbuds. It's Commodore time. <laughs> and I want you to go Commodore. Honestly, I, I I like Lionel Richie, but his solo stuff didn't it, it didn't pull me in like, no. like I mean, Commodore. It was, it was okay. What's your a... favorite solo song by Lionel Richie? Let's see. Mm. Well, he had a bunch of them, in all fairness. Yeah, but they were they weren't Commodore. But I, no, I wish they weren't. I wish a different they, style of music. I wish they had been with the Commodores. Right. Mm -hmm. I wish they were still together. So as I pull up the Lionel Richie essentials, <laughs> okay, I, I will tell you, it's not, it's almost like you said, Greg, you know, there's songs that you like at a time of your life and then you kind of outgrow them. And then there's songs you always like because they were mm. just awesome. Yeah. See, I, I when I hear Commodore music, that doesn't age. When I hear Lionel Richie music, I'm like, mm. you're all over it. You know, I, I, I think I liked some of that when I was a kid. So let's take a look. All night long, we just, we just heard. Mm. You are. You are. The yeah, same. that's a good one. You are. The she deal. Hello. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a good video. Movie from Ballad. Never like Say You Say Me. There it is. Say it. you say me. Um, running with the Night did not like. How about Dancing on the Ceiling, Bubba? That sounds like I, you. I like Running oh, with the Night. Right. I thought Running well, with the Night was Bubba's good. Bubba's danced on and the ceiling. And there's no shocker it. there, my friend. Mm -hmm. Um. My love, my love. It's been about you, baby. That's okay. Kenny Rogers yeah. wrote that yeah. song, by the way. Sure did. Mm -hmm. Or he wrote. No, it no, he, he, he wrote, wrote Lady. Kenny, he it? wrote Lady. Yeah, he wrote that for Kenny and then did it. Yeah. So, did you know Kenny Rogers wrote Lady? 
No, I'm just kidding. Lionel wrote, wrote Lady, and then Kenny wrote My Love, Nate, and they went back and forth. I don't know. So there we go. Um, all right, so we'll we'll handle the Commodore thing. Don't don't be concerned about that. We'll we'll solve that. Uh, My dad's gonna be disappointed that I admitted that on air. I know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> of course, this has come from a man that just got a debit card, so yeah, can't really <laughs> not, say a whole not a lot he could say. And no. He think, and he thought he was sharp with it too, didn't he? If you don't think our society has is aged, what we were talking about earlier, mm-hmm. you know, the futuristic stuff. Mm-hmm. Dad now has a cell phone. Twenty twenty three has been a big year for him. Cell phone, debit card, mm-hmm. all this year. Yep. Wow. I think wow. he's frustrated with his pin number, but that's entirely different. That's a whole different thing. He's gonna go to ten eighty. Yeah. Uh, quick, too. You, yeah. you were talking about but watching Lionel. everything in 720. You're talking about Lionel Hits. What is your favorite Commodore? My favorite Commodore. Back it up. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I actually, this is not good. What about be, Lady? This you is, like it? it was okay. I, it, it, that, that was upbeat. I really, really honestly can say that the song Easy can come on yes, at any time, anywhere. And I will listen to it. I also, when you think about the ones Sweet that, Love, that Sweet were, Love was good. Yeah, it was not as popular. I love Sweet Love. Say Along. Uh, sell yeah, on. I like sell, I like on. sell okay. on. Everybody likes three times yeah, a lady. Yeah. That's a given. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, slipper and wet. Steel Slipper and is good. good. Machine gun. <laughs> yeah. We used it for machine uh, gun is great. Yeah. It's, it's kind of weird because it's, it's instrumental. Yeah, I was a little kid. I didn't know I shouldn't have been singing too hot to trot. But it was a it, it was a snappy song. <laughs> I didn't know what it meant, uh, but I was singing away. Yeah. Did how, you realize until the lyrics came out? I never could get the lyric right and easy, and I begged, stole, and I borrowed. Yeah. I couldn't figure out what he was saying. I begged, stole, and I borrowed. And I was just like, what is he saying? Wow. And in those days, when you were trying to learn songs, you just kept listening to them. You tried to figure it out because there was nowhere to go find lyrics. Yeah. You know, if they decided to put it in the album, you, some did, some didn't. And you would go, what is he saying? And I remember the first time, and now, of course, I can hear it. But, but for years, I just thought, what is he mumbling right there? But easy to me, I would say is probably one of the best songs of all time. Um, of course, they, you know, you could tell Lionel wrote it. He didn't have kids because there's nothing easy about a Sunday morning. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, what about High on Sunshine? Don't know that one. They listed as one of their top 10 uh, hits. And I, I'm not oh, familiar that, with is it. Is that either. after he left and they tried to do something I, I don't without know. him? No, it was 76. Do you ever do you like Night Shift and all that when the Commodores tried to do their own thing? Well, and they brought the guy from Heat Wave in to try to be it, Lionel? You, you know, it was good, but it was different, you mm-hmm. know. I mean, I, I I'm like you. I grew up Commodores with Lionel, so mm-hmm. that's that's always going to be to some degree my favorite. Right. I, I'm you know I, I'm a band guy, but I understand why Lionel had to go. I I don't like it, but I understand it. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, if if, if I think if all of them hit the stage together, even at 73, we would probably like that presentation better. Yeah. yeah. Because okay. there could be a lot going on, and Lionel could just blend. Lionel mm-hmm. could just blend a little bit. Right. You know, believe it or not. Brick House, you know, was was a great Commodore song. It's right. probably the most popular. Yeah, Brick House. Do you know Brick House? But... You ever heard Brick House? Okay, you, you heard. Oh, look, he's got him up <laughs> yeah. in there. But for some <laughs> reason, and I hate to say that that song has gotten old to me. It's like it's like I don't. I'd rather hear. Mm, but Rick, really? if it comes I'd rather on, hear Sweet Love than Brick. But Rick, if it comes on and you're in a group, everybody's gonna sing it. Yeah. Why, just as loud as they moving can. around like they mm. shouldn't be. Just to be close to you, I like that. Yeah. Just, just to, to be, be close. close. Cause I like any time that Lime go wow. I like any time they go wow wow. Yeah. Ow. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. We gotta. Won't you find High on Sunshine? Let's hear. It I've never back. heard of it in my no, whole life. I haven't either. That's mm-hmm. all we're here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about Sanctified? That's Lionel right there. Sanctified. I said Sanctified. I said I feel Sanctified. sanctified. Come on. What about Get Out of My Dreams and Get Into My Car? Oh, that's good. That's a Billy Idol. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't know what happened. Week Rick, two. we all remember what happened to Sonny Jurgensen with the Redskins. Sure we do, Bob. <laughs> yeah, that. I have no idea. I, 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 and the Billy Kilmer Billy thing. Kilmer came in and what bumped what him out with that one face mask. And then mark. Kilmer got bumped out by <laughs> Theisman. <laughs> Theisman. Yeah, same face same, mask. Same, same face mask. Do you have to wear the one bar if you're a Washington well, quarterback? Remember that. Billy Kilmer may be the ugliest quarterback I've ever seen play. Yeah. yeah. And a uniform. Did you? Yeah, well, Sonny Jefferson wasn't very pretty either. Yeah, I, so I don't remember him at all. Yeah, I'm barely, 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 Let me ask you a question to, f- to flip the script. Is is, it, is there been a quarterback that y'all can remember that pulled a George from Seinfeld and said, all right, that's it, and he left at the right time? For, uh, for the same team? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. The, the, what did the, Elway The Bronco. Do? Elway. Yeah, yeah he, Elway. he went out on the Super Bowl. What about really? Roger Staubach? No? Did, did, was it starting? Everybody uh, starting to retire him? Down? Down? I don't remember. I what about Bradshaw? Did he stay too long? I don't remember. No, I think I'm he, going way back now. I know, but I think he went. I don't remember him being forced. I, I don't remember him playing for, for another else. team. I don't either. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so, what was the worst play for another team move? Joe Montana in the Chiefs uniform. No offense, uh, Speedy, mm. or Emmett Smith in the Cardinal uniform. Ooh, I'm gonna Emmett say that Emmett. No, Emmett Smith. I'm gonna say Kenny Stabler to the Saints when they were. Well, terrible. I can't even acknowledge that. You're right. That's so I mean, terrible. You went, you went from oh, Oakland wow. owning it and Super Bowl wins to the Saints and just, I mean, they had no hope. Did he end up at the Oilers too before it was done? Yeah, he may have done the Oilers too for a while. Yeah, that's, a, that's trouble. Yeah, nice. But y'all, it Emmett, was Saints. Did he play for the Emmett Saints? Emmett Smith. That's yeah. Oh, yeah. Can Absolutely. I be clear? You know what I did not know, and that's the reason why these inside the NFL stories really helped me a lot, or no, uh, what is it called, a football life? I didn't know, and a lot of those legends will pull this off. Montana did it too. They they might even have a bad first season on the new team, but right before they leave, they have one more season to show you what they could do. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize Montana did. I didn't, did. didn't carry the Chiefs to the playoffs. Yeah. Well, did you know Jerry Rice? Did y'all know that he played with the Seahawks for no, a year? It's so I weird. Know. I had that. He up. did I'm not. Just looking at he that. Did yeah, not. 2004. He did. We all know he went to the Raiders, but I had no idea. Uh, the Seahawks. He did not play for the Seahawks. And he was <laughs> on a practice squad in the off season for the Denver Broncos the next year. Boy, Jerry was hanging on, wasn't he? Wow. Mm. Mm. Hang Jerry. See that you can't. keep some things to yourself. I Jerry know. Rice on a practice squad. That I mean, I just I don't yeah, even think I can. Watch that was payback that. for the That's man treasonous. earlier. Yeah, thanks, buddy. That's but the uh, but you're but you're right. Um, that that. It, but I didn't know that Emmett really did romp and stomp for the Cardinals one did more, he? one more time before. I didn't he know it. I didn't I, either. I, that they, was back they, when nobody ever watched the Cardinals. As a matter of fact, no, they credited him for setting up the Cardinals for the run they would have. That he, as a veteran, uh, helped that team kind of get their act together. Let me I, ask I, you this: I didn't know that. I thought that was a total disaster, I did didn't too. you? And I it was know. the first year, by the way. I didn't know it. I was trying to think of another. He rushed. He rushed for I think right right at a thousand his last year. Hmm. I, I, I did, but it was only one year. He was, yeah, that was it. That was it. Now he doesn't consider himself a Cardinal. Don't misunderstand me. No, but I'm, I'm talking about he showed himself that hey, I still had a little bit left. How about Dan Marino being able to pull off and stay a uh, golfing the whole time? But no Super Bowl championship. Right. Sorry, Ryan. Went to the Super Bowl as a rookie and never went back. Really hurts him too. Saw his his, his special. Really bothers him. And everybody Remember keeps, his last game. Everybody keeps bringing him up. Too. Uh, Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. I don't know what well, the story, uh, honestly, this is a visual story, and this story doesn't have a lot of pictures with it. It's hard to, you know, know exactly what they're talking about here. I mean, I know in general. No, I think you're all over it, Rick. Uh, the owners, once once they saw the uniforms on the staff, they was like, hey, right. Well, we need uh, some younger waitresses here. Right. And if you had a better attitude and for some reason you didn't have ugly lips, we might feel different. I don't give, I don't look at lips that much. I, ne- yeah, I ne- we talked I, about that. I, I don't know. I never notice lips. Like I've never, mm-hmm. not many people say, Hey man, that's an ugly lips. Now I know there's some surgeries going bad mm-hmm. that we look at mm-hmm. and we, we notice that, but mm-hmm. well, I know that loose lips, I mean, sink, are my sink, lips ugly? <laughs> sink ships. I do know that. I mean, what do my lips look like? Am I walking around with ugly lips? I, I had, I don't, I've never had any, <laughs> I've never I've, looked at your lips. I've had no, no reaction to your lips yeah, one way or the other. I didn't even know you had them. Yeah, that's Who, I assumed um, you had them because you talked. That's I know. <laughs> and of course, Greg brought up and people, whistle people that have no lips. Yeah, where they you they, know, they thin they, lip. Greg, why are you always you got, the, thin. you got those thin lip people. Yeah, but I don't ever down know, I don't up. really notice that. They either. talk a little bit like this. <laughs> Who on staff's got the biggest lips? I, I I don't know. I wish we wouldn't. Hey, I wish we wouldn't talk about Bubba's that. Bubba's got some soup coolers. <laughs> 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 I, I don't like Adler. Let me see. I don't list. like this line, this conversation at all. I don't either. No, I, 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 I mean, I hate it's every in the minute. story. I'm hating every minute of it. <laughs> look at me. Ah. You can't hit that. Note. See where. 
21 minutes past the hour. All I want is to be stone free. I've never heard this song by a lot. That neither. Have you? I, I said it's one of their best ones. I like it, but I've never heard it. It's a good song. I like when Lyle will sing like that. I did, yeah. too. I did, too. Please. No, Walter Orange would sing whatever now and then. Like Walter Orange sang Brickhouse. Brick House. Brickhouse is Walter Orange. The drummer. Okay. I, I like it. I like it, yeah. but I've never heard it. I know. I can't it believe is, we hadn't uh, heard it. Well, thank you, uh, uh, Research. Yeah. So that's good. Of course, I just get a shot down, but yeah. Uh, well, I, I've never heard that song, uh, but I like it. So it we'll, we'll, we'll continue that, and we'll try to educate ah. the youngsters. Uh, Bubba, what do we do? And, you know, it, sometimes it's been very, very uncomfortable on the show when the mob see something horrible like this, and, and we want something done, uh, and we want somebody to pay the price, and we take away everything they have without due process. And then after we destroyed their lives, we find out, oh, okay, so they didn't do that. Uh, what I don't know how to say his last name. Is it Araza? Uh, uh, Araza? Ariza. Ariza. That right, Speedy? Matt, Matt Ariza. Matt Ariza, who you know had come out of college and became the Buffalo Bills punter. Uh, he makes it to the NFL. Unfortunately, a horrible incident that happened uh, at a party when he was still in college he was tied to it. We now know that he wasn't there. Uh, but so the Bills get rid of him. The NFL gets rid of him. Uh, he hasn't had his day in court. Now unsealed documents show he had left this party more, uh, around an hour before the horrible incident uh, took place. Um, and there's no way he was part of it. But do we just say to Matt Ariza, hey, sorry about that, our bad? I mean, damage uh, is done, huh? Uh, so, what, what, I guess what you I don't just to get to go back and make an NFL roster at this point. No. You know? So, when we, when we do this to people unjustly, what do we do now? Right. Well, yeah. again, it, it kind of goes back to this thing, and, you know, we're terrible at it, uh, mm -hmm. everyone in mm -hmm. the country, that you're innocent till proven guilty. So, um, you know, there's so much pressure on the NFL with uh, with women's issues and things that, that, you know, it's become now if you're accused of something, they get rid of you when, again, you're supposed to be innocent till proven guilty, no matter how heinous or whatever. And this was a terrible. Uh, oh, it's horrible. Thing that, the the, the, that, the uh, way the behavior here was animalistic that he was tied to, but yeah. he but he really wasn't there. But he didn't do it. Right. And so j just because it was a horrible incident doesn't mean that we that we treat him unjustly. Uh, and, and those who did it should be put away and, and should be put in jail and should pay a horrible price for what they did. But he didn't do it. Did you know he was the Ray guy winner mm -hmm. in college as college, college's yeah, best punter? Yeah, he's considered one of the best college punters we've ever had. Yeah. Where did he Phenom. Phenom. San and, Diego State. And came to the Bills and beat out the veteran as soon as he got there. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and yeah. then this happens. Yeah. He, and he gets tied. And they immediately get rid of him. And they immediately get rid of him for the reasons you mentioned, Bubba, all on a public relations. But that that's not the way it's supposed to work. And you even heard Nancy Pelosi say uh, in a Freudian slip when the, some accusations were made against Trump, you know, that we remember all that. Of course, those haven't stuck either. When she said, well, he'll have to prove that he's not guilty. Yeah, he'll have no. to stay in court to prove he's innocent. Yeah. 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 yeah no, you, you're supposed to prove he's guilty. <laughs> Uh, we, we are supposed to be innocent and true, proven guilty. You say that you're changing the judicial system the burden, the burden. to you're guilty, and it's your job to prove you're innocent. That's not how our court system is supposed to work. But that's what we did to Matt, and we've we've taken away his ability to make a great living as one of the well the best punter in the country uh, for the Bills over something he didn't do. So what do we do for Matt now? Is he young enough? Is he young enough that somebody will let him? Come and try it again. Yeah, maybe what get on year team? was that? He was let go. Twenty twenty two. Just this past season. Yeah. So maybe yeah, I remember the story on it. Maybe he can pick up and get on mm -hmm. with somebody else. But do we do we clean up his reputation? Do we? Is there some big public apology? I mean, there's got to be something. Well, it's it's a whole lot more difficult to go back and clean up the mess after the the mess has been made, Rick. And when it comes to 
PR. We all know that. Right. You know, the allegations will be on the front page. The correction will be on page seven. Right. So uh, it, it'll be tough. So uh, so anyway, so I, I hope for his sake, you know, I hope the people who did this, that there's justice for this young lady. And I hope that this man who was innocent, he's really only guilty of being at a party that maybe looking back he shouldn't have gone to. But to his credit, what he he didn't do anything criminal. No, and and he, he left, and he left a, a, an hour before anything like this happened. So, um, he he's had a a public relations nightmare over something he didn't do. So yeah, and and lost a contract. I, even if he yeah. gets back right Vegas. now, it was one thing to be the Ray Guy winner coming out signing with the team that wanted you and needed to get, needed a punter. As opposed to, oh, you're the one that they, that they had those allegations against, and now you're innocent. Well, we'll let you come to one of our camps. Yeah, yeah and we'll pay yeah. you whatever we want yeah, to. And we'll, we'll do. Yeah, and from the picture I'm looking at, uh, Pee Wee Herman called wants his hair back. Greg, that, that, we'll see that, why would you see that? Pee Wee Herman. Of all we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's the exact same hair day. Yeah, it is. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it is. Yeah, Does but, that, but, I don't like Pee Wee Herman. Greg, mm. why kick a man like that? He's been through a lot, Greg. <laughs> he yeah, Greg, he just lost his job. Worries. Right. In the world. Right, Don't yeah. kick a man while he's down. No right. punching term. I've noticed. I've noticed. <laughs> Don't punch a man time while he's down. Yeah. Right. We talk about the puppies. The next segment, we can expect this from you. I know. <laughs> he goes. Huh? He goes into defense mode. He does. Yeah. 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 Like an injured I got, puppy. I got to stop because my ice cream on the way. <laughs> Greg, have you written down everything you need to do for those puppies? Today? <laughs> well, I was going to get ice cream on the way home, but Lisa. Then she read another article that said it wasn't good. Okay. So it canceled out, but. She read one that's good that she feeds the dog eggs every morning because she does that, and that is actually considered good. Now, making her lay down and letting them nurse, it's not helping there. Hmm. I give it five minutes or less before someone sends you an email that says giving eggs is a bad thing. I know. We'll hear it, mm-hmm. but, but we're going. That's the thing. You, anything you try, there's, there's, there's you always that Greg would tear off in that ice cream on the oh, way home. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Knowing oh, the dog's hey. going to eat out oh, of it. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I didn't realize the impact you had on things like pound cake until somebody brought some when you were on vacation. And uh, and there was a lot of it left. It stuck around. It yeah. stuck around for a few days. I love, what was that recipe we were all going nuts about? Yeah. Uh, good. At one point, I saw Bubba with a piece of pound cake and cookies as a side. Yeah. <laughs> After eating breakfast. Just to keep himself busy between bites. Yeah. 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 Change up. Like you'd have like you'd have some mashed potatoes over there with cookies. My favorite was when at the old studio, the McDonald's was ten minutes, fifteen for the whole trip, there and back. And he would eat two Pop Tarts while waiting on the McDonald's. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's 10, 15, you need look. Is that yeah. the new puppy? Is that well, the current we're stu- missing two in the picture. I'm not sure what that's about. Oh, boy. That's, okay, they're getting bigger. That's six of them right there. Yeah, that one at the bottom, that's the big one. He's mm-hmm. bigger than everybody else. I like that. You've got a you know, nice red backdrop. Now it's more photogenic. Yeah, isn't you. that pretty how that color pop? Mm-hmm. Is that Don't, the one you keep in old gray? Greg, one thing missing in the kidding. picture, Greg, I bet you wish was in there, and that's the mama laying down on her side. Yeah, I wish <laughs> that you could, you could see udders <laughs> coming up from the top. Yeah. <laughs> In the first week, it was constant. She laid there. I mean, every time he went out there, they were... Well, she thinks it's time to cut them loose. Yeah, <laughs> she's done with it about as much as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom of the hour, 866, we be big. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Hey, let me see your lips. Mm-mm. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> mm, hide mine in the beard. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing with a restaurant uh, problems, Buffalo Wild Wings manager oh, yeah. is fired after a video showed him choking a very drunk customer until he collapsed. Mm. I, I, I guess. That, yeah, but Rick, this thing. I mean, if you got a drunk customer, they don't tell him what he was. Well, doing. That, that's what I'm wondering. This he thing, probably just decided to put an end to it. You're right. It? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, it says they're they're having words with the patron, Bubba. To your point, right before 11 p.m. The manager suddenly grabs the man by the throat. I'm going to guess over something the man said or tried to do. Yeah, he may be bothering other patrons there. Pins him against the wall and keeps him there until he collapses to the floor. But that would solve the obnoxious drunk. Once they've collapsed, you can pretty much handle them. He said the manager and the other worker then dragged the customer's limp body away. Uh, They're saying that the patron was very drunk and, Bubba, to your point, creating chaos. So, See, I want a manager to do that. If I'm in there and he's got some drunk idiot. I would too. I, I don't like. Said I don't like rowdy fella. drunks, Rick. Golly, I don't said like. there was a little fella in there screaming. This is a family restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> this that's is good. a family restaurant. Calm down. Uh, so <laughs> I, I, I guarantee you, and we don't know. We don't have the video of it, but I, no, I yeah, guarantee I you that this guy, 
Well, you don't, I mean, the whole situation, what went on, probably he got a standing ovation when he did it, if I had to guess. Well, they're saying that choking a drunk to he passes out does not embody the Buffalo <clears throat> Wild Wings culture. But I will tell you this, for those of us who have ever had to deal with a drunk person who wouldn't leave everybody <clears throat> alone, you kind of find yourself, Bubba, to your point, I know, I kind, know, kind I of know cheering, how he feels. Kind yep. of cheering for the manager who's trying to give us a uh, mm. a little better eating environment. That's a good choke code he's got. I thought it was Bobby Knight for just a minute. Yeah, I get nothing on. I thought it was Bobby. Knight. I'm sorry, that's good. I know it's a little. I know faded. you. You're, I know it's you're hot little, on Bobby Knight <laughs> today, Rick. Look, look, got I, a lot of Bobby Knight. Yeah. Oh wow, oh, he, he goes down pretty hard yeah, there. He it's he's a pretty out. good choke, by the way. Yeah. Oh, he's out. Yep. There he goes. You can tell he's been over uh. with doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu himself. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Good night. They just drug him off like a deer. <laughs> <laughs> well, see that? There's no nice <laughs> way. There's him? no nice way to drag off somebody that's passed out. I mean, it's just not a good way to do it. Look at look at him go down. No I nice wonder where one. he ended up at. Uh, back there, probably. his car. Well, if you you could just get him outside and just yeah. just say we're you know call let's call somebody or something and they can't breathe. Get but undoubtedly, the manager, it's very obvious, came to the conclusion <laughs> that he had had enough of yeah, whatever yeah. the drunk was he doing. Was done. Can we all agree on that? I thought he might be fighting back a little bit more. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is kind of weird. And- <laughs> He was kind of just a drunk guy standing there, and somebody okay. choked him out. Drake, okay, maybe that does not embody the, the well, culture like of public we, we don't Drake, know grab the horns. Let's go. <laughs> but I know this. I, I, I want to go in there and eat because I know he won't put up with no foolishness. No, he will not. I don't, hey, don't I, stumble. I tell you what, though, if, I get, if, he, if my order's wrong, I'm not going to make a fuss about it. Yeah. <laughs> and don't stumble if he may think you've been drinking. It's what? like that time we went to eat at the safest place in Texas. You remember that? Oh, yes, oh, I yeah. do. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Look at, look at Al, Alapaga. 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 Alapuka. Alapisha. Look at Alapisha. No. Alapuka. Look Alapuka. at him move. Look at him move. He can't help but move to it. Look at yeah, That's right. That's it. He knows about the Commodore. It's a new day now. Huh? He said he already put it on his iPhone. There you go. Of course, you don't realize how bad Lionel sounded a minute ago until you go back and hear all this. Oh, I know it, right? <laughs> but you can't sound that way, bro. I know. Oh, yeah. 
Mean Machine. Yep. The brass section was called the Mean Machine. Mm-hmm. Yep, back them up. Uh, HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. This time of year, everybody's looking to spend more time out in the sunshine. And you know what? Meal planning can be Debbie Downer. Uh, but not if you use HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. They deliver chef-crafted recipes right to the door, pre-portioned and ready to cook. Not only does this save you hassle of making grocery store lists and meal planning, saves you money too. HelloFresh is actually cheaper than grocery shopping, even if you're a pretty picky eater. HelloFresh has that, and they get that. They have meal plans that suit your lifestyle. Their uh, produce travels from the farm to your door in less than seven days, so you know it's fresh. Uh, new dish. Over 400 weekly recipes, over 100 add-ons like snacks and desserts. You'll always find something new to enjoy. So what in the world are you waiting on? Join America's number one meal kit today. Get 16 free meals plus free shipping with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba or RickandBubba.com under the Sponsors button. Bubba, I understand that we have a congratulations to actor Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro just welcomed his seventh child. Is that what I told you? At 79 years old. Come on now, Robert. Guys. Come Bobby. Huh? 79? Come on. Who do you think he is? Thomas Edison? <laughs> and they really, the, the story did not actually know who the mom was. You know, because he got divorced not too long ago from his longtime wife. Yeah. So he's out there on his own. Tell you what, he got to run a little wild. Does he know who the mom is? <laughs> well, I'm but I'm but I mean, the uh, <laughs> who in the world? Seventy nine. Yep. How about that? See, this is stuff I told y'all. Viagra is a yeah. curse. It's a curse. <laughs> I mean, ain't no seventy nine year old man got any business. He needs yeah. to be focused on dying. <laughs> you know it, and uh, get get it, get his act together. Get get, get clarity of mind, and uh, finish well. And so, all right. So let's say that. So we don't know about De Niro's health, but so the baby is born at 79. Yeah. So just, just say 80. It'll be easier to uh, round it let's, off. Let's go to 80. So the baby, he's got to get to 85 to even get five years with the baby. Right. Okay. He's yeah. got to get to 90 for the baby to even be 10. Yeah. Okay. And he, no way he sees 20. Because he ain't going to 100. No, he um, yeah. He might see him start school. He'll Maybe. Never see, never see him drive a car. Can you imagine? You know how old his older sister is? The oldest? She's 51. Unbelievable. This, that's his baby <laughs> sick. Good and he's night. got a brother that's 46. <laughs> Good gracious. Another one is 27. Now we're getting there. Yeah. Two, yeah. Or that's the twins, I guess, two 27s. Mm, yeah. And a 24. Can you imagine... Can you honestly imagine? And an 11-year-old. I want you to imagine this. You yeah, are, man. you're six, okay, and you're going to the nursing home to see your big sister. <laughs> Later. <laughs> That's <I> not <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I mean, was it, this is, this came, I mean, and I have to go back to it. I, mean, I love him and me, the, the Falkers. <laughs> oh, he, look, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't this is, this is, and this is the entertainment business. I don't like the person, no, but I like his ability. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, and, and he's and, excellent. But, but I, I don't like the person. I like his character in that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, yeah. but he's, uh, <laughs> he's got a body of work out there. Oh, he does. You know, and, and, but, but it's just, um, and, and I usually like him as an actor in yeah. something, but the person, and, and I have to go back to, I understand that, that's, it, I hate this, this is a terrible thing what I'm about to say, and I acknowledge that. You know, I've seen some of the horrifying deposition videos they're putting out with Trump, and, and, they're, and they're, they're, it's just, he's so, so, so frank. Uh -huh. um, and, and really, the thing that he said in the video that is, was highly offensive even when they asked him about it, he said, "Well, it's sad, but it's true." And 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 I and I now see that you know when you're 79 and you're Robert De Niro, I mean, what Trump said is true. I mean, it, it's a celebrity. It, it will oh, yeah. it it will it will open doors. Yeah, yeah, knocks down a lot of walls, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, if you ask a woman uh, of, of of any age, really, but really especially one that is you know young enough to have babies, uh, so that gets her in certain category. Yeah, we don't yeah, know her exact yeah. age. Yeah. Um, Hey, would you like to go out with this seventy-nine-year-old, eighty-year-old man? The question, the, the normal, she said, "You talking about like a celebrity? No, just just an eighty-year-old man. No way. Mm -hmm. It's no. Robert De Niro. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> so Mick Jagger. Hey, yeah. where are we going? Yeah. So so there is something. It's it, it like like it's all unfortunate, yeah. and and that kind of locker room talk is not something a, a grown man should be participating in. But 
the actual truth of the matter, it, it you know, Greg was so. I, have you seen the deposition when he's asked about it? I haven't read. Really, I've seen parts. Have of you it. seen the one where that, where where he basically tells the interviewer that he doesn't think she's attractive either? Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, not my type. He said. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. Oh, if, you have it right here. I don't know if that's a great response. Greg, Greg, please pay attention to this right here. When you said in that video that Ms. Leeds would not be your first choice, you were referring to her physical looks, correct? Just the overall. Not. I, I look at her. I see her. I hear what she says, whatever. You wouldn't be a choice of mine either, to be honest with you. I hope you're not insulted. I would not, under any circumstances, have any interest in you. I'm, be, I'm honest when I say it. Uh, she, I would not have any interest in. That's nothing. <laughs> so much better than I thought. Wow. Did you also wow. say, I hope you're not insulted by that. Right. Okay, I, I, just because you say it don't mean I won't be insulted. Did you see him kind of uh, mess up when they showed him that picture? And it was actually the picture of the woman that accused him when she was younger, and he thought it was his wife, Marla. Did he really? Yeah. He goes, this is my wife, Marla? I don't know. Oh, uh, no, that's, that's her, the one that's not right. your type. <laughs> right. Yeah. Golly. His right. whole. Gary, frankly, you wouldn't be. There'll be none insulted about that. There'll be none about that. It's in his mind, Rick. I'm excused of sexual assault. Well, she's not my type. <laughs> right. Well, so it's, what if she would have been your type? But I, and we can't play the thing where she brings up the quote again no, about celebrity. No, but no. what, Greg, what but I, he takes, but he, I Greg, saw that yeah, part. He takes the angle, though, Greg. Well, I mean, th there's truth. It's sad. He sad that, sad yeah. that things are that not way. Not proud of that. Not but proud of true. that, but it is yeah. true. <clears throat> And uh, so, so Robert De Niro has. The brutal honesty is something you just, you just, you forget how brutally honest yeah. it was, you know? Well, it's just, uh, Greg, uh, my favorite, though, is saying, I hope you're not insulted by that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, under no circumstance would I be attracted to you at all. I hope you're not insulted. <laughs> you're not insulted, <laughs> I think you're really ugly. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> just, just in case you're wondering. Did you see where the judge uh, has restricted Trump from posting anything on social media when it comes to the Stormy Daniels case and the hush money and all this kind of stuff? So... The accusers can can send whatever they want, but he can't he can't defend himself or have post anything about payments or information about mm -hmm. the case. A judge handed that down yesterday. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. there you go. All right. So, uh, and maybe he needs to ban everybody. Right. You Look, I, I don't know what to do with Trump. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, where, who I, I does? Don't, I don't. I don't hey, Greg, know. no one does. Nobody does. Nobody knows. Nobody. Knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> you'll be just you'll look at him and go yes, and then all of a sudden you'll go what. Right. What are you talking about? Right. It's almost like you get, like we talk about, <clears throat> don't have a pet that can take you. People are like, you know, it, this pet is so cool, though, I'm I'm willing to risk it. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it can turn on me at any moment. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's exactly how it is. Oh, yeah, you go out there and get your picture made with Trump. You could just be so proud of it. Also, somebody says, did you see what Trump did? What? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He did what? He, what? <laughs> what? Uh, wow. So, yeah, it, it's, wow. uh, yeah it, you probably want to keep a certain, like I, I call, you know, I, there's people that you, you know really well. There's people that are acquaintances, and then there's people that are strangers. Then there's people that you know them, but they're arm. They keep an arm's distance to them. I don't. They can't get too close to you. Yeah. You know, and uh, so he's probably in that category. Probably. Yeah. But um, but he's a character. Good. Not a character. Yeah. I mean, they're just so. And and a lot of people love him for the fact that he just he is that frank. It's he's he's a classic case of the the very thing like our show. Sometimes the very thing you love about it will be the very thing you don't like. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You know, you're right. It, it, and a lot of times he needs to stop about three words yeah. from the end and yeah. leave those out. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. What, stop right there. Yeah. When yeah. we come back, it's like we, yeah, that's right. That's oh no. Because yeah, he'll throw one in late in a minute. We have a Bud Light update, Rick. Oh yeah. More numbers. Oh my goodness. And. Not good news for Anheuser Busch. What? 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 We got it? some spillover effect. What an oh. idiotic! Uh, we'll be right yeah. back. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Got really deep things, and that's the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And uh, yesterday, Bubba, I was. You know, like sometimes you you have a short day here, sometimes you have a medium day here, and then sometimes you may have a long day here, and. And I, I know you were doing some stuff with, with technically yesterday, so you and I were here a little bit longer than normal, and then I had something I had to finish and stayed there for that. And, and so there, there's this thing where the, the offices will get empty, uh, meaning that everybody's gone. Uh, but in some cases, the guys have gone to work out, but then they come back before they leave. Now, Adler has the longest day of everybody because of his responsibilities on archives and all that and on-demand stuff. So he's usually the last one to leave, and, and I was still kind of here on his time. 
So I heard, you know, the Good Time Gang, the kickoff hour guys, come got back. Got to yucking it up. Got to yucking it up out in the hall. They, yeah. some, some it reason, they some reason tried to drag former intern Hobie into it. Yeah. <laughs> and so have you ever been in the middle of something and you hear a ruckus and you say, I'm not going to get up and stop right. what I'm doing. Right. I'm not going in there. Because if you're still here, you're doing something. Yeah. Right. And I said, I'm going to finish. If I don't do this, I'm never going to finish what I'm doing, and I would like to finish it and, mm-hmm. and be done with the day. Sure. So I will not be pulled in there to their horseplay or ruckus in Adler's studio. Well, yeah. well then then the, the screaming and the hollering and the jumping up and down became so intense, I couldn't stay in my office. I had to go. You something was I had to go had look. To, I had to go. Wow, and, and we and we've watched uh, Adler a number of times in some of the videos, which I don't. I guess he's videoing himself to try to improve. Uh, I, on, I, I on, think it's a bad idea on Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Mm-hmm. That's the way spot. you get better, Rick. Yeah, but don't show it to this spot. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I think Adler there's meant, some awkward positions in jiu-jitsu. Yeah, there I, is. I think Adler just meant for y'all to see some basic stuff, and there was there was one move <laughs> that that happened to him. <laughs> On the video, I don't think he intended it by anybody to see because there's no way any of us would have seen it then showed it to somebody. Well, he just you made the statement. I hope y'all can remember it because you'll never see it again. Ever. Adder, please let Come us on, see it again. Adler. Just one more time. Please. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. He's got it. He's, he's not, he's he's not going to He show does. It. He's got yeah, it. But he's I heard him saying to y'all, I hope it's burned in your memory because you'll never see it again. Come oh, on, man. Oh, my gosh, here it is. Look. But but is there audio he's gonna on? Cut he's it fighting Webby. Yeah, he's fighting. Yeah, he's He's going to cut it off when he gets his good part. He's fighting the actual instructor. I thought his gi was white. Well, he's moved to a black gi now. He's, he's moved a up a little bit. Oh, is he in a blue one? Yeah. The the, the bad guys wore black in well, the movies. He's always. a bad guy. But see, nothing. This is pre- well, it's somewhat normal. But, I mean, see, that's, wrestling, that right there is awkward enough. Well, wrestling lends itself to. Uh, he took it off. He ain't going to show us. He will not show us. The Adler, market. show us the rest of it. When, when, we, when we came in. Let me tell you this. If you see what we saw yesterday, <laughs> your, day, your day's about to change. <laughs> I mean, what Come happened, Adler, Bo? Let's see. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here we uh, go. He stood up, and Adler is still on him. Okay, like a spider monkey. Show it, Ad. <laughs> Hang on, just one more time. <laughs> no, no, okay, no. Wait, we can roll it. Wait, 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 it's, wait. All, it's already got both. Oh, Adler! <laughs> Show that, Adler. <laughs> he pulled it off. Never see it. <laughs> you will never see it. Never Come on, Ad. Ad, just on. show it. Show it. Show it. Show it. Show it. You're going show on vacation. It. Show, show it. it. You're show about to be it. gone. You can go ride your motorcycle to it. goes out of your memory. Hey, Bubba, I, was try- let me, I was trying to let sneak me say it. it. I got a little bit more. You'll never see it. Adler. <laughs> Bubba, do you remember when Gary was getting that deer out of that gate? Yes. It's the same it's type the same of move. Oh. You'll never see it. Speedy, don't you go in there. Did you, Speedy, you go in there and roll this it. Show. You need to stay in this show. Speedy. <laughs> Speedy. <laughs> Lock, Lock him. Lock him. Lock him. Lock him. Lock him. <laughs> Here he goes. Speedy, look, Speedy's trying to hit play. He must, I don't think Speedy knows how to run I, the new yeah, I started to say, <laughs> I don't know if Adler's show. worried about that or just the fact we could go off there. Yeah, right? Adler, don't worry. Speedy's going to go. He's going to be a bull in the china shop and break something in there. But this is the kind of stuff Speedy lives for, to have something like this on you. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? You think he'll run it over and over and over <laughs> again. Oh, what are you talking you know? about? Well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's unbelievable. The way, the way he feels right now, Bubba, and you're in a tough position we right now. We all can you, quote Mr. Allen word <laughs> look, for Bubba, word. Bubba, 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 look. Bubba, wait, 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 wait. It's worse than I thought. It is. It is. I thought I thought y'all were talking about he had him around his waist. I wow. forgot you had seen it either. Wait a minute. That. Webby was trying to shake him off of him. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wow. How'd you talk him into letting you do it, Speedy? Speedy, what happened? How did you get Speedy, we just saw it. Oh, there's a – wow. Now, Webby's wow. really been rough with Adler. Now, can you throw elbows in this? I thought this was. <sighs> look, 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 look. <laughs> Why wow. is he doing this to, to Adler? It's, I don't know if we should let this happen. Have no. you some foot there, Adler? They, I mean, because he's really no. being kind smell of. It, smell I, it, smell it, smell it. I've watched this so when many Adler times. Adler was hanging backwards upside down with that hair. <laughs> We're back. Uh, Ten minutes to the top of the hour. Rick and Bubba show. Thank you for being with us today. Tomorrow, Lord willing, uh, live from Greystone. Uh, it is a. Uh, it is tomorrow. It's been a long-standing tradition 
here on the program, the Celebrity Pro-Am tomorrow, the, the show on location. While on location, anything can happen. Tubers, no uh, live stream for you, but uh, Abner will put together, as he does, a documentary of our time there and give you some highlights, and you'll have that out uh, you know, in the next day or so, so you can go back and, and, and catch that. So find a way to listen to the show, either live or archived, tomorrow. So, um, and, and Speedy will play and Bubba will go with that group and we'll get an update on that. And we'll, we have, a, there's a lot of different celebrities that are scheduled to come by. Look at sometimes three of them come by at the same time. Oh, it's it awkward couple. as I'm trying to, we're trying to make sure all of them get enough air time, but we'll, you know what we do? There's, there, I know Speedy, it drives you crazy because we try to, you want it so bad to be planned and I appreciate that. And, and I love that commitment. But but there's only so much we can do. Yeah, you know, and yeah. a lot of it just it just happens on the fly. Yeah, I had that conversation with Taylor yesterday about you know she knows our segment times and our our commercial break times, but all it takes is one celebrity being late mm-hmm. because of traffic and here or, we go or yeah. whatever, and now before you know it, he's pulling up or it's feast or know, famine always. And it's just like, yeah. now we got you know. Oh, the awkward is when I'm putting the celebrity playoff where that's a bigger celebrity than this one, <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. and the and the bigger celebrity showed up late and is now in the time oh, of the less Rick. celebrity. Mm-hmm. And I really need that bigger celebrity on the show, but I'm not sure what to do with mm-hmm. the lesser celebrity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it gets real awkward. <laughs> we play a game. Greg and I stand there and play a game in Helms, and we can see the celebrity oh, coming from a distance, and we went. And here we go. <laughs> and you remember, and, and everybody take an awkward pill. <laughs> For some reason. Here we go. Besides now, I'm not going to talk about how you ignored him. This is different. You remember we were on a streak where it was here just nobody's go. fault. But his time and either his hand for like three years in a row, yeah. Yeah. he would show up and we go, here it is again. We're yeah. in this situation. Yeah. Somebody jumped in front of him yeah. or something and he'd right. have to, oh, God, it was awkward every time. We also got the, that the Kirby Smart last year, he was a little annoyed, but this year they said they think it'll be, yeah. be better. He'd, he'd gotten in some traffic jam or something and his day got behind. So we missed him last year, but the year before. Well, he's we, got two trophies to yeah, so, calm so down. We tried yeah, well, I, I'd, I'd asked about that. I, mm-hmm. I said, normally, you know, he like, you know, in years past, he sat down and we have had a good time. But last year, I noticed he just waved at us and kept going. Yeah. And she's like, well, he was, to your point, Rick, he was late. Everything was thrown out of whack. And so he wasn't giving folks much because he had to get to the tee box and all that. So Let me hopefully tell you this, this he, year. He loves us and he loves Bubba. Yeah, and he does. I, his son actually plays tennis. And I have run into him okay, good. at some tournaments. Mm-hmm. And he, yeah. Oh, Bubba's his He favorite. really liked that. Bubba's his favorite. Yeah, yeah that so. year. Well, we, hopefully so. we won't have traffic problems um, <laughs> this year. You know, he he was in my group the year before we won the it's National Championship. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's when the friendship yeah. budded. Yeah. yeah, started there. Uh, the Bud Light campaign. But uh, guys, 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 I, d- I don't know. I hope everybody connected to this has been fired. <laughs> this is one of the dumbest ideas and dumbest campaigns. It goes, it's going down. They are comparing it to when Coca Cola changed its recipe. Yeah. Rick Bud Light, uh, they're saying disastrous sales numbers coming in from April down 21.4%. Total fiasco, Good they're night. calling it. Goodness. And how about this? Uh, it also had a knock-on effect, they're calling it, by bringing down other Anheuser-Busch brands uh, down 12%. Oh, yeah. So their overall company, even with their other brands, lost 12%. Wow. So Bud Light down 21 and everything else 12? Yes. Wow. Overall 12 when you figure it all in Well, together. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Competitors, and uh, Greg happened with this, Youngling. Is that the Yingling. 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 Thank you. See, I'm bad. Just I don't know what it is. Yingling. And Miller Light rose more than 12% each. Now, Miller Light's a fine Pilsner beer. There it is. That's on the label. That's why I said right. <laughs> I've never really understood what that means. Mm-hmm. The... Uh, <laughs> About you need to start saying I once was Baptist. So I <laughs> no, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. A little non, you know, little and again, now. unless I'm wrong, because you know the 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 lady that made this call tried to act like she was trying to save the company. Unless I was wrong, they were number one. Yeah. before this. Yeah, right. Right. let me yeah. say this. So why was a drastic move needed anyway? Let's take our superpower out, and, just from a marketing standpoint. And, and Alla Puka is, is getting his degree in common sense. The professors will speak now, so I want you to listen to just the logic of this. You don't have to offend the trans community at all. Just keep selling beer. Just keep doing the, the If I'm not mistaken, the only way this could have gone, because under your current marketing before this, trans people, I assume, were drinking Bud Light. Who liked Bud Light, right? Mm-hmm. I'm sure. The, the only thing you could have done is to offend the rest of your drinkers. Yep. 
right now, if you just don't go down this road and never take this topic on, you don't offend trans people by just not doing a trans beer commercial. Yeah, just they're like, fine. They're yeah. going through their lives. If they're drinking beer, they're drinking their favorite brand. I assume a lot of them like Bud Light. Why would any marketing team go in? Now, there is a risk <laughs> yeah. that we will maybe be celebrated by the trans community, which is a tiny percentage of our market, but we could really upset the majority of our beer drinkers. Right. Where was the person at the meeting says, why don't we just <clears> stay <throat> out of the trans thing altogether? Why don't we just not make a trans statement one way or the other? Right. Why don't we just sell beer? So you misjudged the room on this one. Yeah. Did they, well, did two, they really think this was going to increase sales? According to Anheuser-Busch, two of their most senior members of the marketing team behind the campaign have been put on paid leave. Well, I'd cut that pay off as soon as I could. Because <laughs> you might as well be throwing money down But hole. let me ask you this. Surely but, those checks and balances, uh, there's got to be more than two people could have made that call. Come on. Y'all remember the Navy just had that uh, drag queen. Oh, like, that's weird. That's another or, dumb idea. They, that the, the, that the, one wrapped up, too. Yeah. The Navy, <laughs> they quickly wrapped that up. They're trying to distance themselves from it, if you guys want to. Yeah, let's hear it. Yeah, sure. Again, the the program I believe that you're referring to was the Navy Digital Ambassador Program, which was a pilot outreach effort. It was not a recruiting effort. Uh, for more information on that, I would direct you to the Navy. Um, but this pilot program has concluded, and the Navy is evaluating the program and how it ex- exists in the future. Yeah, I, you might want to. That is, that is code name for we jerked it off the air as quick as we yeah. could. I saw where the Navy SEAL that shot well Bin Laden well, well weighed in. Too. The you weighed you, in on you know, I mean, they have got to, guys, I, I don't understand why you just can't say we're not going to weigh on this topic. I, I know the mob and all the demands, look, they look angry, but trans people are going to drink beer whether you do a commercial campaign for them or not because they're just people out there that, and you go, no, Rick, they, they, they really, we really thought, well, yeah, but you see you were wrong. Yeah. All you did was upset people, and the people you lose is much larger than anyone you gained, and you had probably the trans Bud Light drinkers anyway. Yeah. And, and y'all touched this the other week because I went out here, I was listening. Now oh. they're looking at you and going, what are you backing off for? Oh, yeah, now you're in a bind. Yeah. You, you yeah. must prove yeah. Yeah. the same thing with Dee Snyder. You saw that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if y'all realize Dee's pretty much a drag queen when he was in the rock right. band. You must, stand, you must stand with us in solidarity mm-hmm. now, Anheuser-Busch. Mm-hmm. And Dee Snyder had been a supporter, let him use his song, was going to sing at one of their events. He comes out, I think Paul Stanley started talking about kids being transitioned, how that, that shouldn't be right, kids under a certain age. He supported that. Well, now they they say he's transphobic. Now, yeah. Here's a guy that was a supporter of the group, and it's never good enough. Never. Just stay out of it. Just stay out of it. I mean, you don't, you don't, if you're someone you said, yeah, but you know, Rick, I don't have the same worldview as you do. Well, fine. Well, then, but I'm just telling you from a marketing standpoint, you just need to stay out of it. Hmm. You don't, just you don't, sell have, beer. You, you don't have to cater to, yeah, I hate, I, it's called the Michael Jordan. Uh, just just sell your products yeah. to anybody that wants to buy them. Do yeah. what you do. Do it well. Right. It'll work itself Look, out. Look, if you're number one and the market's yeah. already saturated, just yeah. do what you do. There's yeah. no That's sense it. in kicking over that amp. Well, change for the, for the sake of changing. No. And now yeah. the yeah. worst. Well, I, think there, I think there's always pressure, and this goes to Wall Street to yeah. some degree. Yeah. You always got to be on the increase. Hey, we sure. need to see yeah. 2% uh, increase right. year to year, all that stuff. If you're making boatloads of money, just keep making boatloads of money. You don't have to go up. Now right. it's just become, hold what you got. Now it's become embarrassing for a man to drink Bud Light. Mm-hmm. See, that's yeah. what's happening. So that, yeah. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, there is no other. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Waking on their blubber. Rick and 